In the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the especially merciful. All praise is due to Allah, Lord of the worlds. The entirely merciful, the especially merciful. Sovereign of the day of recompense. It is you we worship and you we ask for help. Guide us to the straight path. The path of those upon whom you have bestowed favor, not of those who have evoked your anger or of those who are astray. Alif, Lam, Mim. This is the book about which there is no doubt, a guidance for those conscious of Allah. Who believe in the unseen, establish prayer, and spend out of what we have provided for them. And who believe in what has been revealed to you, O Muhammad, and what was revealed before you, and of the hereafter they are certain in faith. Those who are upon right guidance from their Lord, and it is those who are the successful. Indeed, those who disbelieve, it is all the same for them whether you warn them or do not warn them. They will not believe. Allah has set a seal upon their hearts and upon their hearing, and over their vision is a veil, and for them is a great punishment. And of the people are some who say, We believe in Allah and the last day, but they are not believers. They think to deceive Allah and those who believe, but they deceive not except themselves and perceive it not. In their hearts is disease, so Allah has increased their disease, and for them is a painful punishment because they habitually used to lie. And when it is said to them, do not cause corruption on the earth, they say, we are but reformers. Unquestionably, it is they who are the corruptors, but they perceive it not. And when it is said to them, believe as the people have believed, they say, should we believe as the foolish have believed? Unquestionably, it is they who are the foolish, but they know it not. And when they meet those who believe, they say, we believe. But when they are alone with their evil ones, they say, indeed, we are with you. We were only mockers. But Allah mocks them and prolongs them in their transgression while they wander blindly. Those are the ones who have purchased error in exchange for guidance, so their transaction has brought no profit, nor were they guided. Their example is that of one who kindled a fire, but when it illuminated what was around him, Allah took away their light and left them in darkness so they could not see. Deaf, dumb, and blind, so they will not return to the right path. Or it is like a rainstorm from the sky within which is darkness, thunder, and lightning. They put their fingers in their ears against the thunderclaps in dread of death. But Allah is encompassing of the disbelievers. The lightning almost snatches away their sight. Every time it lights the way for them, they walk therein. But when darkness comes over them, they stand still. And if Allah had willed, he would have taken away their hearing and their sight. Indeed, Allah is over all things competent. O mankind, worship your Lord, who created you and those before you, that you may become righteous. He who made for you the earth a bed spread out, and the sky a ceiling, and sent down from the sky rain, and brought forth thereby fruits as a provision for you. So do not attribute to Allah equals while you know that there is nothing similar to him. And if you are in doubt about what we have sent down upon our servant Muhammad, then produce a surah, the like thereof, and call upon your witnesses other than Allah, if you should be truthful. But if you do not, and you will never be able to, then fear the fire, whose fuel is men and stones, prepared for the disbelievers. And give good tidings to those who believe and do righteous deeds, 
that they will have gardens in paradise beneath which rivers flow. Whenever they are provided with a provision of fruit therefrom, they will say, this is what we were provided with before, and it is given to them in likeness, and they will have therein purified spouses, and they will abide therein eternally. Indeed, Allah is not timid to present an example, that of a mosquito, or what is smaller than it. And those who have believed know that it is the truth from their Lord. But as for those who disbelieve, they say, What did Allah intend by this as an example? He misleads many thereby, and guides many thereby. And he misleads not, except the defiantly disobedient. Who break the covenant of Allah after contracting it, and sever that which Allah has ordered to be joined and cause corruption on earth. It is those who are the losers. How can you disbelieve in Allah when you were lifeless and he brought you to life? Then he will cause you to die, then he will bring you back to life, and then to him you will be returned. It is he who created for you all of that which is on the earth. Then he directed himself to the heaven, his being above all creation, and made them seven heavens, and he is knowing of all things. And mention, O Muhammad, when your Lord said to the angels, Indeed, I will make upon the earth a successive authority. They said, Will you place upon it one who causes corruption therein and sheds blood, while we declare your praise and sanctify you? Allah said, Indeed, I know that which you do not know. And he taught Adam the names, all of them. Then he showed them to the angels and said, Inform me of the names of these, if you are truthful. They said, Exalted are you. We have no knowledge except what you have taught us. Indeed, it is you who is the knowing, the wise. He said, O Adam, inform them of their names. And when he had informed them of their names, he said, Did I not tell you that I know the unseen aspects of the heavens and the earth, and I know what you reveal and what you have concealed? And mention when we said to the angels, Prostrate before Adam. So they prostrated, except for Iblis. He refused and was arrogant and became of the disbelievers. And we said, O Adam, dwell, you and your wife, in paradise, and eat therefrom in ease and abundance from whatever you will. But do not approach this tree, lest you be among the wrongdoers. But Satan caused them to slip out of it and remove them from that condition in which they had been. And we said, Go down, all of you, as enemies to one another and you will have upon the earth a place of settlement and provision for a time. Then Adam received from his Lord some words, and he accepted his repentance. Indeed, it is he who is the accepting of repentance, the merciful. We said, Go down from it, all of you, and when guidance comes to you from me, whoever follows my guidance, there will be no fear concerning them, nor will they grieve. And those who disbelieve and deny our signs, those will be the companions of the fire. They will abide therein eternally. O children of Israel, remember my favor which I have bestowed upon you, and fulfill my covenant upon you, that I will fulfill your covenant from me, and be afraid of only me. And believe in what I have sent down, confirming that which is already with you, and be not the first to disbelieve in it. And do not exchange my signs for a small price, and fear only me. And do not mix the truth with falsehood, or conceal the truth while you know it. And establish prayer, and give zakah, and bow with those who bow in worship and obedience. Do you order righteousness of the people, and forget yourselves while you recite the scripture? Then will you not reason? And seek help through patience and prayer. And indeed, it is difficult except for the humbly submissive to Allah. 
who are certain that they will meet their Lord and that they will return to Him. O children of Israel, remember my favor that I have bestowed upon you and that I preferred you over the world. And fear a day when no soul will suffice for another soul at all, nor will intercession be accepted from it, nor will compensation be taken from it, nor will they be aided. And recall when we saved your forefathers from the people of Pharaoh, who afflicted you with the worst torment, slaughtering your newborn sons and keeping your females alive. And in that was a great trial from your Lord. And recall when we parted the sea for you and saved you and drowned the people of Pharaoh while you were looking on. And recall when we made an appointment with Moses for forty nights, and when you took for worship the calf after him, while you were wrongdoers. Then we forgave you after that, so perhaps you would be grateful. And recall when we gave Moses the scripture and criterion that perhaps you would be guided. And recall when Moses said to his people, O oh my people, indeed you have wronged yourselves by your taking of the calf for worship. So repent to your Creator and kill yourselves. That is best for all of you in the sight of your Creator. Then he accepted your repentance. Indeed, he is the accepting of repentance, the merciful. And recall when you said, O oh Moses, we will never believe you until we see Allah outright. So the thunderbolt took you while you were looking on. Then we revived you after your death that perhaps you would be grateful. And we shaded you with clouds and sent down to you manna and quail, saying, Eat from the good things with which we have provided you. And they wronged us not, but they were only wronging themselves. And recall when we said, Enter this city and eat from it wherever you will in ease and abundance and enter the gate bowing humbly and saying, Relieve us of our burdens. We will then forgive your sins for you, and we will increase the doers of good in goodness and reward. But those who wronged changed those words to a statement other than that which had been said to them. So we sent down upon those who wronged a punishment from the sky because they were defiantly disobeying. And recall when Moses prayed for water for his people. So we said, Strike with your staff the stone. And there gushed forth from it twelve springs, and every people knew its watering place. Eat and drink from the provision of Allah, and do not commit abuse on the earth spreading corruption. And recall when you said, O oh Moses, we can never endure one kind of food. So call upon your Lord to bring forth for us from the earth its green herbs and its cucumbers and its garlic and its lentils and its onions. Moses said, Would you exchange what is better for what is less? Go into any settlement and indeed you will have what you have asked. And they were covered with humiliation and the poverty and returned with anger from Allah upon them. That was because they repeatedly disbelieved in the signs of Allah and killed the prophets without right. That was because they disobeyed and were habitually transgressing. Indeed, those who believed and those who were Jews or Christians or Sabians before Prophet Muhammad, those among them who believed in Allah and the last day and did righteousness, will have their reward with their Lord, and no fear will there be concerning them, nor will they grieve. And recall when we took your covenant, O children of Israel, to abide by the Torah, and we raised over you the mount, saying, Take what we have given you with determination, and remember what is in it, that perhaps you will become righteous. Then you turned away after that, and if not for the favor of Allah upon you and his mercy, you would have been among the losers. And you had already known about those who transgressed among you concerning the Sabbath, and we said to them, Be apes, despised. And we made it a deterrent punishment for those who were present and those who succeeded them, and a lesson for those who fear Allah. And recall when Moses said to his people, Indeed, Allah commands you to slaughter a cow. They said, 
Do you take us in ridicule? He said, I seek refuge in Allah from being among the ignorant. They said, Call upon your Lord to make clear to us what it is. Moses said, Allah says, It is a cow which is neither old nor virgin, but median between that. So do what you are commanded. They said, Call upon your Lord to show us what is her color. He said, He says, It is a yellow cow, bright in color, pleasing to the observers. They said, Call upon your Lord to make it clear to us what it is. Indeed, all cows look alike to us. And indeed we, if Allah wills, will be guided. He said, He says, It is a cow neither trained to plow the earth nor to irrigate the field, one free from fault with no spot upon her. They said, Now you have come with the truth. So they slaughtered her, but they could hardly do it. And recall when you slew a man and disputed over it, but Allah was to bring out that which you were concealing. So we said, Strike the slain man with part of it. Thus does Allah bring the dead to life, and he shows you his signs that you might reason. Then your hearts became hardened after that, being like stones or even harder. For indeed there are stones from which rivers burst forth and there are some of them that split open and water comes out, and there are some of them that fall down for fear of Allah, and Allah is not unaware of what you do. Do you covet the hope, O believers, that they would believe for you, while a party of them used to hear the words of Allah and then distort the Torah after they had understood it while they were knowing? And when they meet those who believe, they say, We have believed. But when they are alone with one another, they say, Do you talk to them about what Allah has revealed to you so they can argue with you about it before your Lord? Then will you not reason? But do they not know that Allah knows what they conceal and what they declare? And among them are unlettered ones who do not know the scripture except in wishful thinking, but they are only assuming. So woe to those who write the scripture with their own hands, then say, This is from Allah, in order to exchange it for a small price. Woe to them for what their hands have written, and woe to them for what they earn. And they say, Never will the fire touch us, except for a few days. Say, Have you taken a covenant with Allah? For Allah will never break his covenant. Or do you say about Allah that which you do not know? Yes, whoever earns evil and his sin has encompassed him. Those are the companions of the fire. They will abide therein eternally. But they who believe and do righteous deeds, those are the companions of paradise. They will abide therein eternally. And recall when we took the covenant from the children of Israel, enjoining upon them, Do not worship except Allah and to parents do good, and to relatives, orphans, and the needy. And speak to the people good words, and establish prayer, and give zakah. Then you turned away, except a few of you, and you were refusing. And recall when we took your covenant, saying, Do not shed each other's blood, or evict one another from your homes. Then you acknowledged this while you were witnessing. Then. You are those same ones who are killing one another and evicting a party of your people from their homes, cooperating against them in sin and aggression. And if they come to you as captives, you ransom them, although their eviction was forbidden to you. So do you believe in part of the scripture and disbelieve in part? Then what is the recompense for those who do that among you except disgrace in worldly life? And on the day of resurrection they will be sent back to the severest of punishment. And Allah is not unaware of what you do. Those are the ones who have bought the life of this world in exchange for the hereafter. So the punishment will not be lightened for them, nor will they be aided. And we did certainly give Moses the Torah and followed up after him with messengers. And we gave Jesus the son of Mary clear proofs and supported him with the pure spirit. But is it not that every time a messenger came to you, O children of Israel, 
with what your souls did not desire, you were arrogant, and a party of messengers you denied, and another party you killed. And they said, Our hearts are wrapped. But in fact, Allah has cursed them for their disbelief, so little is it that they believe. And when there came to them a book from Allah confirming that which was with them, although before they used to pray for victory against those who disbelieved, but then when there came to them that which they recognized, they disbelieved in it. So the curse of Allah will be upon the disbelievers. How wretched is that for which they sold themselves, that they would disbelieve in what Allah has revealed through their outrage that Allah would send down his favor upon whom he wills from among his servants. So they returned having earned wrath upon wrath, and for the disbelievers is a humiliating punishment. And when it is said to them, believe in what Allah has revealed, they say, we believe only in what was revealed to us, and they disbelieve in what came after it, while it is the truth confirming that which is with them. Say, then why did you kill the prophets of Allah before, if you are indeed believers? And Moses had certainly brought you clear proofs. Then you took the calf in worship after that, while you were wrongdoers. And recall when we took your covenant and raised over you the mount, saying, Take what we have given you with determination and listen. They said instead, We hear and disobey. And their hearts absorbed the worship of the calf because of their disbelief. Say, How wretched is that which your faith enjoins upon you, if you should be believers. Say, O Muhammad, If the home of the hereafter with Allah is for you alone, and not the other people, then wish for death if you should be truthful. But never will they wish for it ever, because of what their hands have put forth, and Allah is knowing of the wrongdoers. And you will surely find them the most greedy of people for life, even more than those who associate others with Allah. One of them wishes that he could be granted life a thousand years, but it would not remove him in the least from the coming punishment that he should be granted life and Allah is seeing of what they do say whoever is an enemy to Gabriel it is none but he who has brought the Quran down upon your heart O Muhammad by permission of Allah confirming that which was before it and as guidance and good tidings to the believers Whoever is an enemy to Allah and his angels and his messengers and Gabriel and Michael, then indeed Allah is an enemy to the disbelievers. And we have certainly revealed to you verses which are clear proofs, and no one would deny them except the defiantly disobedient. Is it not true that every time they took a covenant, a party of them threw it away? But in fact, most of them do not believe. And when a messenger from Allah came to them confirming that which was with them, a party of those who had been given the scripture threw the scripture of Allah behind their backs as if they did not know what it contained. And they followed instead what the devils had recited during the reign of Solomon. It was not Solomon who disbelieved, but the devils disbelieved, teaching people magic and that which was revealed to the two angels at Babylon, Harut and Marut. But the two angels do not teach anyone unless they say, We are a trial, so do not disbelieve by practicing magic. And yet they learn from them that by which they cause separation between a man and his wife. But they do not harm anyone through it except by permission of Allah. And the people learn what harms them and does not benefit them. But the children of Israel certainly knew that whoever purchased the magic would not have in the hereafter any share. And wretched is that for which they sold themselves, if they only knew. And if they had believed and feared Allah, then the reward from Allah would have been far better if they only knew. O you who have believed, say not to Allah's Messenger, Ra'ayna, but say, Undhurna, and listen. And for the disbelievers is a painful punishment.
Neither those who disbelieve from the people of the scripture nor the polytheists wish that any good should be sent down to you from your Lord. But Allah selects for his mercy whom he wills, and Allah is the possessor of great bounty. We do not abrogate a verse or cause it to be forgotten except that we bring forth one better than it or similar to it. Do you not know that Allah is over all things competent? Do you not know that to Allah belongs the dominion of the heavens and the earth and that you have not besides Allah any protector or any helper? Or do you intend to ask your messenger as Moses was asked before? And whoever exchanges faith for disbelief has certainly strayed from the soundness of the way. Many of the people of the scripture wish they could turn you back to disbelief after you have believed, out of envy from themselves even after the truth has become clear to them. So pardon and overlook until Allah delivers his command. Indeed, Allah is over all things competent. And establish prayer and give zakah, and whatever good you put forward for yourselves, you will find it with Allah. Indeed, Allah of what you do is seeing. And they say, none will enter paradise except one who is a Jew or a Christian. That is merely their wishful thinking. Say, produce your proof if you should be truthful. Yes, on the contrary, whoever submits his face in Islam to Allah while being a doer of good will have his reward with his Lord. And no fear will there be concerning them, nor will they grieve. The Jews say, the Christians have nothing true to stand on. And the Christians say, the Jews have nothing to stand on, although they both recite the scripture. Thus the polytheists speak the same as their words. But Allah will judge between them on the day of resurrection concerning that over which they used to differ. And who are more unjust than those who prevent the name of Allah from being mentioned in his mosques and strive toward their destruction? It is not for them to enter them except in fear. For them in this world is disgrace and they will have in the hereafter a great punishment. And to Allah belongs the east and the west. So wherever you might turn, there is the face of Allah. Indeed, Allah is all-encompassing and knowing. They say, Allah has taken a son. Exalted is he. Rather, to him belongs whatever is in the heavens and the earth. All are devoutly obedient to him. Originator of the heavens and the earth, when he decrees a matter, he only says to it, Be, and it is. Those who do not know say, Why does Allah not speak to us, or there come to us a sign? Thus spoke those before them like their words. Their hearts resemble each other. We have shown clearly the signs to a people who are certain in faith. Indeed, we have sent you, O Muhammad, with the truth as a bringer of good tidings and a warner, and you will not be asked about the companions of hellfire. And never will the Jews and the Christians approve of you until you follow their religion. Say, indeed, the guidance of Allah is the only guidance. If you were to follow their desires after what has come to you of knowledge, you would have against Allah no protector or helper. Those to whom we have given the book recite it with its true recital. They are the ones who believe in it and whoever disbelieves in it, it is they who are the losers. O children of Israel, remember my favor which I have bestowed upon you and that I preferred you over the world. And fear a day when no soul will suffice for another soul at all, and no compensation will be accepted from it, nor will any intercession benefit, nor will they be aided. And mention, O Muhammad, when Abraham was tried by his Lord with commands, and he fulfilled them. Allah said, Indeed, I will make you a leader for the people. Abraham said, And of my descendants? Allah said, My covenant does not include the wrongdoers. And mention when we made the house a place of return for the people and a place of security. And take, O believers, from the standing place of Abraham a place of prayer. 
and we charged Abraham and Ishmael, saying, Purify my house for those who perform dawaf, and those who are staying there for worship, and those who bow and prostrate in prayer. And mention when Abraham said, My Lord, make this a secure city and provide its people with fruits, whoever of them believes in Allah and the last day. Allah said, And whoever disbelieves, I will grant him enjoyment for a little, then I will force him to the punishment of the fire, and wretched is the destination. And mention when Abraham was raising the foundations of the house, and with him Ishmael, saying, Our Lord, accept this from us. Indeed, you are the hearing, the knowing. Our Lord, and make us Muslims in submission to you, and from our descendants a Muslim nation in submission to you. And show us our rights and accept our repentance. Indeed, you are the accepting of repentance, the merciful. Our Lord, and send among them a messenger from themselves who will recite to them your verses and teach them the book and wisdom and purify them. Indeed, you are the exalted in might, the wise. And who would be averse to the religion of Abraham except one who makes a fool of himself? And we had chosen him in this world, and indeed he in the hereafter will be among the righteous. When his Lord said to him, Submit, he said, I have submitted in Islam to the Lord of the worlds. And Abraham instructed his sons to do the same, and so did Jacob, saying, O oh my sons, indeed Allah has chosen you for this religion. So do not die except while you are Muslims. Or were you witnesses when death approached Jacob, when he said to his sons, What will you worship after me? They said, We will worship your God and the God of your fathers, Abraham and Ishmael and Isaac, one God, and we are Muslims in submission to him. That was a nation which has passed on. It will have the consequence of what it earned, and you will have what you have earned, and you will not be asked about what they used to do. They say, Be Jews or Christians so you will be guided. Say, Rather, we follow the religion of Abraham, inclining toward truth, and he was not of the polytheists. Say, O believers, we have believed in Allah and what has been revealed to us, and what has been revealed to Abraham and Ishmael and Isaac and Jacob and the descendants, and what was given to Moses and Jesus and what was given to the prophets from their Lord. We make no distinction between any of them, and we are Muslims in submission to him. So if they believe in the same as you believe in, then they have been rightly guided. But if they turn away, they are only in dissension, and Allah will be sufficient for you against them. And he is the hearing, the knowing. And say, ours is the religion of Allah. And who is better than Allah in ordaining religion? And we are worshippers of him. Say, O Muhammad, do you argue with us about Allah while he is our Lord and your Lord? For us are our deeds, and for you are your deeds, and we are sincere in deed and intention to him. Or do you say that Abraham and Ishmael and Isaac and Jacob and the descendants were Jews or Christians? Say, are you more knowing or is Allah? And who is more unjust than one who conceals a testimony he has from Allah? And Allah is not unaware of what you do. That is a nation which has passed on. It will have the consequence of what it earned, and you will have what you have earned. And you will not be asked about what they used to do. The foolish among the people will say, What has turned them away from their Qibla, which they used to face? Say, to Allah belongs the east and the west. He guides whom he wills to a straight path. And thus we have made you a just community that you will be witnesses over the people and the messenger will be a witness over you. And we did not make the Qibla which you used to face except that we might make evident who would follow the messenger from who would turn back on his heels. And indeed it is difficult except for those whom Allah has guided. And never would Allah have caused you to lose your faith, 
Indeed, Allah is to the people kind and merciful. We have certainly seen the turning of your face, O Muhammad, toward the heaven, and we will surely turn you to a Qibla with which you will be pleased. So turn your face toward Al-Masjid Al-Haram, and wherever you believers are, turn your faces toward it in prayer. Indeed, those who have been given the scriptures well know that it is the truth from their Lord, and Allah is not unaware of what they do. And if you brought to those who were given the scripture every sign, they would not follow your Qibla, nor will you be a follower of their Qibla, nor would they be followers of one another's Qibla. So if you were to follow their desires after what has come to you of knowledge, indeed, you would then be among the wrongdoers. Those to whom we gave the scripture know him as they know their own sons, but indeed a party of them conceal the truth while they know it. The truth is from your Lord, so never be among the doubters. For each religious following is a direction toward which it faces. So race to all that is good. Wherever you may be, Allah will bring you forth for judgment altogether. Indeed, Allah is over all things competent. So from wherever you go out for prayer, O Muhammad, turn your face towards Al-Masjid Al-Haram. And indeed, it is the truth from your Lord. And Allah is not unaware of what you do. And from wherever you go out for prayer, turn your face toward Al-Masjid Al-Haram. And wherever you believers may be, turn your faces toward it in order that the people will not have any argument against you, except for those of them who commit wrong. So fear them not, but fear me. And it is so I may complete my favor upon you and that you may be guided. Just as we have sent among you a messenger from yourselves reciting to you our verses and purifying you and teaching you the book and wisdom and teaching you that which you did not know. So remember me, I will remember you. And be grateful to me and do not deny me. O you who have believed, seek help through patience and prayer. Indeed, Allah is with the patient. And do not say about those who are killed in the way of Allah, they are dead. Rather, they are alive, but you perceive it not. And we will surely test you with something of fear and hunger, and a loss of wealth and lives and fruits. But give good tidings to the patient, who, when disaster strikes them, say, Indeed, we belong to Allah, and indeed to him we will return. Those are the ones upon whom are blessings from their Lord and mercy, and it is those who are rightly guided. Indeed, as Safa and Al-Marwa are among the symbols of Allah. So whoever makes Hajj to the house or performs Umrah, there is no blame upon him for walking between them. And whoever volunteers good, then indeed Allah is appreciative and knowing. Indeed, those who conceal what we sent down of clear proofs and guidance after we made it clear for the people in the scripture, those are cursed by Allah and cursed by those who curse. Except for those who repent and correct themselves and make evident what they concealed. Those, I will accept their repentance, and I am the accepting of repentance, the merciful. Indeed, those who disbelieve and die while they are disbelievers, Upon them will be the curse of Allah and of the angels and the people all together, abiding eternally therein. The punishment will not be lightened for them, nor will they be reprieved. And your God is one God. There is no deity worthy of worship except him, the entirely merciful, the especially merciful. Indeed, in the creation of the heavens and the earth, and the alternation of the night and the day, and the great ships which sail through the sea with that which benefits people, and what Allah has sent down from the heavens of rain, giving life thereby to the earth after its lifelessness and dispersing therein every kind of moving creature, 
and his directing of the winds and the clouds controlled between the heaven and earth are signs for a people who use reason. And yet, among the people are those who take other than Allah as equals to him. They love them as they should love Allah. But those who believe are stronger in love for Allah. And if only they who have wronged would consider that, when they see their punishment, they will be certain that all power belongs to Allah, and that Allah is severe in punishment. And they should consider that, when those who have been followed dissociate themselves from those who followed them, and they all see the punishment, and cut off from them are the ties of relationship. Those who followed will say, if only we had another turn at worldly life so we could dissociate ourselves from them as they have dissociated themselves from us. Thus will Allah show them their deeds as regrets upon them, and they are never to emerge from the fire. O mankind, eat from whatever is on earth that is lawful and good, and do not follow the footsteps of Satan. Indeed, he is to you a clear enemy. He only orders you to evil and immorality, and to say about Allah what you do not know. And when it is said to them, follow what Allah has revealed, they say, rather we will follow that which we found our fathers doing, even though their fathers understood nothing, nor were they guided. The example of those who disbelieve is like that of one who shouts at what hears nothing, but calls and cries cattle or sheep, deaf, dumb, and blind, so they do not understand. O you who have believed, eat from the good things which we have provided for you, and be grateful to Allah, if it is indeed Him that you worship. He has only forbidden to you dead animals, blood, the flesh of swine, and that which has been dedicated to other than Allah. But whoever is forced by necessity, neither desiring it nor transgressing its limit, there is no sin upon him. Indeed, Allah is forgiving and merciful. Indeed, they who conceal what Allah has sent down of the book and exchange it for a small price, those consume not into their bellies except the fire. And Allah will not speak to them on the day of resurrection, nor will he purify them, and they will have a painful punishment. Those are the ones who have exchanged guidance for error and forgiveness for punishment. How patient they are in pursuit of the fire. That is deserved by them because Allah has sent down the book in truth. And indeed, those who differ over the book are in extreme dissension. Righteousness is not that you turn your faces toward the east or the west, but true righteousness is in one who believes in Allah, the last day, the angels, the book, and the prophets, and gives wealth, in spite of love for it, to relatives, orphans, the needy, the traveler, those who ask for help and for freeing slaves, and who establishes prayer and gives zakah, those who fulfill their promise when they promise, and those who are patient in poverty and hardship and during battle. Those are the ones who have been true, and it is those who are the righteous. O you who have believed, prescribed for you is legal retribution for those murdered, the free for the free, the slave for the slave, and the female for the female. But whoever overlooks from his brother anything, then there should be a suitable follow-up and payment to him with good conduct. This is an alleviation from your Lord and a mercy. But whoever transgresses after that will have a painful punishment. And there is for you in legal retribution saving of life, O you people of understanding, that you may become righteous. Prescribed for you when death approaches any of you, if he leaves wealth, is that he should make a bequest for the parents and near relatives according to what is reasonable, a duty upon the righteous. Then whoever alters the bequest after he has heard it, the sin is only upon those who have altered it. Indeed, Allah is hearing and knowing. But if one fears from the bequeather some error or sin, and corrects that which is between them. There is no sin upon him. Indeed, Allah is forgiving and merciful. O you who have believed, 
decreed upon you is fasting as it was decreed upon those before you, that you may become righteous. Fasting for a limited number of days. So whoever among you is ill or on a journey during them, then an equal number of days are to be made up. And upon those who are able to fast, but with hardship, a ransom as substitute of feeding a poor person each day. And whoever volunteers excess, it is better for him. But to fast is best for you, if you only knew. The month of Ramadan is that in which was revealed the Quran, a guidance for the people and clear proofs of guidance and criterion. So whoever cites the new moon of the month, let him fast it. And whoever is ill or on a journey, then an equal number of other days. Allah intends for you ease and does not intend for you hardship and wants for you to complete the period and to glorify Allah for that to which he has guided you and perhaps you will be grateful. And when my servants ask you, O Muhammad, concerning me, indeed I am near. I respond to the invocation of the supplicant when he calls upon me. So let them respond to me by obedience and believe in me that they may be rightly guided. It has been made permissible for you the night preceding fasting to go to your wives for sexual relations. They are clothing for you and you are clothing for them. Allah knows that you used to deceive yourselves, so he accepted your repentance and forgave you. So now have relations with them and seek that which Allah has decreed for you and eat and drink until the white thread of dawn becomes distinct to you from the black thread of night. Then complete the fast until the sunset. And do not have relations with them as long as you are staying for worship in the mosques. These are the limits set by Allah, so do not approach them. Thus does Allah make clear his ordinances to the people that they might become righteous. And do not consume one another's wealth unjustly or send it in bribery to the rulers in order that they might aid you to consume a portion of the wealth of the people in sin, while you know it is unlawful. They ask you, O Muhammad, about the new moons. Say, they are measurements of time for the people and for Hajj. And it is not righteousness to enter houses from the back but righteousness is in one who fears Allah and enter houses from their doors and fear Allah that you may succeed. Fight in the way of Allah those who fight you but do not transgress. Indeed, Allah does not like transgressors. And kill them wherever you overtake them and expel them from wherever they have expelled you. And fitna is worse than killing. And do not fight them at al-Masjid al-Haram until they fight you there. But if they fight you, then kill them. Such is the recompense of the disbelievers. And if they cease, then indeed Allah is forgiving and merciful. Fight them until there is no more fitna and until worship is acknowledged to be for Allah. But if they cease, then there is to be no aggression except against the oppressors. Fighting in the sacred month is for aggression committed in the sacred month, and for all violations is legal retribution. So whoever has assaulted you, then assault him in the same way that he has assaulted you, and fear Allah, and know that Allah is with those who fear him. And spend in the way of Allah, and do not throw yourselves with your own hands into destruction by refraining. And do good. Indeed, Allah loves the doers of good. And complete the Hajj and Umrah for Allah. But if you are prevented, then offer what can be obtained with ease of sacrificial animals. And do not shave your heads until the sacrificial animal has reached its place of slaughter. And whoever among you is ill or has an ailment of the head, making shaving necessary, must offer a ransom of fasting three days or charity or sacrifice. And when you are secure, then whoever performs Umrah during the Hajj months, followed by Hajj, 
offers what can be obtained with ease of sacrificial animals. And whoever cannot find or afford such an animal, then a fast of three days during Hajj, and of seven when you have returned home. Those are ten complete days. This is for those whose family is not in the area of El Masjid Al Haram. And fear Allah, and know that Allah is severe in penalty. Hajj is during well known months. So whoever has made Hajj obligatory upon himself by entering the state of Ihram, there is to be for him no sexual relations and no disobedience and no disputing during Hajj. And whatever good you do, Allah knows it. And take provisions. But indeed, the best provision is fear of Allah. And fear me, O you of understanding. There is no blame upon you for seeking bounty from your Lord during Hajj. But when you depart from Arafat, remember Allah at al mashar al-Haram. And remember him as he has guided you. For indeed, you were before that among those astray. Then depart from the place from where all the people depart and ask forgiveness of Allah. Indeed, Allah is forgiving and merciful. And when you have completed your rites, remember Allah like your previous remembrance of your fathers or with much greater remembrance. And among the people is he who says, Our Lord, give us in this world, and he will have in the hereafter no share. But among them is he who says, Our Lord, give us in this world that which is good, and in the hereafter that which is good, and protect us from the punishment of the fire. Those will have a share of what they have earned, and Allah is swift in account. And remember Allah during specific numbered days. Then whoever hastens his departure in two days, there is no sin upon him. And whoever delays until the third, there is no sin upon him, for him who fears Allah. And fear Allah, and know that unto him you will be gathered. And of the people is he whose speech pleases you in worldly life, and he calls Allah to witness as to what is in his heart, yet he is the fiercest of opponents. And when he goes away, he strives throughout the land to cause corruption therein and destroy crops and animals, and Allah does not like corruption. And when it is said to him, Fear Allah, pride in the sin takes hold of him. Sufficient for him is hellfire, and how wretched is the resting place. And of the people is he who sells himself, seeking means to the approval of Allah. And Allah is kind to his servants. O you who have believed, enter into Islam completely and perfectly, and do not follow the footsteps of Satan. Indeed, he is to you a clear enemy. But if you deviate after clear proofs have come to you, then know that Allah is exalted in might and wise. Do they await but that Allah should come to them in covers of clouds, and the angels as well, and the matter is then decided? And to Allah all matters are returned. Ask the children of Israel how many signs of evidence we have given them. And whoever exchanges the favor of Allah for disbelief after it has come to him, then indeed Allah is severe in penalty. Beautified for those who disbelieve is the life of this world, and they ridicule those who believe. But those who fear Allah are above them on the day of resurrection, and Allah gives provision to whom he wills without account. Mankind was of one religion before their deviation. Then Allah sent the prophets as bringers of good tidings and warners and sent down with them the scripture in truth to judge between the people concerning that in which they differed. And none differed over the scripture except those who were given it after the clear proofs came to them out of jealous animosity among themselves. And Allah guided those who believed to the truth concerning that over which they had differed by his permission. And Allah guides whom he wills to a straight path. 
Or do you think that you will enter paradise while such trial has not yet come to you as came to those who passed on before you? They were touched by poverty and hardship and were shaken until even their messenger and those who believed with him said, When is the help of Allah? Unquestionably, the help of Allah is near. They ask you, O Muhammad, what they should spend. Say, Whatever you spend of good is to be for parents and relatives and orphans and the needy and the traveler. And whatever you do of good, indeed Allah is knowing of it. Fighting has been enjoined upon you while it is hateful to you. But perhaps you hate a thing and it is good for you. And perhaps you love a thing and it is bad for you. And Allah knows while you know not. They ask you about the sacred month, about fighting therein. Say, fighting therein is great sin, but averting people from the way of Allah and disbelief in him and preventing access to al-Masjid al-Haram and the expulsion of its people therefrom are greater evil in the sight of Allah. And fitna is greater than killing. And they will continue to fight you until they turn you back from your religion if they are able. And whoever of you reverts from his religion to this belief and dies while he is a disbeliever. For those, their deeds have become worthless in this world and the hereafter, and those are the companions of the fire. They will abide therein eternally. Indeed, those who have believed, and those who have emigrated and fought in the cause of Allah, those expect the mercy of Allah, and Allah is forgiving and merciful. They ask you about wine and gambling, Say, in them is great sin, and yet some benefit for people, but their sin is greater than their benefit. And they ask you what they should spend. Say, the excess beyond needs. Thus Allah makes it clear to you the verses of revelation that you might give thought to this world and the hereafter. And they ask you about orphans. Say, Improvement for them is best, and if you associate with them, they are your brothers. And Allah knows the corrupter from the amender. And if Allah had willed, he would have put you in difficulty. Indeed, Allah is exalted in might and wise. And do not marry polytheistic women until they believe. And a believing slave woman is better than a polytheist, even though she might please you. And do not marry polytheistic men to your women until they believe. And a believing slave is better than a polytheist, even though he might please you. Those invite you to the fire, but Allah invites to paradise and to forgiveness by his permission. And he makes clear his verses to the people that perhaps they may remember. And they ask you about menstruation. Say, it is harm. So keep away from wives during menstruation and do not approach them until they are pure. And when they have purified themselves, then come to them from where Allah has ordained for you. Indeed, Allah loves those who are constantly repentant and loves those who purify themselves. Your wives are a place of sowing of seed for you. So come to your place of cultivation however you wish and put forth righteousness for yourselves. And fear Allah and know that you will meet him and give good tidings to the believers. And do not make your oath by Allah an excuse against being righteous and fearing Allah and making peace among people. And Allah is hearing and knowing. Allah does not impose blame upon you for what is unintentional in your oaths. But he imposes blame upon you for what your hearts have earned and Allah is forgiving and forbearing. For those who swear not to have sexual relations with their wives is a waiting time of four months. But if they return to normal relations, then indeed Allah is forgiving and merciful. And if they decide on divorce, then indeed Allah is hearing and knowing. Divorced women remain in waiting for three periods and it is not lawful for them to conceal what Allah has created in their wombs 
if they believe in Allah and the last day. And their husbands have more right to take them back in this period if they want reconciliation. And due to the wives is similar to what is expected of them, according to what is reasonable. But the men have a degree over them in responsibility and authority. And Allah is exalted in might and wise. Divorce is twice. Then, either keep her in a reasonable manner or release her with good treatment. And it is not lawful for you to take what you have given them unless both fear that they will not be able to keep within the limits of Allah. But if you fear that they will not keep within the limits of Allah, then there is no blame upon either of them concerning that by which she ransoms herself. These are the limits of Allah, so do not transgress them. And whoever transgresses the limits of Allah, it is those who are the wrongdoers. And if he has divorced her for the third time, then she is not lawful to him afterward until after she marries a husband other than him. And if the latter husband divorces her or dies, there is no blame upon the woman and her former husband for returning to each other if they think that they can keep within the limits of Allah. These are the limits of Allah, which he makes clear to a people who know. And when you divorce women and they have nearly fulfilled their term, either retain them according to reasonable terms or release them according to reasonable terms, and do not keep them intending harm to transgress against them. And whoever does that has certainly wronged himself. And do not take the verses of Allah in jest, and remember the favor of Allah upon you and what has been revealed to you of the book and wisdom by which he instructs you. And fear Allah and know that Allah is knowing of all things. And when you divorce women and they have fulfilled their term, do not prevent them from remarrying their former husbands if they agree amongst themselves on a reasonable basis. That is instructed to whoever of you believes in Allah and the last day. That is better for you and purer, and Allah knows and you know not. Mothers may breastfeed their children two complete years for whoever wishes to complete the nursing period. Upon the father is the mother's provision and their clothing according to what is reasonable. No person is charged with more than his capacity. No mother should be harmed through her child and no father through his child. And upon the father's heir is a duty like that of the father. And if they both desire weaning through mutual consent from both of them and consultation, there is no blame upon either of them. And if you wish to have your children nursed by a substitute, there is no blame upon you as long as you give payment according to what is reasonable. And fear Allah and know that Allah is seeing of what you do. And those who are taken in death among you and leave wives behind, they, the wives, shall wait four months and ten days. And when they have fulfilled their term, then there is no blame upon you for what they do with themselves in an acceptable manner. And Allah is fully acquainted with what you do. There is no blame upon you for that to which you indirectly allude concerning a proposal to women or for what you conceal within yourselves. Allah knows that you will have them in mind. But do not promise them secretly except for saying a proper saying. And do not determine to undertake a marriage contract until the decreed period reaches its end. And know that Allah knows what is within yourselves, so beware of him. And know that Allah is forgiving and forbearing. There is no blame upon you if you divorce women you have not touched or specified for them an obligation but give them a gift of compensation, the wealthy according to his capability and the poor according to his capability, a provision according to what is reasonable, a duty upon the doers of good. And if you divorce them before you have touched them and you have already specified for them an obligation, then give half of what you specified, unless they forego the right or the one in whose hand is the marriage contract forgoes it.
and to forego it is nearer to righteousness. And do not forget graciousness between you. Indeed, Allah, of whatever you do, is seeing. Maintain with care the obligatory prayers, and in particular the middle prayer, and stand before Allah, devoutly obedient. And if you fear an enemy, then pray on foot or riding. But when you are secure, then remember Allah in prayer, as he has taught you that which you did not previously know. And those who are taken in death among you and leave wives behind, for their wives is a bequest, maintenance for one year without turning them out. But if they leave of their own accord, then there is no blame upon you for what they do with themselves in an acceptable way. And Allah is exalted in might and wise. And for divorced women is a provision according to what is acceptable, a duty upon the righteous. Thus does Allah make clear to you his verses that you might use reason. Have you not considered those who left their homes in many thousands, fearing death? Allah said to them, Die. Then he restored them to life. And Allah is full of bounty to the people, but most of the people do not show gratitude. And fight in the cause of Allah, and know that Allah is hearing and knowing. Who is it that would loan Allah a goodly loan so he may multiply it for him many times over? And it is Allah who withholds and grants abundance, and to him you will be returned. Have you not considered the assembly of the children of Israel after the time of Moses when they said to a prophet of theirs, Send to us a king and we will fight in the way of Allah. He said, would you perhaps refrain from fighting if fighting was prescribed for you? They said, And why should we not fight in the cause of Allah when we have been driven out of our homes and from our children? But when fighting was prescribed for them, they turned away, except for a few of them. And Allah is knowing of the wrongdoers. And their prophet said to them, Indeed, Allah has sent to you Saul as a king. They said, How can he have kingship over us while we are more worthy of kingship than him, and he has not been given any measure of wealth? He said, Indeed, Allah has chosen him over you and has increased him abundantly in knowledge and stature, and Allah gives his sovereignty to whom he wills, and Allah is all-encompassing in favor and knowing. And their prophet said to them, Indeed, a sign of his kingship is that the chest will come to you in which is assurance from your Lord and a remnant of what the family of Moses and the family of Aaron had left, carried by the angels. Indeed, in that is a sign for you, if you are believers. And when Saul went forth with the soldiers, he said, Indeed, Allah will be testing you with a river, so whoever drinks from it is not of me, and whoever does not taste it is indeed of me excepting one who takes from it in the hollow of his hand. But they drank from it, except a very few of them. Then when he had crossed it along with those who believed in him, they said, There is no power for us today against Goliath and his soldiers. But those who were certain that they would meet Allah said, How many a small company has overcome a large company by permission of Allah? And Allah is with the patient. And when they went forth to face Goliath and his soldiers, they said, Our Lord, pour upon us patience and plant firmly our feet and give us victory over the disbelieving people. So they defeated them by permission of Allah, and David killed Goliath, and Allah gave him the kingship and prophethood and taught him from that which he willed. And if it were not for Allah checking some people by means of others, the earth would have been corrupted. But Allah is full of bounty to the worlds. These are the verses of Allah which we recite to you, O Muhammad, in truth. And indeed, you are from among the messengers. Those messengers, some of them we caused to exceed others. Among them were those to whom Allah spoke, and he raised some of them in degree. 
and we gave Jesus, the son of Mary, clear proofs, and we supported him with the pure spirit. If Allah had willed, those generations succeeding them would not have fought each other after the clear proofs had come to them. But they differed, and some of them believed, and some of them disbelieved. And if Allah had willed, they would not have fought each other. But Allah does what he intends. O you who have believed, spend from that which we have provided for you before there comes a day in which there is no exchange and no friendship and no intercession. And the disbelievers, they are the wrongdoers. Allah, there is no deity except him, the ever-living, the sustainer of all existence. Neither drowsiness overtakes him nor sleep. To him belongs whatever is in the heavens and whatever is on earth. Who is it that can intercede with him except by his permission? He knows what is before them and what will be after them. And they encompass not a thing of his knowledge except for what he wills. His kursi extends over the heavens and the earth, and their preservation tires him not. And he is the most high, the most great. There shall be no compulsion in acceptance of the religion. The right course has become clear from the wrong. So whoever disbelieves in Ta'ahut and believes in Allah has grasped the most trustworthy handhold with no break in it. And Allah is hearing and knowing. Allah is the ally of those who believe. He brings them out from darknesses into the light. And those who disbelieve their allies are Ta'ahut. They take them out of the light into darknesses. Those are the companions of the fire. They will abide eternally therein. Have you not considered the one who argued with Abraham about his Lord merely because Allah had given him kingship? When Abraham said, My Lord is the one who gives life and causes death, he said, I give life and cause death. Abraham said, Indeed, Allah brings up the sun from the east, so bring it up from the west. So the disbeliever was overwhelmed by astonishment, and Allah does not guide the wrongdoing people. Or consider such an example as the one who had passed by a township which had fallen into ruin. He said, How will Allah bring this to life after its death? So Allah caused him to die for a hundred years, then he revived him. He said, How long have you remained? The man said, I have remained a day or part of a day. He said, Rather you have remained one hundred years. Look at your food and your drink, it has not changed with time. And look at your donkey, and we will make you a sign for the people. And look at the bones of this donkey, how we raise them and then we cover them with flesh. And when it became clear to him, he said, I know that Allah is over all things competent. And mention when Abraham said, My Lord, show me how you give life to the dead. Allah said, Have you not believed? He said, Yes, but I ask only that my heart may be satisfied. Allah said, Take four birds and commit them to yourself. Then after slaughtering them, put on each hill a portion of them. Then call them, they will come flying to you in haste. And know that Allah is exalted in might and wise. The example of those who spend their wealth in the way of Allah is like a seed of grain which grows seven spikes. In each spike is a hundred grains. And Allah multiplies his reward for whom he wills. And Allah is all-encompassing and knowing. Those who spend their wealth in the way of Allah and then do not follow up what they have spent with reminders of it or other injury will have their reward with their Lord and there will be no fear concerning them, nor will they grieve. Kind speech and forgiveness are better than charity followed by injury, and Allah is free of need and forbearing. O you who have believed, do not invalidate your charities with reminders or injury, as does one who spends his wealth only to be seen by the people and does not believe in Allah and the last day. His example is like that of a large smooth stone 
upon which is dust, and is hit by a downpour that leaves it bare. They are unable to keep anything of what they have earned, and Allah does not guide the disbelieving people. And the example of those who spend their wealth seeking means to the approval of Allah and assuring reward for themselves is like a garden on high ground which is hit by a downpour, so it yields its fruit in double. And even if it is not hit by a downpour, then a drizzle is sufficient. And Allah of what you do is seeing. Would one of you like to have a garden of palm trees and grapevines underneath which rivers flow in which he has from every fruit? But he is afflicted with old age and has weak offspring, and it is hit by a whirlwind containing fire and is burned. Thus does Allah make clear to you his verses that you might give thought. O you who have believed, Spend from the good things which you have earned and from that which we have produced for you from the earth. And do not aim toward the defective therefrom, spending from that while you would not take it yourself except with closed eyes. And know that Allah is free of need and praiseworthy. Satan threatens you with poverty and orders you to immorality, while Allah promises you forgiveness from him and bounty. And Allah is all-encompassing and knowing. He gives wisdom to whom he wills, and whoever has been given wisdom has certainly been given much good, and none will remember except those of understanding. And whatever you spend of expenditures or make of vows, indeed Allah knows of it, and for the wrongdoers there are no helpers. If you disclose your charitable expenditures, they are good. But if you conceal them and give them to the poor, it is better for you, and he will remove from you some of your misdeeds thereby. And Allah, with what you do, is fully acquainted. Not upon you, O Muhammad, is responsibility for their guidance, but Allah guides whom he wills. And whatever good you believers spend is for yourselves, and you do not spend except seeking the countenance of Allah. And whatever you spend of good, it will be fully repaid to you, and you will not be wronged. Charity is for the poor who have been restricted for the cause of Allah, unable to move about in the land. An ignorant person would think them self-sufficient because of their restraint, but you will know them by their characteristic sign. They do not ask people persistently or at all, and whatever you spend of good, indeed, Allah is knowing of it. Those who spend their wealth in Allah's way by night and by day, secretly and publicly, they will have their reward with their Lord. And no fear will there be concerning them, nor will they grieve. Those who consume interest cannot stand on the day of resurrection, except as one stands who is being beaten by Satan into insanity. That is because they say, trade is just like interest. But Allah has permitted trade and has forbidden interest. So whoever has received an admonition from his Lord and desists may have what is past, and his affair rests with Allah. But whoever returns to dealing in interest or usury, those are the companions of the fire. They will abide eternally therein. Allah destroys interest and gives increase for charities, and Allah does not like every sinning disbeliever. Indeed, those who believe and do righteous deeds and establish prayer and give zakah will have their reward with their Lord and there will be no fear concerning them, nor will they grieve. O you who have believed, fear Allah and give up what remains due to you of interest if you should be believers. And if you do not, then be informed of a war against you from Allah and his messenger. But if you repent, you may have your principle. Thus you do no wrong, nor are you wronged. And if someone is in hardship, then let there be postponement until a time of ease. But if you give from your right as charity, then it is better for you, if you only knew. And fear a day when you will be returned to Allah. Then every soul will be compensated for what it earned, and they will not be treated unjustly. O you who have believed, when you contract a debt for a specified term, 
write it down, and let a scribe write it between you in justice. Let no scribe refuse to write as Allah has taught him. So let him write and let the one who has the obligation dictate. And let him fear Allah his Lord and not leave anything out of it. But if the one who has the obligation is of limited understanding or weak or unable to dictate himself, then let his guardian dictate in justice. And bring to witness two witnesses from among your men. And if there are not two men available, then a man and two women from those whom you accept as witnesses, so that if one of the women errs, then the other can remind her. And let not the witnesses refuse when they are called upon. And do not be too weary to write it, whether it is small or large for its specified term. That is more just in the sight of Allah, and stronger as evidence, and more likely to prevent doubt between you except when it is an immediate transaction which you conduct among yourselves. For then there is no blame upon you if you do not write it. And take witnesses when you conclude a contract. Let no scribe be harmed or any witness. For if you do so, indeed, it is grave disobedience in you. And fear Allah, and Allah teaches you, and Allah is knowing of all things. And if you are on a journey and cannot find a scribe, then a security deposit should be taken. And if one of you entrusts another, then let him who is entrusted discharge his trust faithfully, and let him fear Allah, his Lord. And do not conceal testimony, for whoever conceals it, his heart is indeed sinful, and Allah is knowing of what you do. To Allah belongs whatever is in the heavens and whatever is in the earth. Whether you show what is within yourselves or conceal it, Allah will bring you to account for it. Then he will forgive whom he wills and punish whom he wills. And Allah is over all things competent. The messenger has believed in what was revealed to him from his Lord, and so have the believers. All of them have believed in Allah and his angels and his books and his messengers, saying, we make no distinction between any of his messengers. And they say, We hear and we obey. We seek your forgiveness, our Lord, and to you is the final destination. Allah does not charge a soul except with that within its capacity. It will have the consequence of what good it has gained, and it will bear the consequence of what evil it has earned. Our Lord, do not impose blame upon us if we have forgotten or erred. Our Lord, and lay not upon us a burden like that which you laid upon those before us. Our Lord, and burden us not with that which we have no ability to bear. And pardon us, and forgive us, and have mercy upon us. You are our protector, so give us victory over the disbelieving people. Alif, Lam, Mim. Allah, there is no deity except him, the ever-living, the sustainer of existence. He has sent down upon you, O Muhammad, the book in truth, confirming what was before it, and he revealed the Torah and the Gospel, before as guidance for the people, and he revealed the Quran. Indeed, those who disbelieve in the verses of Allah will have a severe punishment and Allah is exalted in might, the owner of retribution. Indeed, from Allah nothing is hidden in the earth nor in the heaven. It is he who forms you in the wombs, however he wills. There is no deity except him, the exalted in might, the wise. It is he who has sent down to you, O Muhammad, the book. In it are verses that are precise, they are the foundation of the book, and others unspecific. As for those in whose hearts is deviation from truth, they will follow that of it which is unspecific, seeking discord and seeking an interpretation suitable to them. And no one knows its true interpretation except Allah. But those firm in knowledge say, we believe in it, all of it is from our Lord. 
and no one will be reminded except those of understanding, who say, Our Lord, let not our hearts deviate after you have guided us and grant us from yourself mercy. Indeed, you are the bestower. Our Lord, surely you will gather the people for a day about which there is no doubt. Indeed, Allah does not fail in his promise. Indeed, those who disbelieve, never will their wealth or their children avail them against Allah at all, and it is they who are fuel for the fire. Theirs is like the custom of the people of Pharaoh and those before them. They denied our signs, so Allah sees them for their sins, and Allah is severe in penalty. Say to those who disbelieve, you will be overcome and gathered together to hell, and wretched is the resting place. Already there has been for you a sign in the two armies which met, one fighting in the cause of Allah and another of disbelievers. They saw them to be twice their own number by their eyesight. But Allah supports with his victory whom he wills. Indeed, in that is a lesson for those of vision. Beautified for people is the love of that which they desire, of women and sons, heaped up sums of gold and silver, fine branded horses and cattle and tilled land. That is the enjoyment of worldly life. But Allah has with him the best return. Say, shall I inform you of something better than that? For those who fear Allah will be gardens in the presence of their Lord, beneath which rivers flow, wherein they abide eternally, and purified spouses and approval from Allah and Allah is seeing of his servants. Those who say, Our Lord, indeed we have believed, so forgive us our sins and protect us from the punishment of the fire. The patient, the true, the obedient, those who spend in the way of Allah, and those who seek forgiveness before dawn. Allah witnesses that there is no deity except him, and so do the angels and those of knowledge that he is maintaining creation in justice. There is no deity except him, the exalted in might, the wise. Indeed, the religion in the sight of Allah is Islam. And those who were given the scripture did not differ except after knowledge had come to them out of jealous animosity between themselves. And whoever disbelieves in the verses of Allah, then indeed, Allah is swift in taking account. So if they argue with you, say, I have submitted myself to Allah in Islam, and so have those who follow me. And say to those who were given the scripture and to the unlearned, Have you submitted yourselves? And if they submit in Islam, they are rightly guided. But if they turn away, then upon you is only the duty of notification, and Allah is seeing of his servants. Those who disbelieve in the signs of Allah and kill the prophets without right and kill those who order justice from among the people, give them tidings of a painful punishment. They are the ones whose deeds have become worthless in this world and the hereafter, and for them there will be no helpers. Do you not consider, O Muhammad, those who were given a portion of the scripture? They are invited to the scripture of Allah that it should arbitrate between them. Then a party of them turns away, and they are refusing. That is because they say, Never will the fire touch us except for a few numbered days, and because they were deluded in their religion by what they were inventing. So how will it be when we assemble them for a day about which there is no doubt, and each soul will be compensated in full for what it has earned, and they will not be wronged? Say, O oh Allah, owner of sovereignty, you give sovereignty to whom you will, and you take sovereignty away from whom you will. You honor whom you will, and you humble whom you will. In your hand is all good. Indeed, you are over all things competent. You cause the night to enter the day, and you cause the day to enter the night, and you bring the living out of the dead, and you bring the dead out of the living, and you give provision to whom you will without account. Let not believers take disbelievers as allies rather than believers. 
and whoever of you does that has nothing with Allah except when taking precaution against them in prudence. And Allah warns you of himself and to Allah is the final destination. Say, whether you conceal what is in your breasts or reveal it, Allah knows it. And he knows that which is in the heavens and that which is on the earth. And Allah is over all things competent. The day every soul will find what it has done of good present before it and what it has done of evil, it will wish that between itself and that evil was a great distance. And Allah warns you of himself. And Allah is kind to his servants. Say, O Muhammad, if you should love Allah, then follow me. So Allah will love you and forgive you your sins. And Allah is forgiving and merciful. Say, Obey Allah and the Messenger. But if they turn away, then indeed, Allah does not like the disbelievers. Indeed, Allah chose Adam and Noah and the family of Abraham and the family of Imran over the worlds, descendants, some of them from others. And Allah is hearing and knowing. Mention, O Muhammad, when the wife of Imran said, My Lord, indeed I have pledged to you what is in my womb, consecrated for your service, so accept this from me. Indeed, you are the hearing, the knowing. But when she delivered her, she said, My Lord, I have delivered a female. And Allah was most knowing of what she delivered, and the male is not like the female. And I have named her Mary, and I seek refuge for her in you, and for her descendants from Satan, the expelled from the mercy of Allah. So her Lord accepted her with good acceptance and caused her to grow in a good manner and put her in the care of Zechariah. Every time Zechariah entered upon her in the prayer chamber, he found with her provision. He said, O Mary, from where is this coming to you? She said, It is from Allah. Indeed, Allah provides for whom he wills without account. At that, Zechariah called upon his Lord, saying, My Lord, grant me from yourself a good offspring. Indeed, you are the hearer of supplication. So the angels called him while he was standing in prayer in the chamber. Indeed, Allah gives you good tidings of John, confirming a word from Allah, and who will be honorable, abstaining from women, and a prophet from among the righteous. He said, My Lord, how will I have a boy when I have reached old age and my wife is barren? The angel said, Such is Allah, he does what he wills. He said, My Lord, make for me a sign. He said, Your sign is that you will not be able to speak to the people for three days except by gesture, and remember your Lord much and exalt him with praise in the evening and the morning. And mention when the angel said, O Mary, indeed Allah has chosen you and purified you and chosen you above the women of the worlds. O Mary, be devoutly obedient to your Lord and prostrate and bow with those who bow in prayer. That is from the news of the unseen which we reveal to you, O Muhammad. And you were not with them when they cast their pens as to which of them should be responsible for Mary, nor were you with them when they disputed. And mentioned when the angel said, O Mary, indeed Allah gives you good tidings of a word from him, whose name will be the Messiah, Jesus, the son of Mary, distinguished in this world and the hereafter, and among those brought near to Allah. He will speak to the people in the cradle and in maturity and will be of the righteous. She said, My Lord, how will I have a child when no man has touched me? The angel said, such is Allah, he creates what he wills. When he decrees a matter, he only says to it, Be, and it is. And he will teach him writing and wisdom and the Torah and the Gospel. And make him a messenger to the children of Israel, who will say, Indeed, I have come to you with a sign from your Lord, in that I design for you from clay that which is like the form of a bird. Then I breathe into it, 
and it becomes a bird by permission of Allah. And I cure the blind and the leper, and I give life to the dead by permission of Allah. And I inform you of what you eat and what you store in your houses. Indeed, in that is a sign for you if you are believers. And I have come confirming what was before me of the Torah and to make lawful for you some of what was forbidden to you. And I have come to you with a sign from your Lord. So fear Allah and obey me. Indeed, Allah is my Lord and your Lord, so worship him. That is the straight path. But when Jesus felt persistence in disbelief from them, he said, Who are my supporters for the cause of Allah? The disciples said, We are supporters for Allah. We have believed in Allah and testify that we are Muslims, submitting to him. Our Lord, we have believed in what you revealed and have followed the messenger Jesus. So register us among the witnesses to truth. And the disbelievers planned, but Allah planned. And Allah is the best of planners. Mention when Allah said, O Jesus, indeed I will take you and raise you to myself and purify you from those who disbelieve and make those who follow you in submission to Allah alone superior to those who disbelieve until the day of resurrection. Then to me is your return, and I will judge between you concerning that in which you used to differ. And as for those who disbelieved, I will punish them with a severe punishment in this world and the hereafter, and they will have no helpers. But as for those who believed and did righteous deeds, he will give them in full their rewards, and Allah does not like the wrongdoers. This is what we recite to you, O Muhammad, of our verses and the precise and wise message. Indeed, the example of Jesus to Allah is like that of Adam. He created him from dust, then he said to him, Be, and he was. The truth is from your Lord, so do not be among the doubters. Then whoever argues with you about it after this knowledge has come to you, Say, come, let us call our sons and your sons, our women and your women, ourselves and yourselves. Then supplicate earnestly together and invoke the curse of Allah upon the liars among us. Indeed, this is the true narration. And there is no deity except Allah. And indeed, Allah is the exalted in might, the wise. But if they turn away, then indeed, Allah is knowing of the corruptors. Say, O people of the scripture, come to a word that is equitable between us and you, that we will not worship except Allah, and not associate anything with him, and not take one another as lords instead of Allah. But if they turn away, then say, bear witness that we are Muslims, submitting to him. O people of the scripture, why do you argue about Abraham while the Torah and the gospel were not revealed until after him? Then will you not reason? Here you are, those who have argued about that of which you have some knowledge. But why do you argue about that of which you have no knowledge? And Allah knows while you know not. Abraham was neither a Jew nor a Christian but he was one inclining toward truth, a Muslim submitting to Allah, and he was not of the polytheists. Indeed, the most worthy of Abraham among the people are those who followed him in submission to Allah and this prophet, and those who believe in his message, and Allah is the ally of the believers. A faction of the people of the scripture wish they could mislead you, but they do not mislead except themselves, and they perceive it not. O people of the scripture, why do you disbelieve in the verses of Allah while you witness to their truth? O people of the scripture, why do you confuse the truth with falsehood and conceal the truth while you know it? And a faction of the people of the scripture say to each other, believe in that which was revealed to the believers at the beginning of the day, and reject it at its end, that perhaps they will abandon their religion. And do not trust except those who follow your religion. 
Say, Indeed, the true guidance is the guidance of Allah. Do you fear lest someone be given knowledge like you were given, or that they would thereby argue with you before your Lord? Say, Indeed, all bounty is in the hands of Allah. He grants it to whom he wills. And Allah is all-encompassing and wise. He selects for his mercy whom he wills. And Allah is the possessor of great bounty. And among the people of the scripture is he who, if you entrust him with a great amount of wealth, he will return it to you. And among them is he who, if you entrust him with a single silver coin, he will not return it to you unless you are constantly standing over him demanding it. That is because they say, there is no blame upon us concerning the unlearned, and they speak untruth about Allah while they know it. But yes, whoever fulfills his commitment and fears Allah, then indeed Allah loves those who fear him. Indeed, those who exchange the covenant of Allah and their own oaths for a small price will have no share in the hereafter, and Allah will not speak to them or look at them on the day of resurrection, nor will he purify them, and they will have a painful punishment. And indeed, there is among them a party who alter the scripture with their tongues, so you may think it is from the scripture, but it is not from the scripture. And they say, this is from Allah, but it is not from Allah. And they speak untruth about Allah while they know. It is not for a human prophet that Allah should give him the scripture and authority and prophethood, and then he would say to the people, be servants to me rather than Allah. But instead he would say, Be pious scholars of the Lord because of what you have taught of the scripture and because of what you have studied. Nor could he order you to take the angels and prophets as lords. Would he order you to disbelief after you had been Muslims? And recall, O people of the scripture, when Allah took the covenant of the prophets, saying, Whatever I give you of the scripture and wisdom, and then there comes to you a messenger confirming what is with you, you must believe in him and support him. Allah said, Have you acknowledged and taken upon that my commitment? They said, We have acknowledged it. He said, Then bear witness, and I am with you among the witnesses. And whoever turned away after that, they were the defiantly disobedient. So is it other than the religion of Allah they desire? While to him have submitted all those within the heavens and earth, willingly or by compulsion, and to him they will be returned? Say, we have believed in Allah and in what was revealed to us and what was revealed to Abraham, Ishmael, Isaac, Jacob, and the descendants, and in what was given to Moses and Jesus and to the prophets from their Lord. We make no distinction between any of them, and we are Muslims submitting to him. And whoever desires other than Islam as religion, never will it be accepted from him, and he in the hereafter will be among the losers. How shall Allah guide a people who disbelieved after their belief, and had witnessed that the messenger is true and clear signs had come to them? and Allah does not guide the wrongdoing people. Those, their recompense will be that upon them is the curse of Allah and the angels and the people all together, abiding eternally therein. The punishment will not be lightened for them, nor will they be reprieved, except for those who repent after that and correct themselves. For indeed, Allah is forgiving and merciful. Indeed, those who reject the message after their belief and then increase in disbelief, never will their claimed repentance be accepted, and they are the ones astray. Indeed, those who disbelieve and die while they are disbelievers, never would the whole capacity of the earth and gold be accepted from one of them if he would seek to ransom himself with it. For those there will be a painful punishment, and they will have no helpers. Never will you attain the good reward until you spend in the way of Allah from that which you love, 
and whatever you spend, indeed, Allah is knowing of it. All food was lawful to the children of Israel, except what Israel had made unlawful to himself before the Torah was revealed. Say, O Muhammad, so bring the Torah and recite it, if you should be truthful. And whoever invents about Allah untruth after that, then those are truly the wrongdoers. Say, Allah has told the truth, so follow the religion of Abraham, inclining toward truth, and he was not of the polytheists. Indeed, the first house of worship established for mankind was that at Mecca, blessed and a guidance for the worlds. In it are clear signs such as the standing place of Abraham, and whoever enters it shall be safe. And due to Allah from the people is a pilgrimage to the house, for whoever is able to find thereto a way. But whoever disbelieves, then indeed Allah is free from need of the world. Say, O people of the scripture, why do you disbelieve in the verses of Allah, while Allah is witness over what you do? Say, O people of the scripture, why do you avert from the way of Allah those who believe, seeking to make it seem deviant, while you are witnesses to the truth, and Allah is not unaware of what you do? O you who have believed, if you obey a party of those who were given the scripture, they would turn you back after your belief to being unbelievers. And how could you disbelieve while to you are being recited the verses of Allah and among you is his messenger? And whoever holds firmly to Allah has indeed been guided to a straight path. O you who have believed, fear Allah as he should be feared, and do not die except as Muslims in submission to him. And hold firmly to the rope of Allah altogether and do not become divided. And remember the favor of Allah upon you, when you were enemies and he brought your hearts together and you became, by his favor, brothers. And you were on the edge of a pit of the fire and he saved you from it. Thus does Allah make clear to you his verses that you may be guided. And let there be arising from you a nation inviting to all that is good, enjoining what is right and forbidding what is wrong, and those will be the successful. And do not be like the ones who became divided and differed after the clear proofs had come to them, and those will have a great punishment. On the day some faces will turn white and some faces will turn black. As for those whose faces turns black, to them it will be said, Did you disbelieve after your belief? Then taste the punishment for what you used to reject. But as for those whose faces turn white, they will be within the mercy of Allah. They will abide therein eternally. These are the verses of Allah. We recite them to you, O Muhammad, in truth. And Allah wants no injustice to the world. To Allah belongs whatever is in the heavens and whatever is on the earth, and to Allah will all matters be returned. You are the best nation produced as an example for mankind. You enjoin what is right and forbid what is wrong and believe in Allah. If only the people of the scripture had believed, it would have been better for them. Among them are believers, but most of them are defiantly disobedient. They will not harm you except for some annoyance, and if they fight you, they will show you their backs, then they will not be aided. They have been put under humiliation by Allah wherever they are overtaken, except for a covenant from Allah and a rope from the Muslims. And they have drawn upon themselves anger from Allah and have been put under destitution. That is because they disbelieved in the verses of Allah and killed the prophets without right. That is because they disobeyed and habitually transgressed. They are not all the same. 
Among the people of the scripture is a community standing in obedience, reciting the verses of Allah during periods of the night and prostrating in prayer. They believe in Allah and the last day, and they enjoin what is right and forbid what is wrong and hasten to good deeds, and those are among the righteous. And whatever good they do, never will it be removed from them, and Allah is knowing of the righteous. Indeed, those who disbelieve, never will their wealth or their children avail them against Allah at all, and those are the companions of the fire, they will abide therein eternally. The example of what they spend in this worldly life is like that of a wind containing frost which strikes the harvest of a people who have wronged themselves and destroyed it. And Allah has not wronged them, but they wronged themselves. O you who have believed, do not take as intimates those other than yourselves, for they will not spare you any ruin. They wish you would have hardship. Hatred has already appeared from their mouths, and what their breasts conceal is greater. We have certainly made clear to you the signs, if you will use reason. Here you are loving them, but they are not loving you, while you believe in the scripture, all of it. And when they meet you, they say, we believe. But when they are alone, they bite their fingertips at you in rage. Say, die in your rage. Indeed, Allah is knowing of that within the breasts. If good touches you, it distresses them. But if harm strikes you, they rejoice at it. And if you are patient and fear Allah, their plot will not harm you at all. Indeed, Allah is encompassing of what they do. And remember when you, O Muhammad, left your family in the morning to post the believers at their station for the battle of Uhud. And Allah is hearing and knowing. When two parties among you were about to lose courage, but Allah was their ally, and upon Allah the believers should rely. And already had Allah given you victory at the battle of Badr, while you were few in number. Then fear Allah, perhaps you will be grateful. Remember when you said to the believers, Is it not sufficient for you that your Lord should reinforce you with three thousand angels sent down? Yes, if you remain patient and conscious of Allah, and the enemy come upon you attacking in rage, your Lord will reinforce you with five thousand angels having marks of distinction. And Allah made it not except as a sign of good tidings for you, and to reassure your hearts thereby. And victory is not except from Allah, the exalted in might, the wise, that he might cut down a section of the disbelievers or suppress them so that they turn back disappointed. Not for you, O Muhammad, but for Allah is the decision whether he should cut them down or forgive them or punish them, for indeed they are wrongdoers. And to Allah belongs whatever is in the heavens and whatever is on the earth. He forgives whom he wills and punishes whom he wills. And Allah is forgiving and merciful. O you who have believed, do not consume usury, doubled and multiplied, but fear Allah that you may be successful. And fear the fire which has been prepared for the disbelievers. And obey Allah and the Messenger that you may obtain mercy. And hasten to forgiveness from your Lord, and a garden as wide as the heavens and earth, prepared for the righteous. Who spend in the cause of Allah during ease and hardship, and who restrain anger and who pardon the people, and Allah loves the doers of good. And those who, when they commit an immorality or wrong themselves by transgression, Remember Allah and seek forgiveness for their sins. And who can forgive sins except Allah? And who do not persist in what they have done while they know? Those, their reward is forgiveness from their Lord and gardens beneath which rivers flow in paradise, wherein they will abide eternally. And excellent is the reward of the righteous workers. Similar situations as yours have passed on before you, 
so proceed throughout the earth and observe how was the end of those who denied. This Quran is a clear statement to all the people and a guidance and instruction for those conscious of Allah. So do not weaken and do not grieve and you will be superior if you are true believers. If a wound should touch you, there has already touched the opposing people a wound similar to it. And these days of varying conditions we alternate among the people so that Allah may make evident those who believe and may take to himself from among you martyrs. And Allah does not like the wrongdoers. And that Allah may purify the believers through trials and destroy the disbelievers. Or do you think that you will enter paradise while Allah has not yet made evident those of you who fight in his cause and made evident those who are steadfast? And you had certainly wished for martyrdom before you encountered it. And you have now seen it before you while you were looking on. Muhammad is not but a messenger. Other messengers have passed on before him. So if he was to die or be killed, would you turn back your heels to disbelief? And he who turns back on his heels will never harm Allah at all. But Allah will reward the grateful. And it is not possible for one to die except by permission of Allah at a decree determined. And whoever desires the reward of this world, we will give him thereof. And whoever desires the reward of the hereafter, we will give him thereof. And we will reward the grateful. And how many a prophet fought, and with him fought many religious scholars, but they never lost assurance due to what afflicted them in the cause of Allah, nor did they weaken or submit. And Allah loves the steadfast. And their words were not but that they said, Our Lord, forgive us our sins and the excess committed in our affairs, and plant firmly our feet and give us victory over the disbelieving people. So Allah gave them the reward of this world and the good reward of the hereafter. And Allah loves the doers of good. O you who have believed, if you obey those who disbelieve, they will turn you back on your heels and you will then become losers. But Allah is your protector and he is the best of helpers. We will cast terror into the hearts of those who disbelieve for what they have associated with Allah of which he had not sent down any authority. And their refuge will be the fire and wretched is the residence of the wrongdoers. And Allah had certainly fulfilled his promise to you when you were killing the enemy by his permission until the time when you lost courage and fell to disputing about the order given by the Prophet and disobeyed after he had shown you that which you love. Among you are some who desire this world and among you are some who desire the hereafter. Then he turned you back from them defeated that he might test you and he has already forgiven you and Allah is the possessor of bounty for the believers. Remember when you fled and climbed the mountain without looking aside at anyone while the messenger was calling you from behind? So Allah repaid you with distress upon distress so you would not grieve for that which had escaped you of victory and the spoils of war or for that which had befallen you of injury and death. And Allah is fully acquainted with what you do. Then after distress, he sent down upon you security in the form of drowsiness, overcoming a faction of you, while another faction worried about themselves, thinking of Allah other than the truth, the thought of ignorance, saying, Is there anything for us to have done in this matter? Say, Indeed, the matter belongs completely to Allah. They conceal within themselves what they will not reveal to you. They say, if there was anything we could have done in the matter, some of us would not have been killed right here. Say, even if you had been inside your houses, those decreed to be killed would have come out to their deathbeds. It was so that Allah might test what is in your breasts and purify what is in your hearts. And Allah is knowing of that within the breasts. Indeed, 
those of you who turned back on the day the two enemies met. It was Satan who caused them to slip because of some blame they had earned. But Allah has already forgiven them. Indeed, Allah is forgiving and forbearing. O you who have believed, do not be like those who disbelieved and said about their brothers when they traveled through the land or went out to fight. If they had been with us, they would not have died or have been killed. So Allah makes that misconception a regret within their hearts. And it is Allah who gives life and causes death. And Allah is seeing of what you do. And if you are killed in the cause of Allah or die, then forgiveness from Allah and mercy are better than whatever they accumulate in this world. And whether you die or are killed, unto Allah you will be gathered. So by mercy from Allah, O Muhammad, you were lenient with them. And if you had been rude in speech and harsh in heart, they would have disbanded from about you. So pardon them and ask forgiveness for them and consult them in the matter. And when you have decided, then rely upon Allah. Indeed, Allah loves those who rely upon him. If Allah should aid you, no one can overcome you. But if he should forsake you, who is there that can aid you after him? And upon Allah let the believers rely. It is not attributable to any prophet that he would act unfaithfully in regard to war booty. And whoever betrays, taking unlawfully, will come with what he took on the day of resurrection. Then will every soul be fully compensated for what it earned, and they will not be wronged. So is one who pursues the pleasure of Allah, like one who brings upon himself the anger of Allah, and whose refuge is hell, and wretched is the destination. They are varying degrees in the sight of Allah, and Allah is seeing of whatever they do. Certainly did Allah confer great favor upon the believers when he sent among them a messenger from themselves, reciting to them his verses, and purifying them and teaching them the book and wisdom, although they had been before in manifest error. Why is it that when a single disaster struck you on the day of Uhud, although you had struck the enemy in the battle of Badr with one twice as great, you said, From where is this? Say, It is from yourselves. Indeed, Allah is over all things competent. And what struck you on the day the two armies met was by permission of Allah, that he might make evident the true believers, and that he might make evident those who are hypocrites. For it was said to them, Come, fight in the way of Allah, or at least defend. They said, If we had known there would be fighting, we would have followed you. They were nearer to disbelief that day than to faith, saying with their mouths what was not in their hearts. And Allah is most knowing of what they conceal. Those who said about their brothers while sitting at home, if they had obeyed us, they would not have been killed, say, then prevent death from yourselves if you should be truthful. And never think of those who have been killed in the cause of Allah as dead. Rather, they are alive with their Lord, receiving provision. Rejoicing in what Allah has bestowed upon them of his bounty, and they receive good tidings about those to be martyred after them who have not yet joined them, that there will be no fear concerning them, nor will they grieve. They receive good tidings of favor from Allah and bounty and of the fact that Allah does not allow the reward of believers to be lost. Those believers who responded to Allah and the messenger after injury had struck them, for those who did good among them and feared Allah is a great reward. Those to whom hypocrites said, Indeed, the people have gathered against you, so fear them. But it merely increased them in faith, and they said, Sufficient for us is Allah, and he is the best disposer of affairs. So they returned with favor from Allah and bounty, no harm having touched them and they pursued the pleasure of Allah, and Allah is the possessor of great bounty.
That is only Satan who frightens you of his supporters. So fear them not, but fear me if you are indeed believers. And do not be grieved, O Muhammad, by those who hasten into this belief. Indeed, they will never harm Allah at all. Allah intends that he should give them no share in the hereafter, and for them is a great punishment. Indeed, those who purchase disbelief in exchange for faith, never will they harm Allah at all, and for them is a painful punishment. And let not those who disbelieve ever think that because we extend their time of enjoyment, it is better for them. We only extend it for them so that they may increase in sin, and for them is a humiliating punishment. Allah would not leave the believers in that state you are in presently, until he separates the evil from the good. Nor would Allah reveal to you the unseen. But instead, Allah chooses of his messengers whom he wills. So believe in Allah and his messengers. And if you believe and fear him, then for you is a great reward. And let not those who greedily withhold what Allah has given them of his bounty ever think that it is better for them. Rather, it is worse for them. Their necks will be encircled by what they withheld on the day of resurrection. And to Allah belongs the heritage of the heavens and the earth. And Allah, with what you do, is fully acquainted. Allah has certainly heard the statement of those Jews who said, Indeed, Allah is poor while we are rich. We will record what they said and their killing of the prophets without right, and will say, Taste the punishment of the burning fire. That is for what your hands have put forth, and because Allah is not ever unjust to his servants. They are those who said, Indeed, Allah has taken our promise not to believe any messenger until he brings us an offering which fire from heaven will consume. Say, There have already come to you messengers before me with clear proofs, and even that of which you speak. So why did you kill them, if you should be truthful? Then if they deny you, O Muhammad, so were messengers denied before you, who brought clear proofs and written ordinances and the enlightened scripture. Every soul will taste death, and you will only be given your full compensation on the day of resurrection. So he who is drawn away from the fire and admitted to paradise has attained his desire. And what is the life of this world except the enjoyment of delusion? You will surely be tested in your possessions and in yourselves. And you will surely hear from those who were given the scripture before you, and from those who associate others with Allah much abuse. But if you are patient and fear Allah, indeed, that is of the matters worthy of determination. And mention, O Muhammad, when Allah took a covenant from those who were given the scripture, saying, You must make it clear to the people and not conceal it. But they threw it away behind their backs and exchanged it for a small price. And wretched is that which they purchased. And never think that those who rejoice in what they have perpetrated and like to be praised for what they did not do, never think them to be in safety from the punishment, and for them is a painful punishment. And to Allah belongs the dominion of the heavens and the earth, and Allah is over all things competent. Indeed, in the creation of the heavens and the earth and the alternation of the night and the day are signs for those of understanding. Who remember Allah while standing or sitting or lying on their sides and give thought to the creation of the heavens and the earth, saying, Our Lord, you did not create this aimlessly. Exalted are you above such a thing, then protect us from the punishment of the fire. Our Lord, indeed whoever you admit to the fire, you have disgraced him, and for the wrongdoers there are no helpers. Our Lord, indeed we have heard a caller calling to faith, saying, Believe in your Lord, and we have believed. Our Lord, so forgive us our sins and remove from us our misdeeds and cause us to die with the righteous. Our Lord, and grant us what you promised us through your messengers, and do not disgrace us on the day of resurrection. 
indeed, you do not fail in your promise. And their Lord responded to them, Never will I allow to be lost the work of any worker among you, whether male or female. You are of one another. So those who emigrated or were evicted from their homes or were harmed in my cause or fought or were killed, I will surely remove from them their misdeeds, and I will surely admit them to gardens beneath which rivers flow as reward from Allah, and Allah has with him the best reward. Be not deceived by the uninhibited movement of the disbelievers throughout the land. It is but a small enjoyment, then their final refuge is hell, and wretched is the resting place. But those who feared their Lord will have gardens beneath which rivers flow, abiding eternally therein as accommodation from Allah. And that which is with Allah is best for the righteous. And indeed, among the people of the scripture are those who believe in Allah, and what was revealed to you and what was revealed to them, being humbly submissive to Allah. They do not exchange the verses of Allah for a small price, those will have their reward with their Lord. Indeed, Allah is swift in account. O you who have believed, persevere and endure and remain stationed, and fear Allah that you may be successful. O mankind, fear your Lord, who created you from one soul and created from it its mate and dispersed from both of them many men and women. And fear Allah, through whom you ask one another, and the wombs. Indeed, Allah is ever over you, an observer. And give to the orphans their properties, and do not substitute the defective of your own for the good of theirs. And do not consume their properties into your own. Indeed, that is ever a great sin. And if you fear that you will not deal justly with the orphan girls, then marry those that please you of other women, two or three or four. But if you fear that you will not be just, then marry only one or those your right hands possess. That is more suitable that you may not incline to injustice. And give the women upon marriage their bridal gifts graciously. But if they give up willingly to you anything of it, then take it in satisfaction and ease. And do not give the weak-minded your property, which Allah has made a means of sustenance for you, but provide for them with it, and clothe them, and speak to them words of appropriate kindness. And test the orphans in their abilities until they reach marriageable age. Then if you perceive in them sound judgment, release their property to them. And do not consume it excessively and quickly, anticipating that they will grow up. And whoever, when acting as guardian, is self-sufficient, should refrain from taking a fee. And whoever is poor, let him take according to what is reasonable. Then when you release their property to them, bring witnesses upon them, and sufficient is Allah as accountant. For men is a share of what the parents and close relatives leave, and for women is a share of what the parents and close relatives leave be it little or much, an obligatory share. And when other relatives and orphans and the needy are present at the time of division, then provide for them something out of the estate and speak to them words of appropriate kindness. And let those executors and guardians fear injustice as if they themselves had left weak offspring behind and feared for them. So let them fear Allah and speak words of appropriate justice. Indeed, those who devour the property of orphans unjustly are only consuming into their bellies fire, and they will be burned in a blaze. Allah instructs you concerning your children. For the male, what is equal to the share of two females. But if there are only daughters, two or more, for them is two-thirds of one's estate. And if there is only one, for her is half. And for one's parents, to each one of them is a sixth of his estate if he left children. But if he had no children and the parents alone inherit from him, then for his mother is one-third. And if he had brothers or sisters, for his mother is a sixth 
after any bequest he may have made or debt. Your parents or your children, you know not which of them are nearest to you in benefit. These shares are an obligation imposed by Allah. Indeed, Allah is ever knowing and wise. And for you is half of what your wives leave if they have no child. But if they have a child, for you is one fourth of what they leave, after any bequest they may have made or debt. And for the wives is one fourth if you leave no child. But if you leave a child, then for them is an eighth of what you leave, after any bequest you may have made or debt. And if a man or woman leaves neither ascendants nor descendants, but has a brother or a sister, then for each one of them is a sixth. But if they are more than two, they share a third, after any bequest which was made or debt, as long as there is no detriment caused. This is an ordinance from Allah, and Allah is knowing and forbearing. These are the limits set by Allah, and whoever obeys Allah and his messenger will be admitted by him to gardens in paradise, under which rivers flow, abiding eternally therein. And that is the great attainment. And whoever disobeys Allah and his messenger and transgresses his limits, he will put him into the fire to abide eternally therein, and he will have a humiliating punishment. Those who commit unlawful sexual intercourse of your women, bring against them four witnesses from among you. And if they testify, confine the guilty women to houses until death takes them, or Allah ordains for them another way. And the two who commit it among you, dishonor them both. But if they repent and correct themselves, leave them alone. Indeed, Allah is ever accepting of repentance and merciful. The repentance accepted by Allah is only for those who do wrong in ignorance or carelessness and then repent soon after. It is those to whom Allah will turn in forgiveness, and Allah is ever knowing and wise. But repentance is not accepted of those who continue to do evil deeds up until when death comes to one of them, he says, Indeed, I have repented now, or of those who die while they are disbelievers. For them we have prepared a painful punishment. O you who have believed, it is not lawful for you to inherit women by compulsion, and do not make difficulties for them in order to take back part of what you gave them, unless they commit a clear immorality. And live with them in kindness. For if you dislike them, perhaps you dislike a thing, and Allah makes therein much good. But if you want to replace one wife with another, and you have given one of them a great amount in gifts, do not take back from it anything. Would you take it in injustice and manifest sin? And how could you take it while you have gone in unto each other, and they have taken from you a solemn covenant? And do not marry those women whom your fathers married, except what has already occurred. Indeed, it was an immorality and hateful to Allah, and was evil as a way. Prohibited to you for marriage are your mothers, your daughters, your sisters, your father's sisters, your mother's sisters, your brother's daughters, your sister's daughters, your milk mothers who nursed you, your sisters through nursing, your wives' mothers, and your stepdaughters under your guardianship, born of your wives unto whom you have gone in. But if you have not gone in unto them, there is no sin upon you. And also prohibited are the wives of your sons who are from your own loins, and that you take in marriage two sisters simultaneously, except for what has already occurred. Indeed, Allah is ever forgiving and merciful. And also prohibited to you are all married women, except those your right hands possess. This is the decree of Allah upon you. And lawful to you are all others beyond these, provided that you seek them in marriage with gifts from your property, desiring chastity, not unlawful sexual intercourse. So for whatever you enjoy of marriage from them, give them their due compensation as an obligation. 
and there is no blame upon you for what you have mutually agreed to beyond the obligation. Indeed, Allah is ever knowing and wise. And whoever among you cannot find the means to marry free believing women, then he may marry from those whom your right hands possess of believing slave girls. And Allah is most knowing about your faith. You believers are of one another. So marry them with the permission of their people and give them their due compensation according to what is reasonable. They should be chaste, neither of those who commit unlawful intercourse randomly nor those who take secret lovers. But once they are sheltered in marriage, if they should commit adultery, then for them is half the punishment for free unmarried women. This allowance is for him among you who fears sin, but to be patient is better for you, and Allah is forgiving and merciful. Allah wants to make clear to you the lawful from the unlawful, and guide you to the good practices of those before you, and to accept your repentance, and Allah is knowing and wise. Allah wants to accept your repentance, but those who follow their passions want you to digress into a great deviation. And Allah wants to lighten for you your difficulties, and mankind was created weak. O you who have believed, do not consume one another's wealth unjustly, but only in lawful business by mutual consent, and do not kill yourselves or one another. Indeed, Allah is to you ever merciful. And whoever does that in aggression and injustice, then we will drive him into a fire. And that, for Allah, is always easy. If you avoid the major sins which you are forbidden, we will remove from you your lesser sins and admit you to a noble entrance into paradise. And do not wish for that by which Allah has made some of you exceed others. For man is a share of what they have earned, and for women is a share of what they have earned. And ask Allah of his bounty. Indeed, Allah is ever, of all things, knowing. And for all, we have made heirs to what is left by parents and relatives. And to those whom your oaths have bound to you, give them their share. Indeed, Allah is ever, over all things, a witness. Men are in charge of women by right of what Allah has given one over the other and what they spend for maintenance from their wealth. So righteous women are devoutly obedient, guarding in the husband's absence what Allah would have them guard. But those wives from whom you fear arrogance, first advise them, then if they persist, forsake them in bed, and finally strike them. But if they obey you once more, seek no means against them. Indeed, Allah is ever exalted and grand. And if you fear dissension between the two, send an arbitrator from his people and an arbitrator from her people. If they both desire reconciliation, Allah will cause it between them. Indeed, Allah is ever knowing and acquainted with all things. Worship Allah and associate nothing with him, and to parents do good, and to relatives, orphans, the needy, the near neighbor, the neighbor farther away, the companion at your side, the traveler, and those whom your right hands possess. Indeed, Allah does not like those who are self-deluding and boastful, who are stingy and enjoin upon other people's stinginess and conceal what Allah has given them of his bounty and we have prepared for the disbelievers a humiliating punishment. And also those who spend of their wealth to be seen by the people and believe not in Allah nor in the last day. And he to whom Satan is a companion, then evil is he as a companion. And what harm would come upon them if they believed in Allah and the last day and spent out of what Allah provided for them? And Allah is ever about them knowing. Indeed, Allah does not do injustice, even as much as an atom's weight, while if there is a good deed, he multiplies it and gives from himself a great reward. So how will it be when we bring from every nation a witness and we bring you, O Muhammad, against these people as a witness? That day, 
those who disbelieved and disobeyed the Messenger will wish they could be covered by the earth, and they will not conceal from Allah a single statement. O you who have believed, do not approach prayer while you are intoxicated until you know what you are saying, or in a state of janaba, except those passing through a place of prayer until you have washed your whole body. And if you are ill or on a journey or one of you comes from the place of relieving himself or you have contacted women and find no water, then seek clean earth and wipe over your faces and your hands with it. Indeed, Allah is ever pardoning and forgiving. Have you not seen those who were given a portion of the scripture, purchasing error in exchange for it and wishing you would lose the way? And Allah is most knowing of your enemies, and sufficient is Allah as an ally, and sufficient is Allah as a helper. Among the Jews are those who distort words from their proper usages and say, we hear and disobey, and hear but not be heard, and ra'ina, twisting their tongues and defaming their religion. And if they had said instead, we hear and obey, and wait for us to understand, it would have been better for them and more suitable. But Allah has cursed them for their disbelief, so they believe not except for a few. O you who were given the scripture, believe in what we have sent down to Muhammad, confirming that which is with you, before we obliterate faces and turn them toward their backs or curse them as we curse the Sabbath breakers. And ever is the decree of Allah accomplished. Indeed, Allah does not forgive association with him, but he forgives what is less than that for whom he wills. And he who associates others with Allah has certainly fabricated a tremendous sin. Have you not seen those who claim themselves to be pure? Rather, Allah purifies whom he wills, and injustice is not done to them, even as much as a thread inside a date seed. Look how they invent about Allah untruth, and sufficient is that as a manifest sin. Have you not seen those who were given a portion of the scripture, who believe in superstition and false objects of worship, and say about the disbelievers, these are better guided than the believers as to the way. Those are the ones whom Allah has cursed, and he whom Allah curses, never will you find for him a helper. Or have they a share of dominion? Then if that were so, they would not give the people even as much as the speck on a date seed. Or do they envy people for what Allah has given them of his bounty? But we had already given the family of Abraham the scripture and wisdom and conferred upon them a great kingdom. And some among them believed in it, and some among them were averse to it, and sufficient is hell as a blaze. Indeed, those who disbelieve it in our verses, we will drive them into a fire. Every time their skins are roasted through, we will replace them with other skins, so they may taste the punishment. Indeed, Allah is ever exalted in might and wise. But those who believe and do righteous deeds, we will admit them to gardens beneath which rivers flow, wherein they abide forever. For them therein are purified spouses, and we will admit them to deepening shade. Indeed, Allah commands you to render trusts to whom they are due, and when you judge between people to judge with justice. Excellent is that which Allah instructs you. Indeed, Allah is ever hearing and seeing. O you who have believed, obey Allah and obey the Messenger and those in authority among you. And if you disagree over anything, refer it to Allah and the Messenger, if you should believe in Allah and the Last Day. That is the best way and best in result. Have you not seen those who claim to have believed in what was revealed to you, O Muhammad, and what was revealed before you? They wished to refer legislation to Ta'gut, while they were commanded to reject it, 
and Satan wishes to lead them far astray. And when it is said to them, Come to what Allah has revealed and to the Messenger, you see the hypocrites turning away from you in aversion. So how will it be when disaster strikes them because of what their hands have put forth, and then they come to you swearing by Allah, We intended nothing but good conduct and accommodation. Those are the ones of whom Allah knows what is in their hearts. So turn away from them, but admonish them and speak to them a far-reaching word. And we did not send any messenger except to be obeyed by permission of Allah. And if, when they wronged themselves, they had come to you, O Muhammad, and asked forgiveness of Allah and the messenger had asked forgiveness for them, they would have found Allah accepting of repentance and merciful. But no, by your Lord, they will not truly believe until they make you, O Muhammad, judge concerning that over which they dispute among themselves, and then find within themselves no discomfort from what you have judged, and submit in full, willing submission. And if we had decreed upon them, kill yourselves, or leave your homes, they would not have done it, except for a few of them. But if they had done what they were instructed, it would have been better for them and a firmer position for them in faith. And then we would have given them from us a great reward. And we would have guided them to a straight path. And whoever obeys Allah and the Messenger, those will be with the ones upon whom Allah has bestowed favor of the prophets, the steadfast affirmers of truth, the martyrs and the righteous, and excellent are those as companions. That is the bounty from Allah, and sufficient is Allah as knower. O you who have believed, take your precaution, and go forth in companies, or go forth all together. And indeed, there is among you he who lingers behind, and if disaster strikes you, he says, Allah has favored me in that I was not present with them. But if bounty comes to you from Allah, he will surely say, as if there had never been between you and him any affection. Oh, I wish I had been with them, so I could have attained a great attainment. So let those fight in the cause of Allah who sell the life of this world for the hereafter. And he who fights in the cause of Allah, and is killed or achieves victory, we will bestow upon him a great reward. And what is the matter with you? that you fight not in the cause of Allah and for the oppressed among men, women and children who say, Our Lord, take us out of this city of oppressive people and appoint for us from yourself a protector and appoint for us from yourself a helper. Those who believe fight in the cause of Allah and those who disbelieve fight in the cause of Ta'gut. So fight against the allies of Satan. Indeed, the plot of Satan has ever been weak. Have you not seen those who were told, Restrain your hands from fighting, and establish prayer, and give zakah? But then when fighting was ordained for them, at once a party of them feared men as they fear Allah, or with even greater fear. They said, Our Lord, why have you decreed upon us fighting? If only you had postponed it for us for a short time. Say, the enjoyment of this world is little, and the hereafter is better for he who fears Allah, and injustice will not be done to you, even as much as a thread inside a date seed. Wherever you may be, death will overtake you, even if you should be within towers of lofty construction. But if good comes to them, they say, this is from Allah, and if evil befalls them, they say, This is from you. Say, All things are from Allah. So what is the matter with those people that they can hardly understand any statement? What comes to you of good is from Allah, but what comes to you of evil, O man, is from yourself. And we have sent you, O Muhammad, to the people as a messenger, and sufficient is Allah as witness. He who obeys the Messenger has obeyed Allah. But those who turn away, we have not sent you over them as a guardian. And they say, We pledge obedience. 
but when they leave you, a group of them spend the night determining to do other than what you say. But Allah records what they plan by night. So leave them alone and rely upon Allah. And sufficient is Allah as disposer of affairs. Then do they not reflect upon the Quran? If it had been from any other than Allah, they would have found within it much contradiction. And when there comes to them information about public security or fear, they spread it around. But if they had referred it back to the messenger or to those of authority among them, then the ones who can draw correct conclusions from it would have known about it. And if not for the favor of Allah upon you and his mercy, you would have followed Satan, except for a few. So fight, O Muhammad, in the cause of Allah. You are not held responsible except for yourself. And encourage the believers to join you, that perhaps Allah will restrain the military might of those who disbelieve. And Allah is greater in might and stronger in exemplary punishment. Whoever intercedes for a good cause will have a reward therefrom. And whoever intercedes for an evil cause will have a burden therefrom. And ever is Allah, over all things, a keeper. And when you are greeted with a greeting, greet in return with one better than it, or at least return it in a like manner. Indeed, Allah is ever, over all things, an accountant. Allah, there is no deity except him. He will surely assemble you for account on the day of resurrection, about which there is no doubt. And who is more truthful than Allah in statement? What is the matter with you that you are two groups concerning the hypocrites, while Allah has made them fall back into error and disbelief for what they earned? Do you wish to guide those whom Allah has sent astray? And he whom Allah sends astray, never will you find for him a way of guidance. They wish you would disbelieve as they disbelieved, so you would be alike. So do not take from among them allies until they emigrate for the cause of Allah. But if they turn away, then seize them and kill them wherever you find them, and take not from among them any ally or helper. Except for those who take refuge with a people between yourselves, and whom is a treaty, or those who come to you, their hearts strained at the prospect of fighting you or fighting their own people. And if Allah had willed, he could have given them power over you, and they would have fought you. So if they remove themselves from you and do not fight you and offer you peace, then Allah has not made for you a cause for fighting against them. You will find others who wish to obtain security from you and to obtain security from their people. Every time they are returned to the influence of disbelief, they fall back into it. So if they do not withdraw from you, or offer you peace or restrain their hands, then seize them and kill them wherever you overtake them. And those we have made for you against them a clear authorization. And never is it for a believer to kill a believer except by mistake. And whoever kills a believer by mistake, then the freeing of a believing slave and a compensation payment presented to the deceased's family is required unless they give up their right as charity. But if the deceased was from a people at war with you and he was a believer, then only the freeing of a believing slave. And if he was from a people with whom you have a treaty, then a compensation payment presented to his family and the freeing of a believing slave. And whoever does not find one or cannot afford to buy one, then instead a fast for two months consecutively seeking acceptance of repentance from Allah. And Allah is ever knowing and wise. But whoever kills a believer intentionally, his recompense is hell, wherein he will abide eternally. And Allah has become angry with him and has cursed him and has prepared for him a great punishment. O you who have believed, when you go forth to fight in the cause of Allah, investigate, and do not say to one who gives you a greeting of peace, you are not a believer, aspiring for the goods of worldly life. For with Allah are many acquisitions. 
you yourselves were like that before. Then Allah conferred his favor upon you, so investigate. Indeed, Allah is ever with what you do acquainted. Not equal are those believers remaining at home, other than the disabled, and the mujahideen who strike and fight in the cause of Allah with their wealth and their lives. Allah has preferred the mujahideen through their wealth and their lives over those who remain behind by degrees. And to both Allah has promised the best reward, but Allah has preferred the mujahideen over those who remain behind with a great reward. Degrees of high position from him and forgiveness and mercy, and Allah is ever forgiving and merciful. Indeed, those whom the angels take in death while wronging themselves, the angels will say, In what condition were you? They will say, We were oppressed in the land. The angels will say, Was not the earth of Allah spacious enough for you to emigrate therein? For those, their refuge is hell, and evil it is as a destination. Except for the oppressed among men, women, and children who cannot devise a plan, nor are they directed to a way. For those it is expected that Allah will pardon them, and Allah is ever pardoning and forgiving. And whoever emigrates for the cause of Allah will find on the earth many alternative locations and abundance. And whoever leaves his home as an emigrant to Allah and his messenger, and then death overtakes him, his reward has already become incumbent upon Allah, and Allah is ever forgiving and merciful. And when you travel throughout the land, there is no blame upon you for shortening the prayer, especially if you fear that those who disbelieve may disrupt or attack you. Indeed, the disbelievers are ever to you a clear enemy. And when you are among them and lead them in prayer, let a group of them stand in prayer with you and let them carry their arms. And when they have prostrated, let them be in position behind you and have the other group come forward which has not yet prayed and let them pray with you, taking precaution and carrying their arms. Those who disbelieve wish that you would neglect your weapons and your baggage so they could come down upon you in one single attack. But there is no blame upon you if you are troubled by rain or are ill for putting down your arms, but take precaution. Indeed, Allah has prepared for the disbelievers a humiliating punishment. And when you have completed the prayer, remember Allah standing, sitting, or lying on your sides. But when you become secure, re-establish regular prayer. Indeed, prayer has been decreed upon the believers a decree of specified times. And do not weaken in pursuit of the enemy. If you should be suffering, so they are suffering as you are suffering. But you expect from Allah that which they expect not. And Allah is ever knowing and wise. Indeed, we have revealed to you, O Muhammad, the book in truth, so you may judge between the people by that which Allah has shown you. And do not be for the deceitful an advocate. And seek forgiveness of Allah. Indeed, Allah is ever forgiving and merciful. And do not argue on behalf of those who deceive themselves. Indeed, Allah loves not one who is a habitually sinful deceiver. They conceal their evil intentions and deeds from the people, but they cannot conceal them from Allah, and He is with them in His knowledge when they spend the night in such as He does not accept of speech. And ever is Allah of what they do encompassing. Here you are, those who argue on their behalf in this worldly life. But who will argue with Allah for them on the day of resurrection? Or who will then be their representative? And whoever does a wrong or wrongs himself but then seeks forgiveness of Allah will find Allah forgiving and merciful. And whoever commits a sin only earns it against himself, and Allah is ever knowing and wise.
But whoever earns an offense or a sin and then blames it on an innocent person has taken upon himself a slander and manifest sin. And if it was not for the favor of Allah upon you, O Muhammad, and his mercy, a group of them would have determined to mislead you. But they do not mislead except themselves, and they will not harm you at all. And Allah has revealed to you the book and wisdom and has taught you that which you did not know. And ever has the favor of Allah upon you been great. No good is there in much of their private conversation, except for those who enjoin charity, or that which is right or conciliation between people. And whoever does that seeking means to the approval of Allah, then we are going to give him a great reward. And whoever opposes the messenger after guidance has become clear to him and follows other than the way of the believers, we will give him what he has taken and drive him into hell, and evil it is as a destination. Indeed, Allah does not forgive association with him, but he forgives what is less than that for whom he wills. And he who associates others with Allah has certainly gone far astray. They call upon instead of him none but female deities, and they actually call upon none but a rebellious Satan, whom Allah has cursed. For he had said, I will surely take from among your servants a specific portion, and I will mislead them, and I will arouse in them sinful desires, and I will command them so they will slit the ears of cattle and I will command them so they will change the creation of Allah. And whoever takes Satan as an ally instead of Allah has certainly sustained a clear loss. Satan promises them and arouses desire in them, but Satan does not promise them except delusion. The refuge of those will be hell, and they will not find from it an escape. But the ones who believe and do righteous deeds, we will admit them to gardens beneath which rivers flow, wherein they will abide forever. It is the promise of Allah, which is truth, and who is more truthful than Allah in statement? Paradise is not obtained by your wishful thinking, nor by that of the people of the scripture. Whoever does a wrong will be recompensed for it, and he will not find besides Allah a protector or a helper. And whoever does righteous deeds, whether male or female, while being a believer, those will enter paradise and will not be wronged, even as much as the speck on a date seed. And who is better in religion than one who submits himself to Allah, while being a doer of good and follows the religion of Abraham, inclining toward truth, and Allah took Abraham as an intimate friend. And to Allah belongs whatever is in the heavens and whatever is on the earth. And ever is Allah of all things encompassing. And they request from you, O Muhammad, a legal ruling concerning women. Say, Allah gives you a ruling about them and about what has been recited to you in the book concerning the orphan girls to whom you do not give what is decreed for them, and yet you desire to marry them, and concerning the oppressed among children, and that you maintain for orphans their rights in justice. And whatever you do of good, indeed, Allah is ever knowing of it. And if a woman fears from her husband contempt or evasion, there is no sin upon them if they make terms of settlement between them, and settlement is best. And present in human souls is stinginess. But if you do good and fear Allah, then indeed Allah is ever, with what you do, acquainted. And you will never be able to be equal in feeling between wives, even if you should strive to do so. So do not incline completely toward one and leave another hanging. And if you amend your affairs and fear Allah, then indeed Allah is ever forgiving and merciful. But if they separate by divorce, Allah will enrich each of them from his abundance. And ever is Allah encompassing and wise. 
And to Allah belongs whatever is in the heavens and whatever is on the earth. And we have instructed those who were given the scripture before you and yourselves to fear Allah. But if you disbelieve, then to Allah belongs whatever is in the heavens and whatever is on the earth. And ever is Allah free of need and praiseworthy. And to Allah belongs whatever is in the heavens and whatever is on the earth. And sufficient is Allah as disposer of affairs. If he wills, he can do away with you, O people, and bring others in your place. And ever is Allah competent to do that. Whoever desires the reward of this world, then with Allah is the reward of this world and the hereafter. And ever is Allah hearing and seeing. O you who have believed, be persistently standing firm in justice, witnesses for Allah, even if it be against yourselves or parents or relatives. Whether one is rich or poor, Allah is more worthy of both. So follow not personal inclination, lest you not be just. And if you distort your testimony or refuse to give it, then indeed Allah is ever with what you do acquainted. O you who have believed, believe in Allah and his messenger and the book that he sent down upon his messenger and the scripture which he sent down before. And whoever disbelieves in Allah, his angels, his books, his messengers, and the last day has certainly gone far astray. Indeed, those who have believed then disbelieved, then believed then disbelieved, and then increased in disbelief. Never will Allah forgive them, nor will he guide them to a way. Give tidings to the hypocrites that there is for them a painful punishment. Those who take disbelievers as allies instead of the believers. Do they seek with them honor through power? But indeed, honor belongs to Allah entirely. And it has already come down to you in the book that when you hear the verses of Allah recited, they are denied by them and ridiculed. So do not sit with them until they enter into another conversation. Indeed, you would then be like them. Indeed, Allah will gather the hypocrites and disbelievers in hell all together. Those who wait and watch you, then if you gain a victory from Allah, they say, were we not with you? But if the disbelievers have a success, they say to them, Did we not gain the advantage over you, but we protected you from the believers? Allah will judge between all of you on the day of resurrection, and never will Allah give the disbelievers over the believers a way to overcome them. Indeed, the hypocrites think to deceive Allah, but he is deceiving them. And when they stand for prayer, they stand lazily, showing themselves to the people and not remembering Allah except a little. Wavering between them, belonging neither to the believers nor to the disbelievers, and whoever Allah leaves astray, never will you find for him a way. O you who have believed, do not take the disbelievers as allies instead of the believers. Do you wish to give Allah against yourselves a clear case? Indeed, the hypocrites will be in the lowest depths of the fire, and never will you find for them a helper. Except for those who repent, correct themselves, hold fast to Allah, and are sincere in their religion for Allah, for those will be with the believers. And Allah is going to give the believers a great reward. What would Allah do with your punishment if you are grateful and believe? And ever is Allah appreciative and knowing. Allah does not like the public mention of evil except by one who has been wronged, and ever is Allah hearing and knowing. If instead you show some good, or conceal it, or pardon an offense, indeed, Allah is ever pardoning and competent. Indeed, those who disbelieve in Allah and his messengers, and wish to discriminate between Allah and his messengers, and say, we believe in some and disbelieve in others, and wish to adopt a way in between. Those are the disbelievers, truly, and we have prepared for the disbelievers a humiliating punishment. 
But they who believe in Allah and his messengers and do not discriminate between any of them, to those he is going to give their rewards. And ever is Allah forgiving and merciful. The people of the scripture ask you to bring down to them a book from the heaven. But they had asked of Moses even greater than that and said, Show us Allah outright. So the thunderbolt struck them for their wrongdoing. Then they took the calf for worship after clear evidences had come to them, and we pardoned that, and we gave Moses a clear authority. And we raised over them the mount for refusal of their covenant, and we said to them, Enter the gate bowing humbly. And we said to them, Do not transgress on the Sabbath, and we took from them a solemn covenant. And we cursed them for their breaking of the covenant and their disbelief in the signs of Allah and their killing of the prophets without right and their saying, Our hearts are wrapped. Rather, Allah has sealed them because of their disbelief, so they believe not except for a few. And we cursed them for their disbelief and their saying against Mary a great slander. And for their saying, Indeed, we have killed the Messiah, Jesus, the son of Mary, the messenger of Allah. And they did not kill him, nor did they crucify him, but another was made to resemble him to them. And indeed, those who differ over it are in doubt about it. They have no knowledge of it except the following of assumption. And they did not kill him, for certain. Rather, Allah raised him to himself, and ever is Allah exalted in might and wise. And there is none from the people of the scripture, but that he will surely believe in Jesus before his death, and on the day of resurrection he will be against them a witness. For wrongdoing on the part of the Jews, we made unlawful for them certain good foods which had been lawful to them, and for their adverting from the way of Allah many people, and for their taking of usury while they had been forbidden from it, and their consuming of the people's wealth unjustly, and we have prepared for the disbelievers among them a painful punishment. But those firm in knowledge among them, and the believers believe in what has been revealed to you, O Muhammad, and what was revealed before you, and the establishers of prayer especially, and the givers of zakah, and the believers in Allah, and the last day, those we will give a great reward. Indeed, we have revealed to you, O Muhammad, as we revealed to Noah and the prophets after him, and we revealed to Abraham, Ishmael, Isaac, Jacob, the descendants, Jesus, Job, Jonah, Aaron, and Solomon, and through David we gave the book of Psalms. And we sent messengers, about whom we have related their stories to you before, and messengers about whom we have not related to you. And Allah spoke to Moses with direct speech. We sent messengers as bringers of good tidings and warners so that mankind will have no argument against Allah after the messengers. And ever is Allah exalted in might and wise. But Allah bears witness to that which he has revealed to you. He has sent it down with his knowledge, and the angels bear witness as well. And sufficient is Allah as witness. Indeed, those who disbelieve and avert people from the way of Allah have certainly gone far astray. Indeed, those who disbelieve and commit wrong or injustice, never will Allah forgive them, nor will he guide them to a path. Except the path of hell, they will abide therein forever, and that, for Allah, is always easy. O mankind, the Messenger has come to you with the truth from your Lord, so believe, it is better for you. But if you disbelieve, then indeed, to Allah belongs whatever is in the heavens and earth, and ever is Allah knowing and wise. O people of the Scripture, do not commit excess in your religion, or say about Allah except the truth. The Messiah Jesus, the son of Mary, was but a messenger of Allah, and his word which he directed to Mary, and a soul created at a command from him. So believe in Allah and his messengers, 
and do not say three, desist, it is better for you. Indeed, Allah is but one God. Exalted is he above having a son. To him belongs whatever is in the heavens and whatever is on the earth. And sufficient is Allah as disposer of affairs. Never would the Messiah disdain to be a servant of Allah, nor would the angels near to him. And whoever disdains his worship and is arrogant, he will gather them to himself altogether. And as for those who believed and did righteous deeds, he will give them in full their rewards and grant them extra from his bounty. But as for those who disdained and were arrogant, he will punish them with a painful punishment, and they will not find for themselves besides Allah any protector or helper. O mankind, there has come to you a conclusive proof from your Lord, and we have sent down to you a clear light. So those who believe in Allah and hold fast to him, he will admit them to mercy from himself and bounty and guide them to himself on a straight path. They request from you a legal ruling. Say, Allah gives you a ruling concerning one having neither descendants nor ascendants as heirs. If a man dies, leaving no child but only a sister, she will have half of what he left. And he inherits from her if she dies and has no child. But if there are two sisters or more, they will have two-thirds of what he left. If there are both brothers and sisters, the male will have the share of two females. Allah makes clear to you his law, lest you go astray, and Allah is knowing of all things. In the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the especially merciful. O you who have believed, fulfill all contracts. Lawful for you are the animals of grazing livestock, except for that which is recited to you in this Quran. Hunting not being permitted while you are in a state of ihram. Indeed, Allah ordains what he intends. O you who have believed, do not violate the rights of Allah or the sanctity of the sacred month, or neglect the marking of the sacred animals and garlanding them, or violate the safety of those coming to the sacred house seeking bounty from their Lord and his approval. But when you come out of ihram, then you may hunt. And do not let the hatred of a people for having obstructed you from al-Mashid al-Haram lead you to transgress. And cooperate in righteousness and piety, but do not cooperate in sin and aggression. And fear Allah, indeed, Allah is severe in penalty. Prohibited to you are dead animals, blood, the flesh of swine, and that which has been dedicated to other than Allah. And those animals killed by strangling, or by a violent blow, or by a headlong fall, or by the goring of horns, and those from which a wild animal has eaten, except what you are able to slaughter before its death, and those which are sacrificed on stone altars, and prohibited is that you seek decision through divining arrows. That is grave disobedience. This day those who disbelieve have despaired of defeating your religion. So fear them not, but fear me. This day I have perfected for you your religion, and completed my favor upon you, and have approved for you Islam as religion. But whoever is forced by severe hunger with no inclination to sin, then indeed, Allah is forgiving and merciful. They ask you, O Muhammad, what has been made lawful for them? Say, lawful for you are all good foods and game caught by what you have trained of hunting animals, which you train as Allah has taught you. So eat of what they catch for you and mention the name of Allah upon it and fear Allah. Indeed, Allah is swift in account. This day all good foods have been made lawful, and the food of those who were given the scripture is lawful for you, and your food is lawful for them. And lawful in marriage are chaste women from among the believers, and chaste women from among those who were given the scripture before you, when you have given them their due compensation, desiring chastity, not unlawful sexual intercourse, or taking secret lovers. And whoever denies the faith, his work has become worthless, 
and he in the hereafter will be among the losers. O you who have believed, when you rise to perform prayer, wash your faces and your forearms to the elbows, and wipe over your heads, and wash your feet to the ankles. And if you are in a state of janaba, then purify yourselves. But if you are ill or on a journey, or one of you comes from the place of relieving himself, or you have contacted women and do not find water, then seek clean earth and wipe over your faces and hands with it. Allah does not intend to make difficulty for you, but he intends to purify you and complete his favor upon you that you may be grateful. And remember the favor of Allah upon you and his covenant with which he bound you when you said, We hear and we obey, and fear Allah. Indeed, Allah is knowing of that within the breasts. O you who have believed, be persistently standing firm for Allah, witnesses in justice, and do not let the hatred of a people prevent you from being just. Be just, that is nearer to righteousness, and fear Allah. Indeed, Allah is acquainted with what you do. Allah has promised those who believe and do righteous deeds that for them there is forgiveness and great reward. But those who disbelieve and deny our signs, those are the companions of hellfire. O you who have believed, remember the favor of Allah upon you when a people determined to extend their hands in aggression against you, but he withheld their hands from you, and fear Allah, and upon Allah let the believers rely. And Allah had already taken a covenant from the children of Israel, and we delegated from among them twelve leaders. And Allah said, I am with you. If you establish prayer and give zakah, and believe in my messengers and support them, and loan Allah a goodly loan, I will surely remove from you your misdeeds, and admit you to gardens beneath which rivers flow. But whoever of you disbelieves after that, has certainly strayed from the soundness of the way. So for their breaking of the covenant, we cursed them and made their hearts hard. They distort words from their proper usages and have forgotten a portion of that of which they were reminded. And you will still observe deceit among them, except a few of them. But pardon them and overlook their misdeeds. Indeed, Allah loves the doers of good. And from those who say, we are Christians, we took their covenant, but they forgot a portion of that of which they were reminded. So we caused among them animosity and hatred until the day of resurrection. And Allah is going to inform them about what they used to do. O people of the scripture, there has come to you our messenger, making clear to you much of what you used to conceal of the scripture and overlooking much. There has come to you from Allah, a light and a clear book by which Allah guides those who pursue his pleasure to the ways of peace and brings them out from darknesses into the light by his permission and guides them to a straight path. They have certainly disbelieved who say that Allah is Christ, the son of Mary. Say, then who could prevent Allah at all if he had intended to destroy Christ, the son of Mary, or his mother, or everyone on the earth? And to Allah belongs the dominion of the heavens and the earth, and whatever is between them. He creates what he wills, and Allah is over all things competent. But the Jews and the Christians say, We are the children of Allah and his beloved. Say, Then why does he punish you for your sins? Rather, you are human beings from among those he has created. He forgives whom he wills, and he punishes whom he wills. And to Allah belongs the dominion of the heavens and the earth and whatever is between them. And to him is the final destination. O people of the scripture, there has come to you our messenger to make clear to you the religion after a period of suspension of messengers, lest you say, there came not to us any bringer of good tidings or a warner. But there has come to you a bringer of good tidings and a warner and Allah is over all things competent. And mention, O Muhammad, when Moses said to his people, O my people, remember the favor of Allah upon you when he appointed among you prophets and made you possessors 
and gave you that which he had not given anyone among the worlds. O oh my people, enter the holy land which Allah has assigned to you and do not turn back from fighting in Allah's cause and thus become losers. They said, O oh Moses, indeed within it is a people of tyrannical strength and indeed we will never enter it until they leave it but if they leave it then we will enter. Said two men from those who feared to disobey upon whom Allah had bestowed favor. Enter upon them through the gate, for when you have entered it you will be predominant, and upon Allah rely, if you should be believers. They said, O Moses, indeed we will not enter it ever, as long as they are within it. So go, you and your Lord, and fight. Indeed, we are remaining right here. Moses said, My Lord, indeed I do not possess except myself and my brother, so part us from the defiantly disobedient people. Allah said, Then indeed it is forbidden to them for forty years, in which they will wander throughout the land, so do not grieve over the defiantly disobedient people. And recite to them the story of Adam's two sons, in truth, when they both offered a sacrifice to Allah, and it was accepted from one of them, but was not accepted from the other. Said the latter, I will surely kill you. Said the former, Indeed, Allah only accepts from the righteous who fear him. If you should raise your hand against me to kill me, I shall not raise my hand against you to kill you. Indeed, I fear Allah, Lord of the worlds. Indeed, I want you to obtain thereby my sin and your sin, so you will be among the companions of the fire, and that is the recompense of wrongdoers. And his soul permitted to him the murder of his brother, so he killed him and became among the losers. Then Allah sent a crow searching in the ground to show him how to hide the disgrace of his brother. He said, O oh, woe to me! Have I failed to be like this crow and hide the body of my brother? And he became of the regretful. Because of that, we decreed upon the children of Israel that whoever kills a soul, unless for a soul or for corruption done in the land, it is as if he had slain mankind entirely. And whoever saves one, it is as if he had saved mankind entirely. And our messengers had certainly come to them with clear proofs then indeed many of them, even after that, throughout the land were transgressors. Indeed, the penalty for those who wage war against Allah and his messenger and strive upon earth to cause corruption is none but that they be killed or crucified or that their hands and feet be cut off from opposite sides or that they be exiled from the land. That is for them a disgrace in this world and for them in the hereafter is a great punishment except for those who return repenting before you apprehend them, and know that Allah is forgiving and merciful. O you who have believed, fear Allah and seek the means of nearness to him and strive in his cause that you may succeed. Indeed, those who disbelieve, if they should have all that is in the earth and the like of it, with it by which to ransom themselves from the punishment of the day of resurrection, it will not be accepted from them, and for them is a painful punishment. They will wish to get out of the fire, but never are they to emerge therefrom, and for them is an enduring punishment. As for the thief, the male and the female, amputate their hands in recompense for what they committed as a deterrent punishment from Allah, and Allah is exalted in might and wise. But whoever repents after his wrongdoing and reforms, indeed, Allah will turn to him in forgiveness. Indeed, Allah is forgiving and merciful. Do you not know that to Allah belongs the dominion of the heavens and the earth? He punishes whom he wills and forgives whom he wills, and Allah is over all things competent. O Messenger, let them not grieve you who hasten into disbelief of those who say, We believe with their mouths but their hearts believe not, and from among the Jews. They are avid listeners to falsehood, listening to another people who have not come to you. 
they distort words beyond their proper usages, saying, If you are given this, take it, but if you are not given it, then beware. But he for whom Allah intends fitna, never will you possess power to do for him a thing against Allah. Those are the ones for whom Allah does not intend to purify their hearts. For them in this world is disgrace, and for them in the hereafter is a great punishment. They are avid listeners to falsehood, devourers of what is unlawful. So if they come to you, O Muhammad, judge between them or turn away from them. And if you turn away from them, never will they harm you at all. And if you judge, judge between them with justice. Indeed, Allah loves those who act justly. But how is it that they come to you for judgment while they have the Torah, in which is the judgment of Allah? Then they turn away, even after that. But those are not, in fact, believers. Indeed, we sent down the Torah, in which was guidance and light. The prophets who submitted to Allah judged by it for the Jews, as did the rabbis and scholars by that which they were entrusted of the scripture of Allah, and they were witnesses thereto. So do not fear the people, but fear me, and do not exchange my verses for a small price. And whoever does not judge by what Allah has revealed, then it is those who are the disbelievers. And we ordain for them therein a life for a life, an eye for an eye, a nose for a nose, an ear for an ear, a tooth for a tooth, and for wounds is legal retribution. But whoever gives up his right as charity, it is an expiation for him. And whoever does not judge by what Allah has revealed, then it is those who are the wrongdoers. And we sent, following in their footsteps, Jesus, the son of Mary, confirming that which came before him in the Torah. And we gave him the gospel, in which was guidance and light, and confirming that which preceded it of the Torah as guidance and instruction for the righteous. And let the people of the gospel judge by what Allah has revealed therein. And whoever does not judge by what Allah has revealed, then it is those who are the defiantly disobedient. And we have revealed to you, O Muhammad, the book in truth, confirming that which preceded it of the scripture and as a criterion over it. So judge between them by what Allah has revealed and do not follow their inclinations away from what has come to you of the truth. To each of you we prescribed a law and a method. Had Allah willed, he would have made you one nation united in religion, but he intended to test you in what he has given you. So race to all that is good. To Allah is your return altogether, and he will then inform you concerning that over which you used to differ. And judge, O Muhammad, between them by what Allah has revealed, and do not follow their inclinations and beware of them lest they tempt you away from some of what Allah has revealed to you. And if they turn away, then know that Allah only intends to afflict them with some of their own sins. And indeed, many among the people are defiantly disobedient. Then is it the judgment of the time of ignorance they desire? But who is better than Allah in judgment for a people who are certain in faith? O you who have believed, do not take the Jews and the Christians as allies. They are in fact allies of one another. And whoever is an ally to them among you, then indeed he is one of them. Indeed, Allah guides not the wrongdoing people. So you see those in whose hearts is disease, hastening into association with them, saying, We are afraid a misfortune may strike us. But perhaps Allah will bring conquest or a decision from him, and they will become, over what they have been concealing within themselves, regretful. And those who believe will say, Are these the ones who swore by Allah their strongest oaths that indeed they were with you? Their deeds have become worthless, and they have become losers. O oh, you who have believed, whoever of you should revert from his religion, Allah will bring forth in place of them a people he will love and who will love him who are humble toward the believers, powerful against the disbelievers. They strive in the cause of Allah and do not fear the blame of a critic. That is the favor of Allah. He bestows it upon whom he wills. 
and Allah is all-encompassing and knowing. Your ally is none but Allah, and therefore his messenger and those who have believed, those who establish prayer and give zakah, and they bow in worship. And whoever is an ally of Allah and his messenger and those who have believed, indeed the party of Allah, they will be the predominant. O you who have believed, take not those who have taken your religion in ridicule and amusement among the ones who were given the scriptures before you, nor the disbelievers as allies. And fear Allah if you should truly be believers. And when you call to prayer, they take it in ridicule and amusement. That is because they are people who do not use reason. Say, O people of the scripture, do you resent us except for the fact that we have believed in Allah and what was revealed to us and what was revealed before and because most of you are defiantly disobedient? Say, shall I inform you of what is worse than that as a penalty from Allah? It is that of those whom Allah has cursed and with whom he became angry and made of them apes and pigs and slaves of Tahut. Those are worse in position and further astray from the sound way. And when they come to you, they say, We believe. But they have entered with disbelief in their hearts, and they have certainly left with it. And Allah is most knowing of what they were concealing. And you see many of them hastening into sin and aggression and the devouring of what is unlawful. How wretched is what they have been doing. Why do the rabbis and religious scholars not forbid them from saying what is sinful and devouring what is unlawful? How wretched is what they have been practicing? And the Jews say, the hand of Allah is chained. Chained are their hands, and cursed are they for what they say. Rather, both his hands are extended. He spends however he wills. And that which has been revealed to you from your Lord will surely increase many of them in transgression and disbelief. And we have cast among them animosity and hatred until the day of resurrection. Every time they kindled the fire of war against you, Allah extinguished it. And they strive throughout the land, causing corruption. And Allah does not like corruptors. And if only the people of the scripture had believed and feared Allah, we would have removed from them their misdeeds and admitted them to gardens of pleasure. And if only they had upheld the Torah, the gospel and what had been revealed to them from their Lord, they would have consumed provision from above them and from beneath their feet. Among them are a moderate community, but many of them, evil is that which they do. O Messenger, announce that which has been revealed to you from your Lord, and if you do not, then you have not conveyed his message, and Allah will protect you from the people. Indeed, Allah does not guide the disbelieving people. Say, O people of the scripture, you are standing on nothing until you uphold the law of the Torah, the gospel, and what has been revealed to you from your Lord. And that which has been revealed to you from your Lord will surely increase many of them in transgression and disbelief. So do not grieve over the disbelieving people. Indeed, those who have believed in Prophet Muhammad and those before him who were Jews or Sabians or Christians, those among them who believed in Allah and the last day and did righteousness, no fear will there be concerning them, nor will they grieve. We had already taken the covenant of the children of Israel and had sent to them messengers. Whenever there came to them a messenger with what their souls did not desire, a party of messengers they denied, and another party they killed. And they thought there would be no resulting punishment, so they became blind and deaf. Then Allah turned to them in forgiveness. Then again many of them became blind and deaf. And Allah is seeing of what they do. They have certainly disbelieved who say, Allah is the Messiah, the son of Mary. While the Messiah has said, O children of Israel, worship Allah, my Lord and your Lord. Indeed, he who associates others with Allah, Allah has forbidden him paradise, and his refuge is the fire, and there are not for the wrongdoers any helpers. They have certainly disbelieved who say, Allah is a third of three, and there is no God except one God. And if they do not desist from what they are saying, 
there will surely afflict the disbelievers among them a painful punishment. So will they not repent to Allah and seek his forgiveness? And Allah is forgiving and merciful. The Messiah, son of Mary, was not but a messenger. Other messengers have passed on before him. And his mother was a supporter of truth. They both used to eat food. Look how we make clear to them the signs. Then look how they are deluded. Say, do you worship besides Allah that which holds for you no power of harm or benefit, while it is Allah who is the hearing, the knowing? Say, O people of the scripture, do not exceed limits in your religion beyond the truth, and do not follow the inclinations of a people who have gone astray before, and misled many, and have strayed from the soundness of the way. Cursed were those who disbelieved among the children of Israel by the tongue of David and of Jesus, the son of Mary. That was because they disobeyed and habitually transgressed. They used not to prevent one another from wrongdoing that they did. How wretched was that which they were doing. You see many of them becoming allies of those who disbelieved. How wretched it is that which they have put forth for themselves in that Allah has become angry with them and in the punishment they will abide eternally. And if they had believed in Allah and the Prophet and in what was revealed to him, they would not have taken them as allies, but many of them are defiantly disobedient. You will surely find the most intense of the people in animosity toward the believers to be the Jews and those who associate others with Allah. And you will find the nearest of them in affection to the believers, those who say, we are Christians. That is because among them are priests and monks, and because they are not arrogant. And when they hear what has been revealed to the messenger, you see their eyes overflowing with tears because of what they have recognized of the truth. They say, Our Lord, we have believed, so register us among the witnesses. And why should we not believe in Allah and what has come to us of the truth? and we aspire that our Lord will admit us to paradise with the righteous people. So Allah rewarded them for what they said, with gardens in paradise beneath which rivers flow, wherein they abide eternally, and that is the reward of doers of good. But those who disbelieved and denied our signs, they are the companions of hellfire. O you who have believed, do not prohibit the good things which Allah has made lawful to you and do not transgress. Indeed, Allah does not like transgressors. And eat of what Allah has provided for you which is lawful and good. And fear Allah, in whom you are believers. Allah will not impose blame upon you for what is meaningless in your oaths, but he will impose blame upon you for breaking what you intended of oaths. So its expiation is the feeding of ten needy people from the average of that which you feed your own families or clothe them or the freeing of a slave. But whoever cannot find or afford it, then a fast of three days is required. That is the expiation for oaths when you have sworn. But guard your oaths. Thus does Allah make clear to you his verses that you might be grateful. O you who have believed, indeed, intoxicants, gambling, sacrificing on stone altars to other than Allah, and divining arrows, are but defilement from the work of Satan, so avoid it that you may be successful. Satan only wants to cause between you animosity and hatred through intoxicants and gambling, and to avert you from the remembrance of Allah and from prayer. So will you not desist? And obey Allah, and obey the Messenger, and beware. And if you turn away, then know that upon our Messenger is only the responsibility for clear notification. There is not upon those who believe and do righteousness any blame concerning what they have eaten in the past, if they now fear Allah and believe and do righteous deeds, and then fear Allah and believe, and then fear Allah and do good, and Allah loves the doers of good. O you who have believed, 
Allah will surely test you through something of the game that your hands and spears can reach, that Allah may make evident those who fear him unseen. And whoever transgresses after that, for him is a painful punishment. O you who have believed, do not kill game while you are in the state of ihram. And whoever of you kills it intentionally, the penalty is an equivalent from sacrificial animals to what he killed, as judged by two just men among you as an offering to Allah, delivered to the Kaaba, or an expiation, the feeding of needy people, or the equivalent of that in fasting, that he may taste the consequence of his deed. Allah has pardoned what is past, but whoever returns to violation, then Allah will take retribution from him. And Allah is exalted in might and owner of retribution. Lawful to you is game from the sea and its food as provision for you and the travelers. But forbidden to you is game from the land as long as you are in the state of ihram. And fear Allah to whom you will be gathered. Allah has made the Kaaba, the sacred house, standing for the people and has sanctified the sacred months and the sacrificial animals and the garlands by which they are identified. That is so you may know that Allah knows what is in the heavens and what is in the earth and that Allah is knowing of all things. Know that Allah is severe in penalty and that Allah is forgiving and merciful. Not upon the messenger is responsibility except for notification. And Allah knows whatever you reveal and whatever you conceal. Say, not equal are the evil and the good, although the abundance of evil might impress you. So fear Allah, O you of understanding, that you may be successful. O you who have believed, do not ask about things which if they are shown to you, will distress you. But if you ask about them while the Quran is being revealed, they will be shown to you. Allah has pardoned that which has passed, and Allah is forgiving and forbearing. A people asked such questions before you, then they became thereby disbelievers. Allah has not appointed such innovations as Bahira or Sa'iba or wasila, or ham. But those who disbelieve invent falsehood about Allah, and most of them do not reason. And when it is said to them, come to what Allah has revealed and to the messenger, they say, sufficient for us is that upon which we found our fathers, even though their fathers knew nothing, nor were they guided. O you who have believed, Upon you is responsibility for yourselves. Those who have gone astray will not harm you when you have been guided. To Allah is your return altogether. Then he will inform you of what you used to do. O oh, you who have believed, testimony should be taken among you when death approaches one of you at the time of bequest. That of two just men from among you or two others from outside if you are traveling through the land and the disaster of death should strike you. Detain them after the prayer and let them both swear by Allah if you doubt their testimony, saying, We will not exchange our oath for a price, even if you should be a near relative, and we will not withhold the testimony of Allah. Indeed, we would then be of the sinful. But if it is found that those two were guilty of perjury, let two others stand in their place who are foremost in claim from those who have a lawful right. And let them swear by Allah, our testimony is truer than their testimony, and we have not transgressed. Indeed, we would then be of the wrongdoers. That is more likely that they will give testimony according to its true objective, or at least they would fear that other oaths might be taken after their oaths. And fear Allah and listen. And Allah does not guide the defiantly disobedient people. Be warned of the day when Allah will assemble the messengers and say, What was the response you received? They will say, We have no knowledge. Indeed, it is you who is the knower of the unseen.
the day when Allah will say, O Jesus, son of Mary, remember my favor upon you and upon your mother when I supported you with the pure spirit and you spoke to the people in the cradle and in maturity. And remember when I taught you writing and wisdom and the Torah and the gospel and when you designed from clay what was like the form of a bird with my permission. Then you breathed into it and it became a bird with my permission. And you healed the blind and the leper with my permission. And when you brought forth the dead with my permission. And when I restrained the children of Israel from killing you when you came to them with clear proofs. And those who disbelieved among them said, This is not but obvious magic. And remember when I inspired to the disciples, Believe in me and in my messenger Jesus. They said, We have believed. So bear witness that indeed we are Muslims in submission to Allah. And remember when the disciples said, O Jesus, son of Mary, can your Lord send down to us a table spread with food from the heaven? Jesus said, Fear Allah, if you should be believers. They said, We wish to eat from it and let our hearts be reassured and know that you have been truthful to us and be among its witnesses. Said Jesus, the son of Mary, O Allah, our Lord, send down to us a table spread with food from the heaven to be for us a festival for the first of us and the last of us and a sign from you. And provide for us, and you are the best of providers. Allah said, Indeed, I will send it down to you. But whoever disbelieves afterwards from among you, then indeed will I punish him with a punishment by which I have not punished anyone among the worlds. And beware the day when Allah will say, O Jesus, son of Mary, did you say to the people, Take me and my mother as deities besides Allah? He will say, Exalted are you. It was not for me to say that to which I have no right. If I had said it, you would have known it. You know what is within myself, and I do not know what is within yourself. Indeed, it is you who is knower of the unseen. I said not to them except what you commanded me, to worship Allah, my Lord and your Lord. And I was a witness over them as long as I was among them. But when you took me up, you were the observer over them, and you are, over all things, witness. If you should punish them, indeed they are your servants. But if you forgive them, indeed it is you who is the exalted in might, the wise. Allah will say, this is the day when the truthful will benefit from their truthfulness. For them are gardens in paradise beneath which rivers flow, wherein they will abide forever, Allah being pleased with them and they with him. That is the great attainment. To Allah belongs the dominion of the heavens and the earth and whatever is within them, and he is over all things competent. All praise is due to Allah who created the heavens and the earth and made the darkness and the light. Then those who disbelieve equate others with their Lord. It is he who created you from clay and then decreed a term and a specified time known to him. Then still you are in dispute. And he is Allah, the only deity in the heavens and the earth. He knows your secret and what you make public and he knows that which you earn. And no sign comes to them from the signs of their Lord, except that they turn away therefrom. For they had denied the truth when it came to them, but there is going to reach them the news of what they used to ridicule. Have they not seen how many generations we destroyed before them, which we had established upon the earth, as we have not established you? And we sent rain from the sky upon them in showers and made rivers flow beneath them. Then we destroyed them for their sins and brought forth after them a generation of others. And even if we had sent down to you, O Muhammad, a written scripture on a page and they touched it with their hands, the disbelievers would say, This is not but obvious magic. And they say, Why was there not sent down to him an angel? But if we had sent down an angel, the matter would have been decided, 
then they would not be reprieved. And if we had made him an angel, we would have made him appear as a man, and we would have covered them with that in which they cover themselves. And already were messengers ridiculed before you, but those who mocked them were enveloped by that which they used to ridicule. Say, travel through the land, then observe how was the end of the deniers. Say, to whom belongs whatever is in the heavens and earth? Say, to Allah. He has decreed upon himself mercy. He will surely assemble you for the day of resurrection, about which there is no doubt. Those who will lose themselves that day do not believe. And to him belongs that which reposes by night and by day, and he is the hearing, the knowing. Say, is it other than Allah I should take as protector, creator of the heavens and earth, while it is he who feeds and is not fed? Say, O Muhammad, indeed, I have been commanded to be the first among you who submit to Allah, and was commanded, do not ever be of the polytheists. Say, indeed I fear, if I should disobey my Lord, the punishment of a tremendous day. He from whom it is averted that day, Allah has granted him mercy, and that is the clear attainment. And if Allah should touch you with adversity, there is no remover of it except him, and if he touches you with good, then he is over all things competent. And he is the subjugator over his servants, and he is the wise, the acquainted with all. Say, what thing is greatest in testimony? Say, Allah is witness between me and you, and this Quran was revealed to me that I may warn you thereby and whomever it reaches. Do you truly testify that with Allah there are other deities? Say, I will not testify with you. Say, indeed, he is but one God, and indeed I am free of what you associate with him. Those to whom we have given the scripture recognize it as they recognize their own sons. Those who will lose themselves in the hereafter do not believe. And who is more unjust than one who invents about Allah a lie or denies his verses? Indeed, the wrongdoers will not succeed. And mention, O Muhammad, the day we will gather them all together. Then we will say to those who associated others with Allah, Where are your partners that you used to claim with him? Then there will be no excuse upon examination except they will say, By Allah, our Lord, we were not those who associated. See how they will lie about themselves? And lost from them will be what they used to invent. And among them are those who listen to you. But we have placed over their hearts coverings, lest they understand it, and in their ears deafness. And if they should see every sign, they will not believe in it. Even when they come to you arguing with you, Those who disbelieve say, This is not but legends of the former peoples. And they prevent others from him, and are themselves remote from him, and they do not destroy except themselves, but they perceive it not. If you could but see when they are made to stand before the fire and will say, Oh, would that we could be returned to life on earth and not deny the signs of our Lord and be among the believers. But what they concealed before has now appeared to them, and even if they were returned, they would return to that which they were forbidden, and indeed they are liars. And they say, there is none but our worldly life, and we will not be resurrected. If you could but see when they will be made to stand before their Lord, he will say, is this not the truth? They will say, yes, by our Lord. He will then say, So taste the punishment because you used to disbelieve. Those will have lost who deny the meeting with Allah until when the hour of resurrection comes upon them unexpectedly. They will say, Oh, how great is our regret over what we neglected concerning it, while they bear their burdens on their backs. Unquestionably, evil is that which they bear. 
and the worldly life is not but amusement and diversion, but the home of the hereafter is best for those who fear Allah. So will you not reason? We know that you, O Muhammad, are saddened by what they say, and indeed, they do not call you untruthful, but it is the verses of Allah that the wrongdoers reject. And certainly were messengers denied before you, but they were patient over the effects of denial, and they were harmed until our victory came to them. And none can alter the words of Allah. And there has certainly come to you some information about the previous messengers. And if their evasion is difficult for you, then if you are able to seek a tunnel into the earth or a stairway into the sky to bring them a sign, then do so. But if Allah had willed, he would have united them upon guidance. So never be of the ignorant. Only those who hear will respond. But the dead, Allah will resurrect them, then to him they will be returned. And they say, why has a sign not be sent down to him from his Lord? Say, indeed, Allah is able to send down a sign, but most of them do not know. And there is no creature on or within the earth or bird that flies with its wings, except that they are communities like you. We have not neglected in the register a thing. Then unto their Lord they will be gathered. But those who deny our verses are deaf and dumb within darknesses. Whomever Allah wills, he leaves astray. And whomever he wills, he puts him on a straight path. Say, have you considered? If there came to you the punishment of Allah, or there came to you the hour, is it other than Allah you would invoke if you should be truthful? No, it is him alone you would invoke and he would remove that for which you invoked him if he willed, and you would forget what you associate with him. And we have already sent messengers to nations before you, O Muhammad. Then we seized them with poverty and hardship, that perhaps they might humble themselves to us. Then why, when our punishment came to them, did they not humble themselves? But their hearts became hardened, and Satan made attractive to them that which they were doing. So when they forgot that by which they had been reminded, we opened to them the doors of every good thing, until, when they rejoiced in that which they were given, we seized them suddenly, and they were then in despair. So the people that committed wrong were eliminated, and praise to Allah, Lord of the worlds. Say, have you considered? If Allah should take away your hearing and your sight and set a seal upon your hearts, which deity other than Allah could bring them back to you? Look how we diversify the verses, then they'd still turn away. Say, have you considered, if the punishment of Allah should come to you unexpectedly or manifestly, will any be destroyed but the wrongdoing people? And we send not the messengers except as bringers of good tidings and warners. So whoever believes and reforms, there will be no fear concerning them, nor will they grieve. But those who deny our verses, the punishment will touch them for their defiant disobedience. Say, O Muhammad, I do not tell you that I have the depositories containing the provision of Allah, or that I know the unseen nor do I tell you that I am an angel. I only follow what is revealed to me. Say, is the blind equivalent to the seeing? Then will you not give thought? And warn by the Quran those who fear that they will be gathered before their Lord. For them besides him will be no protector and no intercessor, that they might become righteous. And do not send away those who call upon their Lord morning and afternoon, seeking his countenance. Not upon you is anything of their account, and not upon them is anything of your account. So were you to send them away, you would then be of the wrongdoers. And thus we have tried some of them through others, that the disbelievers might say, Is it those whom Allah has favored among us? Is not Allah most knowing of those who are grateful? 
And when those come to you who believe in our verses, say, Peace be upon you. Your Lord has decreed upon himself mercy, that any of you who does wrong out of ignorance and then repents after that and corrects himself, indeed, he is forgiving and merciful. And thus do we detail the verses, and thus the way of the criminals will become evident. Say, Indeed, I have been forbidden to worship those you invoke besides Allah. Say, I will not follow your desires, for I would then have gone astray, and I would not be of the rightly guided. Say, Indeed, I am on clear evidence from my Lord, and you have denied it. I do not have that for which you are impatient. The decision is only for Allah. He relates the truth, and he is the best of deciders. Say, If I had that for which you are impatient, the matter would have been decided between me and you, but Allah is most knowing of the wrongdoers. And with him are the keys of the unseen. None knows them except him, and he knows what is on the land and in the sea. Not a leaf falls but that he knows it. And no grain is there within the darknesses of the earth, and no moist or dry thing but that it is written in a clear record. And it is he who takes your souls by night and knows what you have committed by day. Then he revives you therein that a specified term may be fulfilled. Then to him will be your return. Then he will inform you about what you used to do. And he is the subjugator over his servants, and he sends over you guardian angels until, when death comes to one of you, our messengers take him, and they do not fail in their duties. Then his servants are returned to Allah, their true Lord. Unquestionably, his is the judgment, and he is the swiftest of accountants. Say, who rescues you from the darknesses of the land and sea when you call upon him, imploring aloud and privately? If he should save us from this crisis, we will surely be among the thankful. Say, it is Allah who saves you from it and from every distress. Then you still associate others with him. Say, he is the one able to send upon you affliction from above you or from beneath your feet or to confuse you so you become sects and make you taste the violence of one another. Look how we diversify the signs that they might understand. But your people have denied it while it is the truth. Say, I am not over you a manager. For every happening is a finality, and you are going to know. And when you see those who engage in offensive discourse concerning our verses, then turn away from them until they enter into another conversation. And if Satan should cause you to forget, then do not remain after the reminder with the wrongdoing people. And those who fear Allah are not held accountable for the disbelievers at all, but only for a reminder that perhaps they will fear him. And leave those who take their religion as amusement and diversion and whom the worldly life has deluded but remind with the Qur'an, lest a soul be given up to destruction for what it earned. It will have other than Allah no protector and no intercessor. And if it should offer every compensation, it would not be taken from it. Those are the ones who are given to destruction for what they have earned. For them will be a drink of scalding water and a painful punishment because they used to disbelieve. Say, Shall we invoke instead of Allah that which neither benefits us nor harms us and be turned back on our heels after Allah has guided us? We would then be like one whom the devils entice to wander upon the earth confused, while he has companions inviting him to guidance calling, Come to us. Say, Indeed, the guidance of Allah is the only guidance, and we have been commanded to submit to the Lord of the worlds and to establish prayer and fear him, and it is he to whom you will be gathered. And it is he who created the heavens and earth in truth, and the day he says be, and it is, 
His word is the truth. And his is the dominion on the day the horn is blown. He is knower of the unseen and the witnessed. And he is the wise, the acquainted. And mention, O Muhammad, when Abraham said to his father Azar, Do you take idols as deities? Indeed, I see you and your people to be in manifest error. And thus did we show Abraham the realm of the heavens and the earth, that he would be among the certain in faith. So when the night covered him with darkness, he saw a star. He said, This is my Lord. But when it set, he said, I like not those that disappear. And when he saw the moon rising, he said, This is my Lord. But when it set, he said, Unless my Lord guides me, I will surely be among the people gone astray. And when he saw the sun rising, he said, This is my Lord, this is greater. But when it set, he said, O oh my people, indeed I am free from what you associate with Allah. Indeed, I have turned my face toward he who created the heavens and the earth, inclining toward truth, and I am not of those who associate others with Allah. And his people argued with him. He said, Do you argue with me concerning Allah while he has guided me? And I fear not what you associate with him, and will not be harmed unless my Lord should will something. My Lord encompasses all things in knowledge. Then will you not remember? And how should I fear what you associate while you do not fear that you have associated with Allah that for which he has not sent down to you any authority? So which of the two parties has more right to security, if you should know? They who believe and do not mix their belief with injustice, those will have security, and they are rightly guided. And that was our conclusive argument which we gave Abraham against his people. We raise by degrees whom we will. Indeed, your Lord is wise and knowing. And we gave to Abraham Isaac and Jacob, all of them we guided. And Noah we guided before, and among his descendants, David and Solomon and Job and Joseph and Moses and Aaron. Thus do we reward the doers of good. And Zechariah and John and Jesus and Elias, and all were of the righteous. And Ishmael and Elisha and Jonah and Lot, and all of them we preferred over the worlds. And some among their fathers and their descendants and their brothers, and we chose them and we guided them to a straight path. That is the guidance of Allah, by which he guides whomever he wills of his servants. But if they had associated others with Allah, then worthless for them would be whatever they were doing. Those are the ones to whom we gave the scripture and authority and prophethood, but if the disbelievers deny it, then we have entrusted it to a people who are not therein disbelievers. Those are the ones whom Allah has guided, so from their guidance take an example. Say, I ask of you for this message no payment. It is not but a reminder for the worlds. And they did not appraise Allah with true appraisal when they said, Allah did not reveal to a human being anything. Say, who revealed the scripture that Moses brought as light and guidance to the people? You Jews make it into pages, disclosing some of it and concealing much. And you were taught that which you knew not, neither you nor your fathers. Say, Allah revealed it. Then leave them in their empty discourse, amusing themselves. And this is a book which we have sent down, blessed and confirming what was before it that you may warn the mother of cities and those around it. Those who believe in the hereafter believe in it, and they are maintaining their prayers. And who is more unjust than one who invents a lie about Allah, or says, it has been inspired to me, while nothing has been inspired to him, and one who says, I will reveal something like what Allah revealed. And if you could but see when the wrongdoers are in the overwhelming pangs of death, 
while the angels extend their hand, saying, Discharge your souls. Today you will be awarded the punishment of extreme humiliation for what you used to say against Allah other than the truth, and that you were, toward his verses, being arrogant. It will be said to them, And you have certainly come to us alone, as we created you the first time. And you have left whatever we bestowed upon you behind you. And we do not see with you your intercessors, which you claimed that they were among you associates of Allah. It has all been severed between you, and lost from you is what you used to claim. Indeed, Allah is the cleaver of grain and date seeds. He brings the living out of the dead and brings the dead out of the living. That is Allah. So how are you deluded? He is the cleaver of daybreak and has made the night for rest and the sun and moon for calculation. That is the determination of the exalted in might, the knowing. And it is he who placed for you the stars that you may be guided by them through the darknesses of the land and sea. We have detailed the signs for a people who know. And it is he who produced you from one soul and gave you a place of dwelling and of storage. We have detailed the signs for a people who understand. And it is he who sends down rain from the sky and we produce thereby the growth of all things. We produce from it greenery from which we produce grains arranged in layers and from the palm trees of its emerging fruit are clusters hanging low. And we produce gardens of grapevines and olives and pomegranates, similar yet varied. Look at each of its fruit when it yields and at its ripening. Indeed, in that are signs for a people who believe. But they have attributed to Allah partners, the jinn, while he has created them, and have fabricated for him sons and daughters. Exalted is he, and high above what they describe. He is originator of the heavens and the earth. How could he have a son when he does not have a companion? And he created all things, and he is of all things knowing. That is Allah, your Lord. There is no deity except him, the creator of all things, so worship him and he is disposer of all things. Vision perceives him not, but he perceives all vision, and he is the subtle, the acquainted. There has come to you enlightenment from your Lord, so whoever will see does so for the benefit of his soul, and whoever is blind does harm against it, and say, I am not a guardian over you. And thus do we diversify the verses, so the disbelievers will say, you have studied, and so we may make the Qur'an clear for a people who know. Follow, O Muhammad, what has been revealed to you from your Lord. There is no deity except him, and turn away from those who associate others with Allah. But if Allah had willed, they would not have associated. And we have not appointed you over them as a guardian, nor are you a manager over them. And do not insult those they invoke other than Allah, lest they insult Allah in enmity without knowledge. Thus we have made pleasing to every community their deeds. Then to their Lord is their return, and he will inform them about what they used to do. And they swear by Allah their strongest oaths, that if a sign came to them, they would surely believe in it. Say, the signs are only with Allah, and what will make you perceive that even if a sign came, they would not believe? And we will turn away their hearts and their eyes, just as they refused to believe in it the first time. And we will leave them in their transgression, wandering blindly. And even if we had sent down to them the angels with the message, and the dead spoke to them of it, and we gathered together every created thing in front of them, they would not believe unless Allah should will. But most of them of that are ignorant. And thus we have made for every prophet an enemy, devils from mankind and jinn, inspiring to one another decorative speech in delusion. But if your Lord had willed, they would not have done it, so leave them and that which they invent. 
and it is so the hearts of those who disbelieve in the hereafter will incline toward it, and that they will be satisfied with it, and that they will commit that which they are committing. Say, then is it other than Allah I should seek as judge while it is he who has revealed to you the book explained in detail? And those whom we previously gave the scripture know that it is sent down from your Lord in truth, so never be among the doubters. And the word of your Lord has been fulfilled in truth and in justice. None can alter his words, and he is the hearing, the knowing. And if you obey most of those upon the earth, they will mislead you from the way of Allah. They follow not except assumption, and they are not but falsifying. Indeed, your Lord is most knowing of who strays from his way, and he is most knowing of the rightly guided. So eat of that upon which the name of Allah has been mentioned, if you are believers in his verses. And why should you not eat of that upon which the name of Allah has been mentioned, while he has explained in detail to you what he has forbidden you, excepting that to which you are compelled? And indeed do many lead others astray through their own inclinations without knowledge. Indeed, your Lord, he is most knowing of the transgressors. And leave what is apparent of sin and what is concealed thereof. Indeed, those who earn blame for sin will be recompensed for that which they used to commit. And do not eat of that upon which the name of Allah has not been mentioned, for indeed it is grave disobedience. And indeed do the devils inspire their allies among men to dispute with you. And if you were to obey them, indeed you would be associators of others with him. And is one who was dead, and we gave him life, and made for him light by which to walk among the people, like one who is in darkness, never to emerge therefrom? Thus it has been made pleasing to the disbelievers that which they were doing. And thus we have placed within every city the greatest of its criminals to conspire therein. But they conspire not except against themselves, and they perceive it not. And when a sign comes to them, they say, Never will we believe until we are given like that which was given to the messengers of Allah. Allah is most knowing of where he places his message. There will afflict those who commit crimes debasement before Allah and severe punishment for what they used to conspire. So whoever Allah wants to guide, he expands his breast to contain Islam. And whoever he wants to misguide, he makes his breast tight and constricted as though he were climbing into the sky. Thus does Allah place defilement upon those who do not believe. And this is the path of your Lord, leading straight. We have detailed the verses for a people who remember. For them will be the home of peace with their Lord, and he will be their protecting friend because of what they used to do. And mention, O Muhammad, the day when he will gather them together and say, O company of jinn, you have misled many of mankind. And their allies among mankind will say, Our Lord, some of us made use of others, and we have now reached our term which you appointed for us. He will say, The fire is your residence, wherein you will abide eternally, except for what Allah wills. Indeed, your Lord is wise and knowing. And thus will we make some of the wrongdoers allies of others for what they used to earn. O company of jinn and mankind, did there not come to you messengers from among you, relating to you my verses and warning you of the meeting of this day of yours? They will say, We bear witness against ourselves, and the worldly life had deluded them, and they will bear witness against themselves that they were disbelievers. That is because your Lord would not destroy the cities for wrongdoing while their people were unaware. And for all our degrees from what they have done. And your Lord is not unaware of what they do. And your Lord is the free of need, the possessor of mercy. If he wills, he can do away with you and give succession after you to whomever he wills, just as he produced you from the descendants of another people. Indeed, what you are promised is coming, and you will not cause failure to Allah.
Say, O oh my people, work according to your position, for indeed I am working, and you are going to know who will have succession in the home. Indeed, the wrongdoers will not succeed. And the polytheists assigned to Allah from that which he created of crops and livestock a share and say, This is for Allah, by their claim, and this is for our partners associated with him. But what is for their partners does not reach Allah, while what is for Allah, this reaches their partners. Evil is that which they rule. And likewise, to many of the polytheists, their partners have made to seem pleasing the killing of their children in order to bring about their destruction and to cover them with confusion in their religion. And if Allah had willed, they would not have done so. So leave them and that which they invent. And they say, These animals and crops are forbidden. No one may eat from them except whom we will, by their claim. And there are those camels whose backs are forbidden by them, and those upon which the name of Allah is not mentioned. All of this is an invention of untruth about him. He will punish them for what they were inventing. And they say, What is in the bellies of these animals is exclusively for our males and forbidden to our females. But if it is born dead, then all of them have shares therein. He will punish them for their description. Indeed, he is wise and knowing. Those will have lost who killed their children in foolishness without knowledge and prohibited what Allah had provided for them, inventing untruth about Allah. They have gone astray and were not rightly guided. And he it is who causes gardens to grow, both trellised and untrellised, and palm trees and crops of different kinds of food and olives and pomegranates, similar and dissimilar. Eat of each of its fruit when it yields, and give its due zakah on the day of its harvest. And be not excessive. Indeed, he does not like those who commit excess. And of the grazing livestock are carriers of burdens, and those too small. Eat of what Allah has provided for you, and do not follow the footsteps of Satan. Indeed, he is to you a clear enemy. They are eight mates, of the sheep too, and of the goats too. Say, is it the two males he has forbidden, or the two females, or that which the wombs of the two females contain? Inform me with knowledge, if you should be truthful. And of the camels too, and of the cattle too. Say, is it the two males he has forbidden, or the two females, or that which the wombs of the two females contain? Or were you witnesses when Allah charged you with this? Then who is more unjust than one who invents a lie about Allah to mislead the people by something other than knowledge? Indeed, Allah does not guide the wrongdoing people. Say, I do not find within that which was revealed to me anything forbidden to one who would eat it unless it be a dead animal or blood spilt out or the flesh of swine for indeed it is impure or it be slaughtered in disobedience dedicated to other than Allah but whoever is forced by necessity neither desiring it nor transgressing its limit then indeed your Lord is forgiving and merciful and to those who are Jews, we prohibited every animal of uncloven hoof, and of the cattle and the sheep, we prohibited to them their fat, except what adheres to their backs, or their entrails, or what is joined with bone. By that we repaid them for their injustice, and indeed, we are truthful. So if they deny you, O Muhammad, say, Your Lord is the possessor of vast mercy, but his punishment cannot be repelled from the people who are criminals. Those who associated with Allah will say, If Allah had willed, we would not have associated anything, and neither would our fathers, nor would we have prohibited anything. Likewise did those before deny until they tasted our punishment. Say, Do you have any knowledge that you can produce for us? You follow not except assumption and you are not but falsifying. Say, with Allah is the far-reaching argument, 
If he had willed, he would have guided you all. Say, O Muhammad, bring forward your witnesses who will testify that Allah has prohibited this. And if they testify, do not testify with them. And do not follow the desires of those who deny our verses and those who do not believe in the hereafter while they equate others with their Lord. Say, Come, I will recite what your Lord has prohibited to you. He commands that you not associate anything with him and to parents good treatment and do not kill your children out of poverty. We will provide for you and them. And do not approach immoralities, what is apparent of them and what is concealed. And do not kill the soul which Allah has forbidden to be killed except by legal right. This has he instructed you that you may use reason. And do not approach the orphan's property except in a way that is best until he reaches maturity. And give full measure and weight in justice. We do not charge any soul except with that within its capacity. And when you testify, be just, even if it concerns a near relative. And the covenant of Allah fulfill. This has he instructed you, that you may remember. And moreover, this is my path, which is straight, so follow it. And do not follow other ways, for you will be separated from his way. This has he instructed you that you may become righteous. Then we gave Moses the scripture, making complete our favor upon the one who did good, and as a detailed explanation of all things, and as guidance and mercy, that perhaps in the matter of the meeting with their Lord they would believe. And this Quran is a book we have revealed which is blessed. So follow it and fear Allah that you may receive mercy. We revealed it, lest you say, the scripture was only sent down to two groups before us, but we were of their study unaware. Or lest you say, if only the scripture had been revealed to us, we would have been better guided than they. So there has now come to you a clear evidence from your Lord and a guidance and mercy. Then who is more unjust than one who denies the verses of Allah and turns away from them? We will recompense those who turn away from our verses with the worst of punishment for their having turned away. Do they then wait for anything except that the angels should come to them, or your Lord should come, or that there come some of the signs of your Lord? The day that some of the signs of your Lord will come, no soul will benefit from its faith as long as it had not believed before or had earned through its faith some good. Say, wait, indeed we also are waiting. Indeed, those who have divided their religion and become sects, you, O Muhammad, are not associated with them in anything. Their affair is only left to Allah, then he will inform them about what they used to do. Whoever comes on the day of judgment with a good deed will have ten times the like thereof to his credit. And whoever comes with an evil deed will not be recompensed except the like thereof, and they will not be wronged. Say, Indeed, my Lord has guided me to a straight path, a correct religion, the way of Abraham inclining toward truth, and he was not among those who associated others with Allah. Say, Indeed, my prayer, my rites of sacrifice, my living and my dying are for Allah. Lord of the worlds. No partner has he, and this I have been commanded, and I am the first among you of the Muslims. Say, Is it other than Allah I should desire as a Lord while he is the Lord of all things? And every soul earns not blame except against itself, and no bearer of burdens will bear the burden of another. Then to your Lord is your return and he will inform you concerning that over which you used to differ. And it is he who has made you successors upon the earth, and has raised some of you above others in degrees of rank, that he may try you through what he has given you. Indeed, your Lord is swift in penalty, but indeed he is forgiving and merciful. Alif, Lam, Mim, 
Saad. This is a book revealed to you, O Muhammad, so let there not be in your breast distress therefrom, that you may warn thereby and as a reminder to the believers. Follow, O mankind, what has been revealed to you from your Lord, and do not follow other than him any allies, little do you remember. And how many cities have we destroyed, and our punishment came to them at night, or while they were sleeping at noon? And their declaration when our punishment came to them was only that they said, Indeed, we were wrongdoers. Then we will surely question those to whom a message was sent, and we will surely question the messengers. Then we will surely relate their deeds to them with knowledge, and we were not at all absent. And the weighing of deeds that day will be the truth. So those whose scales are heavy, it is they who will be the successful. And those whose scales are light, they are the ones who will lose themselves for what injustice they were doing toward our verses. And we have certainly established you upon the earth and made for you therein ways of livelihood. Little are you grateful. And we have certainly created you, O mankind, and given you human form. Then we said to the angels, Prostrate to Adam. So they prostrated, except for Iblis. He was not of those who prostrated. Allah said, What prevented you from prostrating when I commanded you? Satan said, I am better than him. You created me from fire and created him from clay. Allah said, Descend from paradise, for it is not for you to be arrogant therein. So get out, indeed you are of the debased. Satan said, Reprieve me until the day they are resurrected. Allah said, Indeed, you are of those reprieved. Satan said, Because you have put me in error, I will surely sit in wait for them on your straight path. Then I will come to them from before them and from behind them and on their right and on their left, and you will not find most of them grateful to you. Allah said, Get out of paradise, reproached and expelled. Whoever follows you among them, I will surely fill hell with you altogether. And, O oh Adam, dwell, you and your wife, in paradise, and eat from wherever you will, but do not approach this tree, lest you be among the wrongdoers. But Satan whispered to them to make apparent to them that which was concealed from them of their private parts. He said, your Lord did not forbid you this tree, except that you become angels or become of the immortal. And he swore by Allah to them, Indeed, I am to you from among the sincere advisers. So he made them fall through deception. And when they tasted of the tree, their private parts became apparent to them. And they began to fasten together over themselves from the leaves of paradise. And their Lord called to them, did I not forbid you from that tree and tell you that Satan is to you a clear enemy? They said, Our Lord, we have wronged ourselves, and if you do not forgive us and have mercy upon us, we will surely be among the losers. Allah said, Descend, being to one another enemies, and for you on the earth is a place of settlement and enjoyment for a time. He said, Therein you will live, and therein you will die and from it you will be brought forth. O children of Adam, we have bestowed upon you clothing to conceal your private parts and as adornment, but the clothing of righteousness, that is best. That is from the signs of Allah that perhaps they will remember. O children of Adam, let not Satan tempt you as he removed your parents from paradise, stripping them of their clothing to show them their private parts. Indeed, he sees you, he and his tribe, from where you do not see them. Indeed, we have made the devils allies to those who do not believe. And when they commit an immorality, they say, We found our fathers doing it, and Allah has ordered us to do it. Say, Indeed, Allah does not order immorality. Do you say about Allah that which you do not know? Say, O Muhammad, 
My Lord has ordered justice, and that you maintain yourselves in worship of him at every place or time of prostration, and invoke him, sincere to him in religion. Just as he originated you, you will return to life. A group of you he guided, and a group deserved to be in error. Indeed, they had taken the devils as allies instead of Allah, while they thought that they were guided. O children of Adam, take your adornment at every masjid, and eat and drink, but be not excessive. Indeed, he likes not those who commit excess. Say, who has forbidden the adornment of Allah, which he has produced for his servants and the good lawful things of provision? Say, they are for those who believe during worldly life, but exclusively for them on the day of resurrection. Thus do we detail the verses for a people who know. Say, my Lord has only forbidden immoralities, what is apparent of them and what is concealed, and sin and oppression without right, and that you associate with Allah that for which he has not sent down authority, and that you say about Allah that which you do not know. And for every nation is a specified term. So when their time has come, they will not remain behind an hour, nor will they precede it. O children of Adam, if there come to you messengers from among you, relating to you my verses, then whoever fears Allah and reforms, there will be no fear concerning them, nor will they grieve. But the ones who deny our verses and are arrogant toward them, those are the companions of the fire, they will abide therein eternally. And who is more unjust than one who invents about Allah a lie or denies his verses? Those will attain their portion of the decree until, when our messengers come to them to take them in death, they will say, Where are those you used to invoke besides Allah? They will say, They have departed from us and will bear witness against themselves that they were disbelievers. Allah will say, Enter among nations which had passed on before you, of jinn and mankind, into the fire. Every time a nation enters, it will curse its sister until, when they have all overtaken one another therein, the last of them will say about the first of them, Our Lord, these had misled us, so give them a double punishment of the fire. He will say, For each is double, but you do not know. And the first of them will say to the last of them, Then you had not any favor over us, so taste the punishment for what you used to earn. Indeed, those who deny our verses and are arrogant toward them, the gates of heaven will not be opened for them, nor will they enter paradise until a camel enters into the eye of a needle. And thus do we recompense the criminals. They will have from hell a bed and over them coverings of fire, and thus do we recompense the wrongdoers. But those who believed and did righteous deeds, we charge no soul except within its capacity. Those are the companions of paradise, they will abide therein eternally. And we will have removed whatever is within their breasts of resentment, while flowing beneath them are rivers. And they will say, Praise to Allah, who has guided us to this, and we would never have been guided if Allah had not guided us. Certainly the messengers of our Lord had come with the truth. And they will be called, This is paradise, which you have been made to inherit for what you used to do. And the companions of paradise will call out to the companions of the fire, We have already found what our Lord promised us to be true. Have you found what your Lord promised to be true? They will say, Yes. Then an announcer will announce among them, The curse of Allah shall be upon the wrongdoers, who averted people from the way of Allah, and sought to make it seem deviant while they were, concerning the hereafter, disbelievers. And between them will be a partition, and on its elevations are men who recognize all by their mark. And they call out to the companions of paradise, Peace be upon you. They have not yet entered it, but they long intensely. And when their eyes are turned toward the companions of the fire, they say, Our Lord, do not place us with the wrongdoing people.
and the companions of the elevations will call to men within hell, whom they recognize by their mark, saying, Of no avail to you was your gathering and the fact that you were arrogant. Allah will say, Are these the ones whom you inhabitants of hell swore that Allah would never offer them mercy? Enter paradise, O people of the elevations. No fear will there be concerning you, nor will you grieve. And the companions of the fire will call to the companions of paradise, Pour upon us some water, or from whatever Allah has provided you. They will say, Indeed, Allah has forbidden them both to the disbelievers, who took their religion as distraction and amusement, and whom the worldly life deluded. So today we will forget them just as they forgot the meeting of this day of theirs, and for having rejected our verses. And we had certainly brought them a book which we detailed by knowledge, as guidance and mercy to a people who believe. Do they await except its result? The day its result comes, those who had ignored it before will say, The messengers of our Lord had come with the truth. So are there now any intercessors to intercede for us? Or could we be sent back to do other than what we used to do? They will have lost themselves, and lost from them is what they used to invent. Indeed, your Lord is Allah, who created the heavens and earth in six days, and then established himself above the throne. He covers the night with the day, another night chasing it rapidly. And he created the sun, the moon, and the stars, subjected by his command. Unquestionably, his is the creation and the command. Blessed is Allah, Lord of the worlds. Call upon your Lord in humility and privately. Indeed, he does not like transgressors. And cause not corruption upon the earth after its reformation and invoke him in fear and aspiration. Indeed, the mercy of Allah is near to the doers of good. And it is he who sends the winds as good tidings before his mercy until, when they have carried heavy rain clouds, we drive them to a dead land, and we send down rain therein, and bring forth thereby some of all the fruits. Thus will we bring forth the dead, perhaps you may be reminded. And the good land, its vegetation emerges by permission of its Lord. But that which is bad, nothing emerges except sparsely, with difficulty. Thus do we diversify the signs for a people who are grateful. We had certainly sent Noah to his people, and he said, O my people, worship Allah. You have no deity other than him. Indeed, I fear for you the punishment of a tremendous day. Said the eminent among his people, Indeed, we see you in clear error. Noah said, O my people, there is not error in me, but I am a messenger from the Lord of the worlds. I convey to you the messages of my Lord and advise you, and I know from Allah what you do not know. Then do you wonder that there has come to you a reminder from your Lord through a man from among you? that he may warn you and that you may fear Allah so that you might receive mercy. But they denied him. So we saved him and those who were with him in the ship, and we drowned those who denied our signs. Indeed, they were a blind people. And to the Ad, we sent their brother Hud. He said, O oh my people, worship Allah. You have no deity other than him. Then will you not fear him? Said the eminent ones who disbelieved among his people, Indeed, we see you in foolishness, and indeed, we think you are of the liars. Hud said, O oh my people, there is not foolishness in me, but I am a messenger from the Lord of the worlds. I convey to you the messages of my Lord, and I am to you a trustworthy adviser. Then do you wonder that there has come to you a reminder from your Lord through a man from among you, that he may warn you? And remember when he made you successors after the people of Noah, and increased you in stature extensively. So remember the favors of Allah, that you might succeed. They said, Have you come to us that we should worship Allah alone, and leave what our fathers have worshipped? Then bring us what you promise us, 
if you should be of the truthful. Hud said, Already have defilement and anger fallen upon you from your Lord. Do you dispute with me concerning mere names you have named them, you and your fathers, for which Allah has not sent down any authority? Then wait, indeed I am with you among those who wait. So we saved him and those with him by mercy from us, and we eliminated those who denied our signs, and they were not at all believers. And to the Thamud we sent their brother Salih. He said, O my people, worship Allah. You have no deity other than him. There has come to you clear evidence from your Lord. This is the she-camel of Allah sent to you as a sign. So leave her to eat within Allah's land, and do not touch her with harm, lest there seize you a painful punishment. And remember when he made you successors after the Ad, and settled you in the land. And you take for yourselves palaces from its plains, and carve from the mountains homes. Then remember the favors of Allah, and do not commit abuse on the earth, spreading corruption. Said the eminent ones who were arrogant among his people, to those who were oppressed, to those who believed among them, Do you actually know that Salih is sent from his Lord? They said, Indeed we, in that with which he was sent, are believers. Said those who were arrogant, Indeed we, in that which you have believed, are disbelievers. So they hamstrung the she-camel and were insolent toward the command of their Lord and said, O Salih, bring us what you promise us, if you should be of the messengers. So the earthquake seized them, and they became within their home, corpses fallen prone. And he turned away from them and said, O my people, I had certainly conveyed to you the message of my Lord and advised you, but you do not like advisers. And we had sent Lot when he said to his people, Do you commit such immorality as no one has preceded you with from among the worlds? Indeed, you approach men with desire instead of women. Rather, you are a transgressing people. But the answer of his people was only that they said, Evict them from your city. Indeed, they are men who keep themselves pure. So we saved him and his family, except for his wife. She was of those who remained with the evildoers. And we rained upon them a rain of stones. Then see how was the end of the criminals. And to the people of Madian, we sent their brother Shu'aib. He said, O my people, worship Allah. You have no deity other than him. There has come to you clear evidence from your Lord. So fulfill the measure and wait, and do not deprive people of their due, and cause not corruption upon the earth after its reformation. That is better for you, if you should be believers. And do not sit on every path, threatening and averting from the way of Allah those who believe in him, seeking to make it seem deviant. And remember when you were few, and he increased you, and see how was the end of the corruptors. And if there should be a group among you who has believed in that which I have been sent, and a group that has not believed, then be patient until Allah judges between us, and he is the best of judges. Said the eminent ones who are arrogant among his people, We will surely evict you, O Shu'aib, and those who have believed with you from our city, or you must return to our religion. He said, even if we were unwilling, we would have invented against Allah a lie if we returned to your religion after Allah had saved us from it. And it is not for us to return to it except that Allah, our Lord, should will. Our Lord has encompassed all things in knowledge. Upon Allah we have relied. Our Lord, decide between us and our people in truth, and you are the best of those who give decision. Said the eminent ones who disbelieved among his people, If you should follow Shu'aib, indeed, you would then be losers. So the earthquake seized them, and they became within their home corpses fallen prone. Those who denied Shu'aib, 
it was as though they had never resided there. Those who denied Shu'aib, it was they who were the losers. And he turned away from them and said, O oh my people, I had certainly conveyed to you the messages of my Lord and advised you, so how could I grieve for a disbelieving people? And we sent to no city a prophet who was denied, except that we seized its people with poverty and hardship, that they might humble themselves to Allah. Then we exchanged in place of the bad condition, good, until they increased and prospered and said, Our fathers also were touched with hardship and ease. So we seized them suddenly while they did not perceive. And if only the people of the cities had believed and feared Allah, we would have opened upon them blessings from the heaven and the earth. But they denied the messengers, so we seized them for what they were earning. Then, did the people of the cities feel secure from our punishment coming to them at night while they were asleep? Or did the people of the cities feel secure from our punishment coming to them in the morning while they were at play? Then, did they feel secure from the plan of Allah but no one feels secure from the plan of Allah except the losing people. Has it not become clear to those who inherited the earth after its previous people that if we willed, we could afflict them for their sins, but we seal over their hearts so they do not hear? Those cities, we relate to you, O Muhammad, some of their news. And certainly did their messengers come to them with clear proofs, but they were not to believe in that which they had denied before. Thus does Allah seal over the hearts of the disbelievers. And we did not find for most of them any covenant, but indeed we found most of them defiantly disobedient. Then we sent after them Moses with our signs to Pharaoh and his establishment, but they were unjust toward them. So see how was the end of the corruptors. And Moses said, O Pharaoh, I am a messenger from the Lord of the worlds who is obligated not to say about Allah except the truth. I have come to you with clear evidence from your Lord, so send with me the children of Israel. Pharaoh said, If you have come with a sign, then bring it forth, if you should be of the truthful. So Moses threw his staff, and suddenly it was a serpent manifest. And he drew out his hand. Thereupon it was white with radiance for the observers. Said the eminent among the people of Pharaoh, Indeed, this is a learned magician who wants to expel you from your land through magic. So what do you instruct? They said, Postpone the matter of him and his brother and send among the cities gatherers who will bring you every learned, skilled magician. And the magicians came to Pharaoh. They said, Indeed, for us is a reward if we are the predominant. He said, Yes, and moreover, you will be among those made near to me. They said, O oh Moses, either you throw your staff, or we will be the ones to throw first. He said, Throw, and when they threw, they bewitched the eyes of the people and struck terror into them, and they presented a great feat of magic. And we inspired to Moses, Throw your staff and at once it devoured what they were falsifying. So the truth was established, and abolished was what they were doing. And Pharaoh and his people were overcome right there and became debased. And the magicians fell down in prostration to Allah. They said, We have believed in the Lord of the worlds, the Lord of Moses and Aaron. Said Pharaoh, You believed in him before I gave you permission. Indeed, this is a conspiracy which you conspired in the city to expel therefrom its people, but you are going to know. I will surely cut off your hands and your feet on opposite sides, then I will surely crucify you all. They said, Indeed, to our Lord we will return. And you do not resent us except because we believed in the signs of our Lord when they came to us. Our Lord, Pour upon us patience, and let us die as Muslims in submission to you. And the eminent among the people of Pharaoh said, 
Will you leave Moses and his people to cause corruption in the land and abandon you and your gods? Pharaoh said, We will kill their sons and keep their women alive, and indeed we are subjugators over them. Said Moses to his people, Seek help through Allah and be patient. Indeed, the earth belongs to Allah. He causes to inherit it whom he wills of his servants, and the best outcome is for the righteous. They said, We have been harmed before you came to us and after you have come to us. He said, Perhaps your Lord will destroy your enemy and grant you succession in the land and see how you will do. And we certainly seized the people of Pharaoh with years of famine and a deficiency in fruit that perhaps they would be reminded. But when good came to them, they said, This is ours by right. And if a bad condition struck them, they saw an evil omen in Moses and those with him. Unquestionably, their fortune is with Allah, but most of them do not know. And they said, No matter what sign you bring us with which to bewitch us, we will not be believers in you. So we sent upon them the flood and locusts and lice and frogs and blood as distinct signs, but they were arrogant and were a criminal people. And when the punishment descended upon them, they said, O Moses, invoke for us your Lord by what he has promised you. If you can remove the punishment from us, we will surely believe you, and we will send with you the children of Israel. But when we removed the punishment from them until a term which they were to reach, then at once they broke their word. So we took retribution from them, and we drowned them in the sea because they denied our signs and were heedless of them. And we caused the people who had been oppressed to inherit the eastern regions of the land and the western ones, which we had blessed. And the good word of your Lord was fulfilled for the children of Israel because of what they had patiently endured. And we destroyed all that Pharaoh and his people were producing and what they had been building. And we took the children of Israel across the sea. Then they came upon a people intent in devotion to some idols of theirs. They said, O Moses, make for us a god just as they have gods. He said, Indeed, you are a people behaving ignorantly. Indeed, those worshippers, destroyed is that in which they are engaged, and worthless is whatever they were doing. He said, Is it other than Allah I should desire for you as a god while he has preferred you over the worlds? And recall, O children of Israel, when we saved you from the people of Pharaoh, who were afflicting you with the worst torment, killing your sons and keeping your women alive. And in that was a great trial from your Lord. And we made an appointment with Moses for thirty nights and perfected them by the addition of ten. So the term of his Lord was completed as forty nights. And Moses said to his brother Aaron, Take my place among my people, do right by them, and do not follow the way of the corruptors. And when Moses arrived at our appointed time, and his Lord spoke to him, he said, My Lord, show me yourself, that I may look at you. Allah said, You will not see me, but look at the mountain. If it should remain in place, then you will see me. But when his Lord appeared to the mountain, he rendered it level, and Moses fell unconscious. And when he awoke, he said, Exalted are you. I have repented to you, and I am the first of the believers. Allah said, O Moses, I have chosen you over the people with my messages and my words to you. So take what I have given you and be among the grateful. And we wrote for him on the tablets something of all things, instruction and explanation for all things, saying, Take them with determination and order your people to take the best of it. I will show you the home of the defiantly disobedient. I will turn away from my signs those who are arrogant upon the earth without right, and if they should see every sign, they will not believe in it. And if they see the way of consciousness, they will not adapt it as a way, but if they see the way of error, they will adapt it as a way. That is because they have denied our signs and they were heedless of them. Those who denied our signs and the meeting of the hereafter, their deeds have become worthless. Are they recompensed except for what they used to do?
And the people of Moses made after his departure from their ornaments a calf, an image having a lowing sound. Did they not see that it could neither speak to them nor guide them to a way? They took it for worship, and they were wrongdoers. And when regret overcame them, and they saw that they had gone astray, they said, If our Lord does not have mercy upon us and forgive us, we will surely be among the losers. And when Moses returned to his people, angry and grieved, he said, How wretched is that by which you have replaced me after my departure! Were you impatient over the matter of your Lord? And he threw down the tablets and seized his brother by the hair of his head, pulling him toward him. Aaron said, O son of my mother, indeed the people oppressed me and were about to kill me. So let not the enemies rejoice over me and do not place me among the wrongdoing people. Moses said, My Lord, forgive me and my brother and admit us into your mercy for you are the most merciful of the merciful. Indeed, those who took the calf for worship will obtain anger from their Lord and humiliation in the life of this world, and thus do we recompense the inventors of falsehood. But those who committed misdeeds and then repented after them and believed, indeed your Lord, thereafter, is forgiving and merciful. And when the anger subsided in Moses, he took up the tablets, and in their inscription was guidance and mercy for those who are fearful of their Lord. And Moses chose from his people seventy men for our appointment. And when the earthquake seized them, he said, My Lord, if you had willed, you could have destroyed them before and me as well. Would you destroy us for what the foolish among us have done? This is not but your trial by which you send astray whom you will and guide whom you will. You are our protector. So forgive us and have mercy upon us, and you are the best of forgivers. And decree for us in this world that which is good, and also in the hereafter. Indeed, we have turned back to you. Allah said, My punishment, I afflict with it whom I will, but my mercy encompasses all things. So I will decree it especially for those who fear me, and give zakah, and those who believe in our verses. Those who follow the messenger, the unlettered prophet, whom they find written in what they have of the Torah and the Gospel, who enjoins upon them what is right and forbids them what is wrong, and makes lawful for them the good things and prohibits for them the evil, and relieves them of their burdens and the shackles which were upon them. So they who have believed in him, honored him, supported him, and followed the light which was sent down with him, it is those who will be the successful. Say, O Muhammad, O mankind, indeed I am the messenger of Allah to you all, from him to whom belongs the dominion of the heavens and the earth. There is no deity except him. He gives life and causes death. So believe in Allah and his messenger, the unlettered prophet, who believes in Allah and his words, and follow him that you may be guided. And among the people of Moses is a community which guides by truth and by it establishes justice. And we divided them into twelve descendant tribes as distinct nations. And we inspired to Moses when his people implored him for water, strike with your staff the stone, and there gushed forth from it twelve tribes. Every people knew its watering place, and we shaded them with clouds and sent down upon them manna and quails, saying, Eat from the good things with which we have provided you. And they wronged us not, but they were only wronging themselves. And mention, O Muhammad, when it was said to them, Dwell in this city, and eat from it wherever you will, and say, Relieve us of our burdens, and enter the gate bowing humbly. We will then forgive you your sins. We will increase the doers of good in goodness and reward. But those who wronged among them changed the words to a statement other than that which had been said to them. So we sent upon them a punishment from the sky for the wrong that they were doing. And asked them about the town that was by the sea, when they transgressed in the matter of the Sabbath, when their fish came to them openly on their Sabbath day, and the day they had no Sabbath they did not come to them. Thus did we give them trial because they were defiantly disobedient. 
And when a community among them said, Why do you advise or warn a people whom Allah is about to destroy or to punish with a severe punishment? They, the advisers, said, To be absolved before your Lord, and perhaps they may fear him. And when they forgot that by which they had been reminded, we saved those who had forbidden evil and seized those who had wronged with a wretched punishment because they were defiantly disobeying. So when they were insolent about that which they had been forbidden, we said to them, Be apes, despised. And mention when your Lord declared that he would surely continue to send upon them until the day of resurrection those who would afflict them with the worst torment. Indeed, your Lord is swift in penalty, but indeed, he is forgiving and merciful. And we divided them throughout the earth into nations. Of them some were righteous, and of them some were otherwise. And we tested them with good times and bad, that perhaps they would return to obedience. And there followed them successors, who inherited the scripture while taking the commodities of this lower life and saying, it will be forgiven for us. And if an offer like it comes to them, they will again take it. Was not the covenant of the scripture taken from them, that they would not say about Allah except the truth, and they studied what was in it? And the home of the hereafter is better for those who fear Allah, so will you not use reason? But those who hold fast to the book and establish prayer, Indeed, we will not allow to be lost the reward of the reformers. And mention when we raised the mountain above them, as if it was a dark cloud, and they were certain that it would fall upon them. And Allah said, Take what we have given you with determination, and remember what is in it, that you might fear Allah. And mention when your Lord took from the children of Adam, from their loins, their descendants, and made them testify of themselves, saying to them, Am I not your Lord? They said, Yes, we have testified. This, lest you should say on the day of resurrection, Indeed, we were of this unaware. Or lest you say, It was only that our fathers associated others in worship with Allah before, and we were but descendants after them. Then would you destroy us for what the falsifiers have done? And thus do we explain in detail the verses, and perhaps they will return. And recite to them, O Muhammad, the news of him to whom we gave knowledge of our signs, but he detached himself from them. So Satan pursued him, and he became of the deviators. And if we had willed, we could have elevated him thereby. But he adhered instead to the earth and followed his own desire. So his example is like that of the dog. If you chase him, he pants, or if you leave him, he still pants. That is the example of the people who denied our signs. So relate the stories that perhaps they will give thought. How evil an example is that of the people who denied our signs and used to wrong themselves. Whoever Allah guides, he is the rightly guided, and whoever he sends astray, it is those who are the losers. And we have certainly created for hell many of the jinn and mankind. They have hearts with which they do not understand, they have eyes with which they do not see, and they have ears with which they do not hear. Those are like livestock, rather they are more astray. It is they who are the heedless. And to Allah belong the best names, so invoke him by them, and leave the company of those who practice deviation concerning his names. They will be recompensed for what they have been doing. And among those we created is a community which guides by truth and thereby establishes justice. But those who deny our signs, we will progressively lead them to destruction from where they do not know. And I will give them time. Indeed, my plan is firm. Then do they not give thought? There is in their companion Muhammad no madness. He is not but a clear warner. Do they not look into the realm of the heavens and the earth and everything that Allah has created and think that perhaps their appointed time has come near? 
So in what statement hereafter will they believe? Whoever Allah sends astray, there is no guide for him, and he leaves them in their transgressions, wandering blindly. They ask you, O Muhammad, about the hour. When is its arrival? Say, its knowledge is only with my Lord. None will reveal its time except him. It lays heavily upon the heavens and the earth. It will not come upon you except unexpectedly. They ask you as if you are familiar with it. Say, its knowledge is only with Allah, but most of the people do not know. Say, I hold not for myself the power of benefit or harm, except what Allah has willed. And if I knew the unseen, I would have acquired much wealth, and no harm would have touched me. I am not except a warner and a bringer of good tidings to a people who believe. It is he who created you from one soul, and created from it its mate, that he might dwell in security with her. And when he covers her, she carries a light burden and continues therein. And when it becomes heavy, they both invoke Allah, their Lord. If you should give us a good child, we will surely be among the grateful. But when he gives them a good child, they ascribe partners to him concerning that which he has given them. Exalted is Allah above what they associate with him. Do they associate with him those who create nothing, and they are themselves created? And the false deities are unable to give them help, nor can they help themselves. And if you believers invite them to guidance, they will not follow you. It is all the same for you whether you invite them or you are silent. Indeed, those you polytheists call upon besides Allah are servants like you. So call upon them and let them respond to you if you should be truthful. Do they have feet by which they walk? Or do they have hands by which they strike? Or do they have eyes by which they see? Or do they have ears by which they hear? Say, O Muhammad, call your partners, and then conspire against me and give me no respite. Indeed, my protector is Allah, who has sent down the book, and he is an ally to the righteous. And those you call upon besides him are unable to help you, nor can they help themselves. And if you invite them to guidance, they do not hear, and you see them looking at you while they do not see. Take what is given freely, enjoin what is good, and turn away from the ignorant. And if an evil suggestion comes to you from Satan, then seek refuge in Allah. Indeed, he is hearing and knowing. Indeed, those who fear Allah, when an impulse touches them from Satan, they remember him and at once they have insight. But their brothers, the devils increase them in error, then they do not stop short. And when you, O Muhammad, do not bring them a sign, they say, Why have you not contrived it? Say, I only follow what is revealed to me from my Lord. This Quran is enlightenment from your Lord, and guidance and mercy for a people who believe. So when the Quran is recited, then listen to it and pay attention that you may receive mercy. And remember your Lord within yourself in humility and in fear without being apparent in speech, in the mornings and the evenings, and do not be among the heedless. Indeed, those who are near your Lord are not prevented by arrogance from his worship, and they exalt him, and to him they prostrate. They ask you, O Muhammad, about the bounties of war. Say, the decision concerning bounties is for Allah and the Messenger. So fear Allah, and amend that which is between you, and obey Allah and his Messenger, if you should be believers. The believers are only those who, when Allah is mentioned, their hearts become fearful, and when his verses are recited to them, it increases them in faith, and upon their Lord they rely. The ones who establish prayer, and from what we have provided them, they spend. Those are the believers, truly. 
For them are degrees of high position with their Lord and forgiveness and noble provision. It is just as when your Lord brought you out of your home for the battle of batter in truth, while indeed a party among the believers were unwilling, arguing with you concerning the truth after it had become clear, as if they were being driven toward death while they were looking on. Remember, O believers, when Allah promised you one of the two groups, that it would be yours, and you wish that the unarmed one would be yours. But Allah intended to establish the truth by his words and to eliminate the disbelievers. That he should establish the truth and abolish falsehood, even if the criminals disliked it. Remember when you asked help of your Lord, and he answered you, Indeed, I will reinforce you with a thousand from the angels, following one another. And Allah made it not but good tidings, and so that your hearts would be assured thereby. And victory is not but from Allah. Indeed, Allah is exalted in might and wise. Remember when he overwhelmed you with drowsiness, giving security from him, and sent down upon you from the sky, rain by which to purify you and remove from you the evil suggestions of Satan, and to make steadfast your hearts and plant firmly thereby your feet? Remember when your Lord inspired to the angels, I am with you, so strengthen those who have believed. I will cast terror into the hearts of those who disbelieved, so strike them upon the necks and strike from them every fingertip. That is because they opposed Allah and his messenger, and whoever opposes Allah and his messenger, indeed, Allah is severe in penalty. That is yours, so taste it, and indeed for the disbelievers is the punishment of the fire. O you who have believed, when you meet those who disbelieve advancing for battle, do not turn to them your backs in flight. And whoever turns his back to them on such a day, unless swerving as a strategy for war or joining another company, has certainly returned with anger upon him from Allah, and his refuge is hell, and wretched is the destination. And you did not kill them, but it was Allah who killed them. And you threw not, O Muhammad, when you threw, but it was Allah who threw, that he might test the believers with a good test. Indeed, Allah is hearing and knowing. That is so, and also that Allah will weaken the plot of the disbelievers. If you disbelievers seek the victory, the defeat has come to you. And if you desist from hostilities, it is best for you. But if you return to war, we will return, and never will you be availed by your large company at all, even if it should increase. And that is because Allah is with the believers. O oh, you who have believed, obey Allah and his messenger, and do not turn from him while you hear his order. And do not be like those who say, we have heard, while they do not hear. Indeed, the worst of living creatures in the sight of Allah are the deaf and dumb who do not use reason. Had Allah known any good in them, he would have made them hear. And if he had made them hear, they would still have turned away while they were refusing. O you who have believed, respond to Allah and to the Messenger when he calls you to that which gives you life. And know that Allah intervenes between a man and his heart, and that to him you will be gathered. And fear a trial which will not strike those who have wronged among you exclusively, and know that Allah is severe in penalty. And remember when you were few and oppressed in the land, fearing that people might abduct you, but he sheltered you, supported you with his victory, and provided you with good things, that you might be grateful. O you who have believed, do not betray Allah and the Messenger, or betray your trusts while you know the consequence. And know that your properties and your children are but a trial, and that Allah has with him a great reward. O you who have believed, if you fear Allah, he will grant you a criterion and will remove from you your misdeeds and forgive you. And Allah is the possessor of great bounty. And remember, O Muhammad, when those who disbelieved plotted against you 
to restrain you or kill you or evict you from Mecca. But they plan and Allah plans and Allah is the best of planners. And when our verses are recited to them, they say, We have heard. If we willed, we could say something like this. This is not but legends of the former peoples. And remember when they said, O oh Allah, if this should be the truth from you, then rain down upon us stones from the sky or bring us a painful punishment. But Allah would not punish them while you, O oh Muhammad, are among them. And Allah would not punish them while they seek forgiveness. But why should Allah not punish them while they obstruct people from al-Masjid al-Haram and they were not fit to be its guardians? Its true guardians are not but the righteous, but most of them do not know. And their prayer at the house was not except whistling and hand clapping. So taste the punishment for what you disbelieved. Indeed, those who disbelieve spend their wealth to avert people from the way of Allah. So they will spend it, then it will be for them a source of regret, then they will be overcome. And those who have disbelieved, unto hell they will be gathered. This is so that Allah may distinguish the wicked from the good, and place the wicked, some of them upon others, and heap them all together, and put them into hell. It is those who are the losers. Say to those who have disbelieved, that if they cease, what has previously occurred will be forgiven for them. But if they return to hostility, then the precedent of the former rebellious peoples has already taken place. And fight them until there is no fitna, and until the religion, all of it, is for Allah. And if they cease, then indeed, Allah is seeing of what they do. But if they turn away, then know that Allah is your protector. Excellent is the protector, and excellent is the helper. And know that anything you obtain of war booty, then indeed for Allah is one-fifth of it, and for the messenger and for his near relatives and the orphans, the needy and the stranded traveler, if you have believed in Allah and in that which we sent down to our servant on the day of Criterion, the day when the two armies met, and Allah over all things is competent. Remember when you were on the near side of the valley and they were on the farther side and the caravan was lower in position than you? If you had made an appointment to meet, you would have missed the appointment. But it was so that Allah might accomplish a matter already destined, that those who perished through disbelief would perish upon evidence and those who lived in faith would live upon evidence. And indeed, Allah is hearing and knowing. Remember, O Muhammad, when Allah showed them to you in your dream as few, and if he had shown them to you as many, you believers would have lost courage and would have disputed in the matter of whether to fight. But Allah saved you from that. Indeed, he is knowing of that within the breasts. And remember when he showed them to you, when you met as few in your eyes, and he made you appear as few in their eyes, so that Allah might accomplish a matter already destined. And to Allah are all matters returned. O you who have believed, when you encounter a company from the enemy forces, stand firm and remember Allah much that you may be successful. And obey Allah and his messenger, and do not dispute and thus lose courage, and then your strength would depart. And be patient. Indeed, Allah is with the patient. And do not be like those who came forth from their homes insolently and to be seen by people and avert them from the way of Allah. And Allah is encompassing of what they do. And remember when Satan made their deeds pleasing to them and said, No one can overcome you today from among the people, and indeed I am your protector. But when the two armies sighted each other, he turned on his heels and said, Indeed, I am dissociated from you. Indeed, I see what you do not see. Indeed, I fear Allah, and Allah is severe in penalty. Remember when the hypocrites and those in whose hearts was disease said, Their religion has deluded those Muslims. But whoever relies upon Allah, then indeed Allah is exalted in might and wise. 
And if you could but see when the angels take the souls of those who disbelieved, they are striking their faces on their backs and saying, Taste the punishment of the burning fire. That is for what your hands have put forth of evil, and because Allah is not ever unjust to his servants. Theirs is like the custom of the people of Pharaoh and of those before them. They disbelieved in the signs of Allah, so Allah seized them for their sins. Indeed, Allah is powerful and severe in penalty. That is because Allah would not change a favor which he had bestowed upon a people until they change what is within themselves. And indeed, Allah is hearing and knowing. Theirs is like the custom of the people of Pharaoh and of those before them. They denied the signs of their Lord, so we destroyed them for their sins, and we drowned the people of Pharaoh, and all of them were wrongdoers. Indeed, the worst of living creatures in the sight of Allah are those who have disbelieved, and they will not ever believe. The ones with whom you made a treaty, but then they break their pledge every time, and they do not fear Allah. So if you, O Muhammad, gain dominance over them in war, disperse by means of them those behind them that perhaps they will be reminded. If you have reason to fear from a people betrayal, throw their treaty back to them, putting you on equal terms. Indeed, Allah does not like traitors. And let not those who disbelieve think they will escape. Indeed, they will not cause failure to Allah. And prepare against them whatever you are able of power and of steeds of war by which you may terrify the enemy of Allah and your enemy and others besides them, whom you know not, but whom Allah knows. And whatever you spend in the cause of Allah will be fully repaid to you, and you will not be wronged. And if they incline to peace, then incline to it also and rely upon Allah. Indeed, it is he who is the hearing, the knowing. But if they intend to deceive you, then sufficient for you is Allah. It is he who supported you with his help and with the believers, and brought together their hearts. If you had spent all that is in the earth, you could not have brought their hearts together. But Allah brought them together. Indeed, he is exalted in might and wise. O Prophet, sufficient for you is Allah and for whoever follows you of the believers. O Prophet, urge the believers to battle. If there are among you twenty who are steadfast, they will overcome two hundred. And if there are among you one hundred who are steadfast, they will overcome a thousand of those who have disbelieved, because they are a people who do not understand. Now, Allah has lightened the hardship for you, and he knows that among you is weakness. So if there are from you one hundred who are steadfast, they will overcome two hundred. And if there are among you a thousand, they will overcome two thousand by permission of Allah. And Allah is with the steadfast. It is not for a prophet to have captives of war until he inflicts a massacre upon Allah's enemies in the land. Some Muslims desire the commodities of this world, but Allah desires for you the hereafter, and Allah is exalted in might and wise. If not for a decree from Allah that proceeded, you would have been touched for what you took by a great punishment. So consume what you have taken of war booty as being lawful and good, and fear Allah. Indeed, Allah is forgiving and merciful. O Prophet, Say to whoever is in your hands of the captives, If Allah knows any good in your hearts, He will give you something better than what was taken from you, and He will forgive you, and Allah is forgiving and merciful. But if they intend to betray you, then they have already betrayed Allah before, and He empowered you over them, and Allah is knowing and wise. Indeed, those who have believed and emigrated and fought with their wealth and lives in the cause of Allah and those who gave shelter and aided, they are allies of one another. But those who believed and did not emigrate, for you there is no guardianship of them until they emigrate. And if they seek help of you for the religion, then you must help, except against a people between yourselves and whom is a treaty. And Allah is seeing of what you do. 
and those who disbelieved are allies of one another. If you do not do so, there will be fitna on earth and great corruption. But those who have believed and emigrated and fought in the cause of Allah, and those who gave shelter and aided, it is they who are the believers, truly, for them is forgiveness and noble provision. And those who believed after the initial emigration and emigrated and fought with you, they are of you. But those of blood relationship are more entitled to inheritance in the decree of Allah. Indeed, Allah is knowing of all things. This is a declaration of disassociation from Allah and his messenger to those with whom you had made a treaty among the polytheists. So travel freely, O disbelievers, throughout the land during four months, but know that you cannot cause failure to Allah, and that Allah will disgrace the disbelievers. And it is an announcement from Allah and his messenger to the people on the day of the greater pilgrimage that Allah is disassociated from the disbelievers, and so is his messenger. So if you repent, that is best for you. But if you turn away, then know that you will not cause failure to Allah and give tidings to those who disbelieve of a painful punishment. Accepted are those with whom you made a treaty among the polytheists, and then they have not been deficient toward you in anything or supported anyone against you. So complete for them their treaty until their term has ended. Indeed, Allah loves the righteous who fear him. And when the sacred months have passed, then kill the polytheists wherever you find them, and capture them and besiege them and sit in wait for them at every place of ambush. But if they should repent, establish prayer, and give zakah, let them go on their way. Indeed, Allah is forgiving and merciful. And if any one of the polytheists seeks your protection, then grant him protection so that he may hear the words of Allah. Then deliver him to his place of safety. That is because they are a people who do not know. How can there be for the polytheists a treaty in the sight of Allah and with his messenger, except for those with whom you made a treaty at al-Masjid al-Haram? So as long as they are upright toward you, be upright toward them. Indeed, Allah loves the righteous who fear him. How can there be a treaty while, if they gain dominance over you, they do not observe concerning you any pact of kinship or covenant of protection? They satisfy you with their mouths, but their hearts refuse compliance, and most of them are defiantly disobedient. They have exchanged the signs of Allah for a small price and averted people from his way. Indeed, it was evil that they were doing. They do not observe toward a believer any pact of kinship or covenant of protection, and it is they who are the transgressors. But if they repent, establish prayer, and give zakah, then they are your brothers in religion, and we detail the verses for a people who know. And if they break their oaths after their treaty and defame your religion, then fight the leaders of disbelief, for indeed, there are no oaths sacred to them. Fight them that they might cease. Would you not fight a people who broke their oaths and determined to expel the messenger, and they had begun the attack upon you the first time? Do you fear them? But Allah has more right that you should fear him if you are truly believers. Fight them. Allah will punish them by your hands and will disgrace them and give you victory over them and satisfy the breasts of a believing people. And remove the fury in the believers' hearts. And Allah turns in forgiveness to whom he wills, and Allah is knowing and wise. Do you think that you will be left as you are, while Allah has not yet made evident those among you who strive for his cause, and do not take other than Allah, his messenger, and the believers as intimates? and Allah is acquainted with what you do. It is not for the polytheists to maintain the mosques of Allah while witnessing against themselves with disbelief. For those, their deeds have become worthless, and in the fire they will abide eternally. 
The mosques of Allah are only to be maintained by those who believe in Allah and the last day and establish prayer and give zakah and do not fear except Allah for it is expected that those will be of the rightly guided. Have you made the providing of water for the pilgrim and the maintenance of al-Masjid al-Haram equal to the deeds of one who believes in Allah and the last day and strives in the cause of Allah? They are not equal in the sight of Allah, and Allah does not guide the wrongdoing people. The ones who have believed, emigrated, and striven in the cause of Allah with their wealth and their lives are greater in rank in the sight of Allah and it is those who are the attainers of success. Their Lord gives them good tidings of mercy from him, and approval, and of gardens from them wherein is enduring pleasure. They will be abiding therein forever. Indeed, Allah has with him a great reward. O you who have believed, do not take your fathers or your brothers as allies, if they have preferred disbelief over belief and whoever does so among you, then it is those who are the wrongdoers. Say, O Muhammad, if your fathers, your sons, your brothers, your wives, your relatives, wealth which you have obtained, commerce wherein you fear decline, and dwellings with which you are pleased, are more beloved to you than Allah and his messenger, and jihad in his cause, then wait until Allah executes his command and Allah does not guide the defiantly disobedient people. Allah has already given you victory in many regions, and even on the day of Hunayn, when your great number pleased you. But it did not avail you at all, and the earth was confining for you with its vastness. Then you turned back, fleeing. Then Allah sent down his tranquility upon his messenger and upon the believers, and sent down angels whom you did not see and punished those who disbelieved. And that is the recompense of the disbelievers. Then Allah will accept repentance after that from whom he wills. And Allah is forgiving and merciful. O you who have believed, indeed the polytheists are unclean. So let them not approach al-Masjid al-Haram after this their final year. And if you fear privation, Allah will enrich you from his bounty if he wills. Indeed, Allah is knowing and wise. Fight those who do not believe in Allah or in the last day, and who do not consider unlawful what Allah and his messenger have made unlawful, and who do not adopt the religion of truth from those who were given the scripture. Fight until they give the jizya willingly while they are humbled. The Jews say, Ezra is the son of Allah. And the Christians say, the Messiah is the son of Allah. That is their statement from their mouths. They imitate the saying of those who disbelieved before them. May Allah destroy them. How are they deluded? They have taken their scholars and monks as lords besides Allah, and also the Messiah, the son of Mary. And they were not commanded except to worship one God, there is no deity except him. Exalted is he above whatever they associate with him. They want to extinguish the light of Allah with their mouths, but Allah refuses except to perfect his light, although the disbelievers dislike it. It is he who has sent his messenger with guidance and the religion of truth to manifest it over all religion, although they who associate others with Allah dislike it. O you who have believed, Indeed, many of the scholars and the monks devour the wealth of people unjustly and avert them from the way of Allah. And those who hoard gold and silver and spend it not in the way of Allah give them tidings of a painful punishment. The day when it will be heated in the fire of hell and seared therewith will be their foreheads, their flanks, and their backs. It will be said, This is what you hoarded for yourself. So taste what you used to hoard. Indeed, the number of months with Allah is twelve lunar months in the register of Allah from the day he created the heavens and the earth. Of these, four are sacred. That is the correct religion. So do not wrong yourselves during them. 
and fight against the disbelievers collectively as they fight against you collectively. And know that Allah is with the righteous who fear him. Indeed, the postponing of restriction within sacred months is an increase in disbelief by which those who have disbelieved are led further astray. They make it lawful one year and unlawful another year to correspond to the number made unlawful by Allah and thus make lawful what Allah has made unlawful. Made pleasing to them is the evil of their deeds and Allah does not guide the disbelieving people. O you who have believed, what is the matter with you that when you are told to go forth in the cause of Allah, you adhere heavily to the earth? Are you satisfied with the life of this world rather than the hereafter? But what is the enjoyment of worldly life compared to the hereafter except a very little? If you do not go forth, he will punish you with a painful punishment and will replace you with another people and you will not harm him at all. And Allah is over all things competent. If you do not aid the Prophet, Allah has already aided him when those who disbelieved had driven him out of Mecca as one of two. When they were in the cave and he said to his companion, Do not grieve, indeed Allah is with us. And Allah sent down his tranquility upon him and supported him with angels you did not see and made the word of those who disbelieved the lowest while the word of Allah, that is the highest. And Allah is exalted in might and wise. Go forth, whether light or heavy, and strive with your wealth and your lives in the cause of Allah. That is better for you, if you only knew. Had it been an easy gain and a moderate trip, the hypocrites would have followed you, but distant to them was the journey, and they will swear by Allah, if we were able, we would have gone forth with you, destroying themselves through false oaths, and Allah knows that indeed they are liars. May Allah pardon you, O Muhammad. Why did you give them permission to remain behind? You should not have until it was evident to you who were truthful and you knew who were the liars. Those who believe in Allah and the last day would not ask permission of you to be excused from striving with their wealth and their lives, and Allah is knowing of those who fear him. Only those would ask permission of you who do not believe in Allah and the last day and whose hearts have doubted, and they, in their doubt, are hesitating. And if they had intended to go forth, they would have prepared for it some preparation, but Allah disliked their being sent, so he kept them back, and they were told, Remain behind with those who remain. Had they gone forth with you, they would not have increased you except in confusion, and they would have been active among you, seeking to cause you fitna, and among you are avid listeners to them, and Allah is knowing of the wrongdoers. They had already desired dissension before, and had upset matters for you until the truth came and the ordinance of Allah appeared while they were averse. And among them is he who says, Permit me to remain at home and do not put me to trial. Unquestionably, into trial they have fallen, and indeed, hell will encompass the disbelievers. If good befalls you, it distresses them, but if disaster strikes you, they say, we took our matter in hand before and turn away while they are rejoicing. Say, never will we be struck except by what Allah has decreed for us. He is our protector. And upon Allah let the believers rely. Say, do you await for us except one of the two best things while we await for you that Allah will afflict you with punishment from himself or at our hands? So wait, indeed we, along with you, are waiting. Say, spend willingly or unwillingly, never will it be accepted from you. Indeed, you have been a defiantly disobedient people. And what prevents their expenditures from being accepted from them, but that they have disbelieved in Allah and in his messenger, and that they come not to prayer except while they are lazy, and that they do not spend except while they are unwilling.
So let not their wealth or their children impress you. Allah only intends to punish them through them in worldly life and that their souls should depart at death while they are disbelievers. And they swear by Allah that they are from among you while they are not from among you, but they are a people who are afraid. If they could find a refuge or some caves or any place to enter and hide, they would turn to it while they run heedlessly. And among them are some who criticize you concerning the distribution of charities. If they are given from them, they approve. But if they are not given from them, at once they become angry. If only they had been satisfied with what Allah and his messenger gave them, and said, Sufficient for us is Allah. Allah will give us of his bounty, and so will his messenger. Indeed, we are desirous toward Allah. It would have been better for them. Zakah expenditures are only for the poor and for the needy, and for those employed to collect zakah, and for bringing hearts together for Islam, and for freeing captives or slaves, and for those in debt, and for the cause of Allah, and for the stranded traveler, an obligation imposed by Allah, and Allah is knowing and wise. And among them are those who abuse the Prophet and say, He is an ear. Say, It is an ear of goodness for you that believes in Allah and believes the believers and is a mercy to those who believe among you. And those who abuse the Messenger of Allah, for them is a painful punishment. They swear by Allah to you Muslims to satisfy you, but Allah and His Messenger are more worthy for them to satisfy if they should be believers. Do they not know that whoever opposes Allah and his messenger, that for him is the fire of hell, wherein he will abide eternally? That is the great disgrace. The hypocrites are apprehensive, lest a surah be revealed about them, informing them of what is in their hearts. Say, mock as you wish. Indeed, Allah will expose that which you fear. And if you ask them, they will surely say, We were only conversing and playing. Say, Is it Allah and His verses and His Messenger that you were mocking? Make no excuse, you have disbelieved after your belief. If we pardon one faction of you, we will punish another faction because they were criminals. The hypocrite men and hypocrite women are of one another. They enjoin what is wrong and forbid what is right and close their hands. They have forgotten Allah, so he has forgotten them accordingly. Indeed, the hypocrites, it is they who are the defiantly disobedient. Allah has promised the hypocrite men and hypocrite women and the disbelievers the fire of hell wherein they will abide eternally. It is sufficient for them, and Allah has cursed them and for them is an enduring punishment. You disbelievers are like those before you. They were stronger than you in power and more abundant in wealth and children. They enjoyed their portion of worldly enjoyment, and you have enjoyed your portion as those before you enjoyed their portion, and you have engaged in vanities like that in which they engaged. It is those whose deeds have become worthless in this world and in the hereafter and it is they who are the losers. Has there not reached them the news of those before them, the people of Noah and the tribes of Ad and Thamud and the people of Abraham and the companions of Madian and the towns overturned? Their messengers came to them with clear proofs, and Allah would never have wronged them, but they were wronging themselves. The believing men and believing women are allies of one another. They enjoin what is right and forbid what is wrong and establish prayer and give zakah and obey Allah and his messenger. Those, Allah will have mercy upon them. Indeed, Allah is exalted in might and wise. Allah has promised the believing men and believing women gardens beneath which rivers flow, wherein they abide eternally and pleasant dwellings in gardens of perpetual residence, but approval from Allah is greater. It is that which is the great attainment. O Prophet, 
fight against the disbelievers and the hypocrites and be harsh upon them, and their refuge is hell and wretched is the destination. They swear by Allah that they did not say anything against the Prophet while they had said the word of disbelief and disbelieved after their pretense of Islam and planned that which they were not to attain. And they were not resentful except for the fact that Allah and his messenger had enriched them of his bounty. So if they repent, it is better for them. But if they turn away, Allah will punish them with a painful punishment in this world and the hereafter. And there will not be for them on earth any protector or helper. And among them are those who made a covenant with Allah, saying, If he should give us from his bounty, we will surely spend in charity, and we will surely be among the righteous. But when he gave them from his bounty, they were stingy with it and turned away while they refused. So he penalized them with hypocrisy in their hearts until the day they will meet him because they failed Allah in what they promised him and because they habitually used to lie. Did they not know that Allah knows their secrets and their private conversations and that Allah is the knower of the unseen? Those who criticize the contributors among the believers concerning their charities and criticize the ones who find nothing to spend except their effort, so they ridicule them. Allah will ridicule them, and they will have a painful punishment. Ask forgiveness for them, O Muhammad, or do not ask forgiveness for them. If you should ask forgiveness for them seventy times, never will Allah forgive them. That is because they disbelieved in Allah and His Messenger, and Allah does not guide the defiantly disobedient people. Those who remained behind rejoiced in their staying at home after the departure of the Messenger of Allah and disliked to strive with their wealth and their lives in the cause of Allah and said, Do not go forth in the heat. Say, The fire of hell is more intense in heat, if they would but understand. So let them laugh a little and then weep much as recompense for what they used to earn. If Allah should return you to a faction of them after the expedition, and then they ask your permission to go out to battle, say, You will not go out with me ever, and you will never fight with me an enemy. Indeed, you were satisfied with sitting at home the first time, so sit now with those who stay behind. And do not pray the funeral prayer, O Muhammad, over any of them who has died, ever, or stand at his grave. Indeed, they disbelieved in Allah and his messenger, and died while they were defiantly disobedient. And let not their wealth and their children impress you. Allah only intends to punish them through them in this world, and that their souls should depart at death while they are disbelievers. And when a surah was revealed enjoining them to believe in Allah and to fight with his messenger, those of wealth among them asked your permission to stay back and said, Leave us to be with them who sit at home. They were satisfied to be with those who stay behind, and their hearts were sealed over, so they do not understand. But the messenger and those who believed with him fought with their wealth and their lives. Those will have all that is good, and it is those who are the successful. Allah has prepared for them gardens beneath which rivers flow, wherein they will abide eternally. That is the great attainment. And those with excuses among the Bedouins came to be permitted to remain. And they who had lied to Allah and his Messenger sat at home. There will strike those who disbelieved among them a painful punishment. There is not upon the weak or upon the ill or upon those who do not find anything to spend any discomfort when they are sincere to Allah and his Messenger. There is not upon the doers of good any cause for blame and Allah is forgiving and merciful. Nor is there blame upon those who, when they came to you that you might give them mounts, you said, I can find nothing for you to ride upon. They turned back while their eyes overflowed with tears out of grief that they could not find something to spend for the cause of Allah.
The cause for blame is only upon those who ask permission of you while they are rich. They are satisfied to be with those who stay behind, and Allah has sealed over their hearts, so they do not know. They will make excuses to you when you have returned to them. Say, make no excuse, never will we believe you. Allah has already informed us of your news, and Allah will observe your deeds, and so will his messenger. Then you will be taken back to the knower of the unseen and the witnessed, and he will inform you of what you used to do. They will swear by Allah to you when you return to them that you would leave them alone. So leave them alone. Indeed, they are evil, and their refuge is hell as recompense for what they had been earning. They swear to you so that you might be satisfied with them. But if you should be satisfied with them, indeed, Allah is not satisfied with the defiantly disobedient people. The Bedouins are stronger in disbelief and hypocrisy and more likely not to know the limits of what laws Allah has revealed to his messenger. And Allah is knowing and wise. And among the Bedouins are some who consider what they spend as a loss and await for you turns of misfortune. Upon them will be a misfortune of evil and Allah is hearing and knowing. But among the Bedouins are some who believe in Allah and the last day and consider what they spend as means of nearness to Allah and of obtaining invocations of the Messenger. Unquestionably, it is a means of nearness for them. Allah will admit them to His mercy. Indeed, Allah is forgiving and merciful. And the first forerunners in the faith among the Muhajireen and the Ansar and those who followed them with good conduct Allah is pleased with them, and they are pleased with him. And he has prepared for them gardens beneath which rivers flow, wherein they will abide forever. That is the great attainment. And among those around you of the Bedouins are hypocrites, and also from the people of Medina. They have become accustomed to hypocrisy. You, O Muhammad, do not know them, but we know them. We will punish them twice in this world. Then they will be returned to a great punishment. And there are others who have acknowledged their sins. They had mixed a righteous deed with another that was bad. Perhaps Allah will turn to them in forgiveness. Indeed, Allah is forgiving and merciful. Take, O Muhammad, from their wealth a charity by which you purify them and cause them increase and invoke Allah's blessings upon them. Indeed, your invocations are reassurance for them, and Allah is hearing and knowing. Do they not know that it is Allah who accepts repentance from his servants and receives charities, and that it is Allah who is the accepting of repentance, the merciful? And say, do as you will, for Allah will see your deeds, and so will his messenger and the believers and you will be returned to the knower of the unseen and the witnessed, and he will inform you of what you used to do. And there are others deferred until the command of Allah, whether he will punish them or whether he will forgive them, and Allah is knowing and wise. And there are those hypocrites who took for themselves a mosque for causing harm and disbelief and division among the believers, and as a station for whoever had warred against Allah and his messenger before. And they will surely swear, we intended only the best, and Allah testifies that indeed they are liars. Do not stand for prayer within it, ever. A mosque founded on righteousness from the first day is more worthy for you to stand in. Within it are men who love to purify themselves, and Allah loves those who purify themselves. Then is one who laid the foundation of his building on righteousness with fear from Allah and seeking his approval better than one who laid the foundation of his building on the edge of a bank about to collapse, so it collapsed with him into the fire of hell. And Allah does not guide the wrongdoing people. Their building which they built will not cease to be a cause of skepticism in their hearts until their hearts are stopped, and Allah is knowing and wise. Indeed, 
Allah has purchased from the believers their lives and their properties in exchange for that they will have paradise. They fight in the cause of Allah, so they kill and are killed. It is a true promise binding upon him in the Torah and the Gospel and the Quran. And who is truer to his covenant than Allah? So rejoice in your transaction which you have contracted, and it is that which is the great attainment. Such believers are the repentant, the worshippers, the praisers of Allah, the travelers for his cause, those who bow and prostrate in prayer, those who enjoin what is right and forbid what is wrong, and those who observe the limits set by Allah, and give good tidings to the believers. It is not for the Prophet and those who have believed to ask forgiveness for the polytheists, even if they were relatives, after it has become clear to them that they are companions of hellfire. And the request of forgiveness of Abraham for his father was only because of a promise he had made to him. But when it became apparent to Abraham that his father was an enemy to Allah, he dissociated himself from him. Indeed was Abraham compassionate and patient. And Allah would not let a people stray after he has guided them until he makes clear to them what they should avoid. Indeed, Allah is knowing of all things. Indeed, to Allah belongs the dominion of the heavens and the earth. He gives life and causes death. And you have not besides Allah any protector or any helper. Allah has already forgiven the Prophet and the Muhajireen and the Ansar who followed him in the hour of difficulty after the hearts of a party of them had almost inclined to doubt. And then he forgave them. Indeed, he was to them kind and merciful. And he also forgave the three who were left behind and regretted their error to the point that the earth closed in on them in spite of its vastness, and their souls confined them, and they were certain that there is no refuge from Allah except in him. Then he turned to them so they could repent. Indeed, Allah is the accepting of repentance, the merciful. O you who have believed, fear Allah and be with those who are true. It was not proper for the people of Medina and those surrounding them of the Bedouins that they remain behind after the departure of the Messenger of Allah or that they prefer themselves over his self. That is because they are not afflicted by thirst or fatigue or hunger in the cause of Allah, nor do they tread on any ground that enrages the disbelievers, nor do they inflict upon an enemy any infliction, but that it is registered for them as a righteous deed. Indeed, Allah does not allow to be lost the reward of the doers of good. Nor do they spend an expenditure, small or large, or cross a valley, but that it is registered for them, that Allah may reward them for the best of what they were doing. And it is not for the believers to go forth to battle all at once, for there should separate from every division of them a group remaining, to obtain understanding in the religion and warn their people when they return to them that they might be cautious. O you who have believed, fight those adjacent to you of the disbelievers and let them find in you harshness and know that Allah is with the righteous. And whenever a surah is revealed, there are among the hypocrites those who say, which of you has this increased in faith? As for those who believed, it has increased them in faith while they are rejoicing. But as for those in whose hearts is disease, it has only increased them in evil in addition to their evil, and they will have died while they are disbelievers. Do they not see that they are tried every year once or twice, but then they do not repent, nor do they remember? And whenever a surah is revealed, they look at each other, saying, does anyone see you? And then they dismiss themselves. Allah has dismissed their hearts because they are a people who do not understand. There has certainly come to you a messenger from among yourselves. Grievous to him is what you suffer. He is concerned over you, and to the believers is kind and merciful. But if they turn away, O Muhammad, say, Sufficient for me is Allah. 
There is no deity except him. On him I have relied, and he is the Lord of the great throne. Alif, Lam, Ra. These are the verses of the wise book. Have the people been amazed that we revealed revelation to a man from among them, saying, Warn mankind and give good tidings to those who believe, that they will have a firm precedence of honor with their Lord? But the disbelievers say, Indeed, this is an obvious magician. Indeed, your Lord is Allah, who created the heavens and the earth in six days and then established himself above the throne, arranging the matter of his creation. There is no intercessor except after his permission. That is Allah, your Lord, so worship him. Then will you not remember. To him is your return altogether. It is the promise of Allah, which is truth. Indeed, he begins the process of creation and then repeats it, that he may reward those who have believed and done righteous deeds in justice. But those who disbelieved will have a drink of scalding water and a painful punishment for what they used to deny. It is he who made the sun a shining light and the moon a derived light and determined for it phases that you may know the number of years and account of time. Allah has not created this except in truth. He details the signs for a people who know. Indeed, in the alternation of the night and the day and in what Allah has created in the heavens and the earth are signs for a people who fear Allah. Indeed, those who do not expect the meeting with us and are satisfied with the life of this world and feel secure therein and those who are heedless of our signs. For those their refuge will be the fire because of what they used to earn. Indeed, those who have believed and done righteous deeds, their Lord will guide them because of their faith. Beneath them rivers will flow in the gardens of pleasure. Their call therein will be Exalted are you, O Allah, and their greeting therein will be, Peace. And the last of their call will be, Praise to Allah, Lord of the worlds. And if Allah was to hasten for the people the evil they invoke, as he hastens for them the good, their term would have been ended for them. But we leave the ones who do not expect the meeting with us, in their transgression, wandering blindly. And when affliction touches man, he calls upon us, whether lying on his side or sitting or standing. But when we remove from him his affliction, he continues in disobedience, as if he had never called upon us to remove an affliction that touched him. Thus is made pleasing to the transgressors that which they have been doing. And we had already destroyed generations before you when they wronged, and their messengers had come to them with clear proofs but they were not to believe. Thus do we recompense the criminal people. Then we made you successors in the land after them, so that we may observe how you will do. And when our verses are recited to them as clear evidences, those who do not expect the meeting with us say, Bring us a Quran other than this, or change it. Say, O Muhammad, It is not for me to change it on my own accord. I only follow what is revealed to me. Indeed, I fear, if I should disobey my Lord, the punishment of a tremendous day. Say, if Allah had willed, I would not have recited it to you, nor would he have made it known to you. For I had remained among you a lifetime before it. Then will you not reason? So who is more unjust than he who invents a lie about Allah or denies his signs? Indeed, the criminals will not succeed. And they worship other than Allah, that which neither harms them nor benefits them. And they say, These are our intercessors with Allah. Say, Do you inform Allah of something he does not know in the heavens or on the earth? Exalted is he, and high above what they associate with him. And mankind was not but one community united in religion. But then they differed, and if not for a word that proceeded from your Lord, it would have been judged between them immediately concerning that over which they differ. And they say, Why is a sign not sent down to him from his Lord? So say, The unseen is only for Allah to administer, so wait, 
indeed, I am with you among those who wait. And when we give the people a taste of mercy after adversity has touched them, at once they conspire against our verses. Say, Allah is swifter in strategy. Indeed, our messengers record that which you conspire. It is he who enables you to travel on land and sea until, when you are in ships and they sail with them by a good wind and they rejoice therein, there comes a storm wind and the waves come upon them from everywhere and they assume that they are surrounded, supplicating Allah, sincere to him in religion. If you should save us from this, we will surely be among the thankful. But when he saves them, at once they commit injustice upon the earth without right. O mankind, your injustice is only against yourselves, being merely the enjoyment of worldly life. Then to us is your return, and we will inform you of what you used to do. The example of this worldly life is but like rain which we have sent down from the sky that the plants of the earth absorb, those from which men and livestock eat, until, when the earth has taken on its adornment and is beautified, and its people suppose that they have capability over it, there comes to it our command by night or by day, and we make it as a harvest, as if it had not flourished yesterday. Thus do we explain in detail the signs for a people who give thought. And Allah invites to the home of peace, and guides whom he wills to a straight path. For them who have done good is the best reward, and extra. No darkness will cover their faces, nor humiliation. Those are companions of paradise, they will abide therein eternally. But they who have earned blame for evil doings, the recompense of an evil deed is its equivalent, and humiliation will cover them. They will have from Allah no protector. It will be as if their faces are covered with pieces of the night, so dark are they. Those are the companions of the fire. They will abide therein eternally. And mention, O Muhammad, the day we will gather them all together. Then we will say to those who associated others with Allah, Remain in your place, you and your partners. Then we will separate them, and their partners will say, You did not use to worship us. And sufficient is Allah as a witness between us and you, that we were of your worship unaware. There, on that day, every soul will be put to trial for what they did previously, and they will be returned to Allah, their master, the truth, and lost from them is whatever they used to invent. Say, who provides for you from the heaven and the earth? Or who controls hearing and sight, and who brings the living out of the dead, and brings the dead out of the living? and who arranges every matter. They will say, Allah. So say, then will you not fear him? For that is Allah, your Lord, the truth. And what can be beyond truth except error? So how are you averted? Thus the word of your Lord has come into effect upon those who defiantly disobeyed, that they will not believe. Say, are there of your partners, any who begins creation and then repeats it? Say, Allah begins creation and then repeats it. So how are you deluded? Say, are there of your partners any who guides to the truth? Say, Allah guides to the truth. So is he who guides to the truth more worthy to be followed, or he who guides not unless he is guided? Then what is wrong with you? How do you judge? and most of them follow not except assumption. Indeed, assumption avails not against the truth at all. Indeed, Allah is knowing of what they do. And it was not possible for this Quran to be produced by other than Allah, but it is a confirmation of what was before it and a detailed explanation of the former scripture, about which there is no doubt, from the Lord of the worlds. Or do they say about the Prophet, he invented it? Say, then bring forth a surah like it, and call upon for assistance whomever you can besides Allah, if you should be truthful. Rather, 
they have denied that which they encompass not in knowledge and whose interpretation has not yet come to them. Thus did those before them deny. Then observe how was the end of the wrongdoers. And of them are those who believe in it, and of them are those who do not believe in it. And your Lord is most knowing of the corruptors. And if they deny you, O Muhammad, then say, For me are my deeds, and for you are your deeds. You are disassociated from what I do, and I am disassociated from what you do. And among them are those who listen to you. But can you cause the deaf to hear, although they will not use reason? And among them are those who look at you. But can you guide the blind, although they will not attempt to see? Indeed, Allah does not wrong the people at all, but it is the people who are wronging themselves. And on the day when he will gather them, it will be as if they had not remained in the world but an hour of the day, and they will know each other. Those will have lost who denied the meeting with Allah, and were not guided. And whether we show you some of what we promised them, O Muhammad, or we take you in death, to us is their return. Then, either way, Allah is a witness concerning what they are doing. And for every nation is a messenger. So when their messenger comes, it will be judged between them in justice, and they will not be wronged. And they say, When is the fulfillment of this promise, if you should be truthful? Say, I possess not for myself any harm or benefit except what Allah should will. For every nation is a specified term. When their time has come, then they will not remain behind an hour, nor will they precede it. Say, Have you considered? If his punishment should come to you by night or by day, for which aspect of it would the criminals be impatient? Then is it that when it has actually occurred you will believe in it, now? And you were once for it impatient. Then it will be said to those who had wronged, Taste the punishment of eternity. Are you being recompensed except for what you used to earn? And they ask information of you, O Muhammad. Is it true? Say, Yes, by my Lord. Indeed, it is truth, and you will not cause failure to Allah. And if each soul that wronged had everything on earth, it would offer it in ransom. And they will confide regret when they see the punishment and they will be judged in justice, and they will not be wronged. Unquestionably, to Allah belongs whatever is in the heavens and the earth. Unquestionably, the promise of Allah is truth, but most of them do not know. He gives life and causes death, and to him you will be returned. O mankind, there has come to you instruction from your Lord, and healing for what is in the breasts, and guidance and mercy for the believers. Say, in the bounty of Allah and in his mercy, in that let them rejoice, it is better than what they accumulate. Say, have you seen what Allah has sent down to you of provision, of which you have made some lawful and some unlawful? Say, has Allah permitted you to do so, or do you invent something about Allah? And what will be the supposition of those who invent falsehood about Allah on the day of resurrection? Indeed, Allah is full of bounty to the people, but most of them are not grateful. And, O Muhammad, you are not engaged in any matter, or recite any of the Quran, and you people do not do any deed, except that we are witness over you when you are involved in it. And not absent from your Lord is any part of an atom's weight, within the earth or within the heaven, or anything smaller than that or greater, but that it is in a clear register. Unquestionably, for the allies of Allah, there will be no fear concerning them, nor will they grieve. Those who believed and were fearing Allah, for them are good tidings in the worldly life and in the hereafter. 
No change is there in the words of Allah. That is what is the great attainment. And let not their speech grieve you. Indeed, honor due to power belongs to Allah entirely. He is the hearing, the knowing. Unquestionably, to Allah belongs whoever is in the heavens and whoever is on the earth. And those who invoke other than Allah do not actually follow his partners. They follow not except assumption, and they are not but falsifying. It is he who made for you the night to rest therein, and the day giving sight. Indeed, in that are signs for people who listen. They have said, Allah has taken a son. Exalted is he, he is the one free of need. To him belongs whatever is in the heavens and whatever is in the earth. You have no authority for this claim. Do you say about Allah that which you do not know? Say, indeed, those who invent falsehood about Allah will not succeed. For them is brief enjoyment in this world, then to us is their return. Then we will make them taste the severe punishment because they used to disbelieve. And recite to them the news of Noah, when he said to his people, O oh my people, if my residence and my reminding of the signs of Allah has become burdensome upon you, then I have relied upon Allah. So resolve upon your plan and call upon your associates. Then let not your plan be obscure to you. Then carry it out upon me and do not give me respite. And if you turn away from my advice, then no payment have I asked of you. My reward is only from Allah, and I have been commanded to be of the Muslims. And they denied him, so we saved him and those with him in the ship and made them successors, and we drowned those who denied our signs. Then see how was the end of those who were warned. Then we sent after him messengers to their peoples, and they came to them with clear proofs, but they were not to believe in that which they had denied before. Thus we seal over the hearts of the transgressors. Then we sent after them Moses and Aaron to Pharaoh and his establishment with our signs, but they behaved arrogantly and were a criminal people. So when there came to them the truth from us, they said, Indeed, this is obvious magic. Moses said, do you say thus about the truth when it has come to you? Is this magic? But magicians will not succeed. They said, Have you come to us to turn us away from that upon which we found our fathers, and so that you too may have grandeur in the land? And we are not believers in you. And Pharaoh said, Bring to me every learned magician. So when the magicians came, Moses said to them, Throw down whatever you will throw. And when they had thrown, Moses said, What you have brought is only magic. Indeed, Allah will expose its worthlessness. Indeed, Allah does not amend the work of corruptors. And Allah will establish the truth by his words, even if the criminals dislike it. But no one believed Moses, except some youths among his people, for fear of Pharaoh and his establishment that they would persecute them. And indeed, Pharaoh was haughty within the land, and indeed, he was of the transgressors. And Moses said, O oh my people, if you have believed in Allah, then rely upon him, if you should be Muslims. So they said, Upon Allah do we rely. Our Lord, make us not objects of trial for the wrongdoing people, and save us by your mercy from the disbelieving people. And we inspired to Moses and his brother, Settle your people in Egypt in houses, and make your houses facing the Qibla, and establish prayer, and give good tidings to the believers. And Moses said, Our Lord, indeed you have given Pharaoh and his establishment splendor and wealth in the worldly life, our Lord, that they may lead men astray from your way. Our Lord, obliterate their wealth and harden their hearts, so that they will not believe until they see the painful punishment. Allah said, Your supplication has been answered. 
So remain on a right course and follow not the way of those who do not know. And we took the children of Israel across the sea, and Pharaoh and his soldiers pursued them in tyranny and enmity until, when drowning overtook him, he said, I believe that there is no deity except that in whom the children of Israel believe, and I am of the Muslims. Now? And you had disobeyed him before and were of the corruptors? So today we will save you in body, that you may be to those who succeed you a sign. And indeed, many among the people of our signs are heedless. And we had certainly settled the children of Israel in an agreeable settlement, and provided them with good things. And they did not differ until after knowledge had come to them. Indeed, your Lord will judge between them on the day of resurrection, concerning that over which they used to differ. So if you are in doubt, O Muhammad, about that which we have revealed to you, then ask those who have been reading the scripture before you. The truth has certainly come to you from your Lord, so never be among the doubters. And never be of those who deny the signs of Allah, and thus be among the losers. Indeed, those upon whom the word of your Lord has come into effect will not believe. Even if every sign should come to them, until they see the painful punishment. Then has there not been a single city that believed, so its faith benefited it, except the people of Jonah? When they believed, we removed from them the punishment of disgrace in worldly life, and gave them enjoyment for a time. And had your Lord willed, those on earth would have believed, all of them entirely. Then, O Muhammad, would you compel the people in order that they become believers? And it is not for a soul to believe except by permission of Allah, and he will place defilement upon those who will not use reason. Say, observe what is in the heavens and the earth, but of no avail will be signs or warners to a people who do not believe. So do they wait except for like what occurred in the days of those who passed on before them? Say, then wait. Indeed, I am with you among those who wait. Then we will save our messengers and those who have believed. Thus, it is an obligation upon us that we save the believers. Say, O Muhammad, O people, if you are in doubt as to my religion, then I do not worship those which you worship besides Allah, but I worship Allah who causes your death, and I have been commanded to be of the believers. And commanded, direct your face toward the religion, inclining to truth, and never be of those who associate others with Allah. And do not invoke besides Allah that which neither benefits you nor harms you, for if you did, then indeed you would be of the wrongdoers. And if Allah should touch you with adversity, there is no remover of it except him, and if he intends for you good, then there is no repeller of his bounty. He causes it to reach whom he wills of his servants, and he is the forgiving the merciful. Say, O mankind, the truth has come to you from your Lord, so whoever is guided is only guided for the benefit of his soul, and whoever goes astray only goes astray in violation against it, and I am not over you a manager. And follow what is revealed to you, O Muhammad, and be patient until Allah will judge, and he is the best of judges. In the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the especially merciful. Alif, Lam, Ra. This is a book whose verses are perfected and then presented in detail from one who is wise and acquainted. Through a messenger saying, Do not worship except Allah. Indeed, I am to you from him a warner and a bringer of good tidings. And saying, Seek forgiveness of your Lord and repent to him, and he will let you enjoy a good provision for a specified term, and give every doer of favor his favor. But if you turn away, then indeed I fear for you the punishment of a great day. To Allah is your return, and he is over all things competent. Unquestionably, the disbelievers turn away their breasts to hide themselves from him. 
Unquestionably, even when they cover themselves in their clothing, Allah knows what they conceal and what they declare. Indeed, He is knowing of that within the breasts. And there is no creature on earth but that upon Allah is its provision, and He knows its place of dwelling and place of storage. All is in a clear register. And it is He who created the heavens and the earth in six days, and His throne had been upon water, that He might test you as to which of you is best indeed. But if you say, Indeed, you are resurrected after death, those who disbelieve will surely say, This is not but obvious magic. And if we hold back from them the punishment for a limited time, they will surely say, What detains it? Unquestionably, on the day it comes to them, it will not be averted from them, and they will be enveloped by what they used to ridicule. And if we give man a taste of mercy from us, and then we withdraw it from him, indeed he is despairing and ungrateful. But if we give him a taste of favor after hardship has touched him, he will surely say, Bad times have left me. Indeed, he is exultant and boastful. Except for those who are patient and do righteous deeds, those will have forgiveness and great reward. Then would you possibly leave out some of what is revealed to you? Or is your breast constrained by it because they say, Why has there not been sent down to him a treasure or come with him an angel? But you are only a warner, and Allah is disposer of all things. Or do they say, He invented it? Say, Then bring ten surahs like it that have been invented and call upon for assistance whomever you can besides Allah, if you should be truthful. And if they do not respond to you, then know that the Qur'an was revealed with the knowledge of Allah, and that there is no deity except him. Then would you not be Muslims? Whoever desires the life of this world and its adornments, we fully repay them for their deeds therein, and they therein will not be deprived. Those are the ones for whom there is not in the hereafter but the fire, and lost is what they did therein, and worthless is what they used to do. So is one who stands upon a clear evidence from his Lord like the aforementioned, and a witness from him follows it, and before it was the scripture of Moses to lead and as mercy. Those believers in the former revelations believe in it, but whoever disbelieves in it from the various factions the fire is his promised destination. So be not in doubt about it. Indeed, it is the truth from your Lord, but most of the people do not believe. And who is more unjust than he who invents a lie about Allah? Those will be presented before their Lord, and the witnesses will say, These are the ones who lied against their Lord. Unquestionably, the curse of Allah is upon the wrongdoers who averted people from the way of Allah and sought to make it seem deviant while they, concerning the hereafter, were disbelievers. Those were not causing failure to Allah on earth, nor did they have besides Allah any protectors. For them the punishment will be multiplied. They were not able to hear, nor did they see. Those are the ones who will have lost themselves, and lost from them is what they used to invent. Assuredly, it is they in the hereafter who will be the greatest losers. Indeed, they who have believed and done righteous deeds and humbled themselves to their Lord, those are the companions of paradise. They will abide eternally therein. The example of the two parties is like the blind and deaf and the seeing and hearing. Are they equal in comparison? Then will you not remember? And we had certainly sent Noah to his people, saying, Indeed, I am to you a clear warner, that you not worship except Allah. Indeed, I fear for you the punishment of a painful day. So the eminent among those who disbelieved from his people said, We do not see you but as a man like ourselves, and we do not see you followed except by those who are the lowest of us and at first suggestion, and we do not see in you over us any merit. Rather, we think you are liars. He said, O oh my people, have you considered? If I should be upon clear evidence from my Lord, while he has given me mercy from himself, but it has been made unapparent to you, 
should we force it upon you while you are averse to it? And O oh, my people, I ask not of you for it any wealth. My reward is not but from Allah, and I am not one to drive away those who have believed. Indeed, they will meet their Lord, but I see that you are a people behaving ignorantly. And O oh, my people, who would protect me from Allah if I drove them away? Then will you not be reminded? And I do not tell you that I have the depositories containing the provision of Allah, or that I know the unseen. Nor do I tell you that I am an angel, nor do I say of those upon whom your eyes look down that Allah will never grant them any good. Allah is most knowing of what is within their souls. Indeed, I would then be among the wrongdoers. They said, O Noah, you have disputed us and been frequent in dispute of us. So bring us what you threaten us, if you should be of the truthful. He said, Allah will only bring it to you if he wills, and you will not cause him failure. And my advice will not benefit you, although I wish to advise you. If Allah should intend to put you in error, he is your Lord, and to him you will be returned. Or do they say about Prophet Muhammad, he invented it? Say, if I have invented it, then upon me is the consequence of my crime, but I am innocent of what crimes you commit. And it was revealed to Noah that no one will believe from your people except those who have already believed, so do not be distressed by what they have been doing. And construct the ship under our observation and our inspiration, and do not address me concerning those who have wronged. Indeed, they are to be drowned. And he constructed the ship and whenever an assembly of the eminent of his people passed by him, they ridiculed him. He said, If you ridicule us, then we will ridicule you just as you ridicule. And you are going to know who will get a punishment that will disgrace him on earth and upon whom will descend an enduring punishment in the hereafter. So it was, until when our command came and the oven overflowed. We said, Load upon the ship of each creature two mates and your family, except those about whom the word has proceeded, and include whoever has believed. But none had believed with him, except a few. And Noah said, Embark therein. In the name of Allah is its course and its anchorage. Indeed, my Lord is forgiving and merciful. And it sailed with them through waves like mountains, and Noah called to his son who was apart from them, O oh my son, come aboard with us, and be not with the disbelievers. But he said, I will take refuge on a mountain to protect me from the water. Noah said, There is no protector today from the decree of Allah, except for whom he gives mercy. And the waves came between them, and he was among the drowned. And it was said, O oh earth, swallow your water, and O sky, withhold your rain. And the water subsided, and the matter was accomplished. And the ship came to rest on the mountain of Judi. And it was said, Away with the wrongdoing people. And Noah called to his Lord and said, My Lord, indeed my son is of my family, and indeed your promise is true, and you are the most just of judges. He said, O Noah, indeed he is not of your family. Indeed, he is one whose work was other than righteous. So ask me not for that about which you have no knowledge. Indeed, I advise you, lest you be among the ignorant. Noah said, My Lord, I seek refuge in you from asking that of which I have no knowledge. And unless you forgive me and have mercy upon me, I will be among the losers. It was said, O Noah, disembark in security from us and blessings upon you and upon nations descending from those with you but other nations of them we will grant enjoyment. Then there will touch them from us a painful punishment. That is from the news of the unseen which we reveal to you, O Muhammad. You knew it not, neither you nor your people, before this. So be patient, indeed the best outcome is for the righteous. And to Ad we sent their brother Hud. He said, O my people, worship Allah. You have no deity other than him. You are not but inventors of falsehood. O oh, my people, 
I do not ask you for it any reward. My reward is only from the one who created me. Then will you not reason? And O oh, my people, ask forgiveness of your Lord and then repent to him. He will send rain from the sky upon you in showers and increase you in strength added to your strength. And do not turn away, being criminals. They said, O oh, Hud, you have not brought us clear evidence, and we are not ones to leave our gods on your say-so, nor are we believers in you. We only say that some of our gods have possessed you with evil. He said, Indeed, I call Allah to witness, and witness yourselves that I am free from whatever you associate with Allah, other than him. So plot against me altogether, then do not give me respite. Indeed, I have relied upon Allah, my Lord and your Lord. There is no creature but that he holds its forelock. Indeed, my Lord is on a path that is straight. But if they turn away, say, I have already conveyed that with which I was sent to you. My Lord will give succession to a people other than you, and you will not harm him at all. Indeed, my Lord is, over all things, guardian. And when our command came, we saved Hud and those who believed with him by mercy from us, and we saved them from a harsh punishment. And that was Ad, who rejected the signs of their Lord and disobeyed his messengers and followed the order of every obstinate tyrant. And they were therefore followed in this world with a curse and as well on the day of resurrection. Unquestionably, Ad denied their Lord then away with Ad, the people of Hud. And to Thamud, we sent their brother Salih. He said, O my people, worship Allah. You have no deity other than him. He has produced you from the earth and settled you in it. So ask forgiveness of him and then repent to him. Indeed, my Lord is near and responsive. They said, O Salih, you were among us a man of promise before this. Do you forbid us to worship what our fathers worshipped? And indeed we are, about that to which you invite us, in disquieting doubt. He said, O oh my people, have you considered? If I should be upon clear evidence from my Lord, and he has given me mercy from himself, who would protect me from Allah if I disobeyed him? So you would not increase me except in loss. And, O oh my people, this is the she-camel of Allah. She is to you a sign. So let her feed upon Allah's earth, and do not touch her with harm, or you will be taken by an impending punishment. But they hamstrung her. So he said, Enjoy yourselves in your homes for three days. That is a promise not to be denied. So when our command came, we saved Salih and those who believed with him by mercy from us, and save them from the disgrace of that day. Indeed, it is your Lord who is the powerful, the exalted in might. And the shriek seized those who had wronged, and they became within their homes corpses fallen prone, as if they had never prospered therein. Unquestionably, Thamud denied their Lord. Then, away with Thamud. And certainly did our messengers come to Abraham with good tidings. They said, Peace. He said, Peace, and did not delay in bringing them a roasted calf. But when he saw their hands not reaching for it, he distrusted them and felt from them apprehension. They said, Fear not, we have been sent to the people of Lot. And his wife was standing, and she smiled. Then we gave her good tidings of Isaac, and after Isaac, Jacob. She said, Woe to me! Shall I give birth while I am an old woman, and this my husband is an old man? Indeed, this is an amazing thing. They said, Are you amazed at the decree of Allah? May the mercy of Allah and his blessings be upon you, people of the house. Indeed, he is praiseworthy and honorable. And when the fright had left Abraham and the good tidings had reached him, he began to argue with us concerning the people of Lot. 
Indeed, Abraham was forbearing, grieving, and frequently turning to Allah. The angel said, O Abraham, give up this plea. Indeed, the command of your Lord has come, and indeed there will reach them a punishment that cannot be repelled. And when our messengers, the angels, came to Lot, he was anguished for them and felt for them great discomfort and said, This is a trying day. And his people came hastening to him, and before this they had been doing evil deeds. He said, O oh my people, these are my daughters, they are purer for you. So fear Allah and do not disgrace me concerning my guests. Is there not among you a man of reason? They said, You have already known that we have not concerning your daughters any claim. And indeed, you know what we want. He said, If only I had against you some power or could take refuge in a strong support. The angel said, O Lot, indeed we are messengers of your Lord. Therefore, they will never reach you. So set out with your family during a portion of the night and let not any among you look back, except your wife. Indeed, she will be struck by that which strikes them. Indeed, their appointment is for the morning. Is not the morning near? So when our command came, we made the highest part of the city its lowest, and rained upon them stones of layered hard clay, which were marked from your Lord. And Allah's punishment is not from the wrongdoers very far. And to Madian we sent their brother Shu'aib. He said, O my people, worship Allah. You have no deity other than him. And do not decrease from the measure and the scale. Indeed, I see you in prosperity, but indeed I fear for you the punishment of an all-encompassing day. And O my people, give full measure and weight in justice, and do not deprive the people of their due, and do not commit abuse on the earth, spreading corruption. What remains lawful from Allah is best for you, if you would be believers. But I am not a guardian over you. They said, O Shu'aib, does your prayer command you that we should leave what our fathers worship or not do with our wealth what we please? Indeed, you are the forbearing, the discerning. He said, O my people, have you considered? If I am upon clear evidence from my Lord, and he has provided me with a good provision from him, and I do not intend to differ from you in that which I have forbidden you, I only intend reform as much as I am able, and my success is not but through Allah. Upon him I have relied, and to him I return. And O oh my people, let not your dissension from me cause you to be struck by that similar to what struck the people of Noah, or the people of Hud, or the people of Salih, and the people of Lot are not from you far away. And ask forgiveness of your Lord, and then repent to him. Indeed, my Lord is merciful and affectionate. They said, O Shu'aib, we do not understand much of what you say, and indeed we consider you among us as weak. And if not for your family, we would have stoned you to death, and you are not to us one respected. He said, O my people, is my family more respected for power by you than Allah? But you put him behind your backs in neglect. Indeed, my Lord is encompassing of what you do. And O oh my people, work according to your position. Indeed, I am working. You are going to know to whom will come a punishment that will disgrace him, and who is a liar. So watch. Indeed, I am with you, a watcher, awaiting the outcome. And when our command came, we saved Sha'ib and those who believed with him by mercy from us. And the shriek seized those who had wronged, and they became within their homes corpses fallen prone, as if they had never prospered therein. Then away with Madian, as Thamud was taken away. And we did certainly send Moses with our signs and a clear authority to Pharaoh and his establishment, but they followed the command of Pharaoh and the command of Pharaoh was not at all discerning. He will precede his people on the day of resurrection and lead them into the fire, 
and wretched is the place to which they are led. And they were followed in this world with a curse and on the day of resurrection. And wretched is the gift which is given. That is from the news of the cities which we relate to you. Of them, some are still standing and some are as a harvest mowed down. And we did not wrong them, but they wronged themselves. And they were not availed at all by their gods which they invoked other than Allah when there came the command of your Lord. And they did not increase them in other than ruin. And thus is the seizure of your Lord when he seizes the cities while they are committing wrong. Indeed, his seizure is painful and severe. Indeed, in that is a sign for those who fear the punishment of the hereafter. That is a day for which the people will be collected. And that is a day which will be witnessed. And we do not delay it except for a limited term. The day it comes, no soul will speak except by his permission. And among them will be the wretched and the prosperous. As for those who were destined to be wretched, they will be in the fire. For them therein is violent exhaling and inhaling. They will be abiding therein as long as the heavens and the earth endure, except what your Lord should will. Indeed, your Lord is an effector of what he intends. And as for those who were destined to be prosperous, they will be in paradise, abiding therein as long as the heavens and the earth endure, except what your Lord should will a bestowal uninterrupted. So do not be in doubt, O Muhammad, as to what these polytheists are worshipping. They worship not except as their fathers worshipped before, and indeed, we will give them their share undiminished. And we had certainly given Moses the scripture, but it came under disagreement, and if not for a word that proceeded from your Lord, it would have been judged between them. And indeed they are, concerning the Qur'an, in disquieting doubt. And indeed, each of the believers and disbelievers, your Lord will fully compensate them for their deeds. Indeed, he is acquainted with what they do. So remain on a right course as you have been commanded, you and those who have turned back with you to Allah, and do not transgress. Indeed, he is seeing of what you do. And do not incline toward those who do wrong, lest you be touched by the fire. And you would not have other than Allah any protectors, then you would not be helped. And establish prayer at the two ends of the day and at the approach of the night. Indeed, good deeds do away with misdeeds. That is a reminder for those who remember. And be patient, for indeed, Allah does not allow to be lost the reward of those who do good. So why were there not among the generations before you those of enduring discrimination forbidding corruption on earth, except a few of those we saved from among them? But those who wronged pursued what luxury they were given therein, and they were criminals. And your Lord would not have destroyed the cities unjustly while their people were reformers. And if your Lord had willed, he could have made mankind one community, but they will not cease to differ, except whom your Lord has given mercy, and for that he created them. But the word of your Lord is to be fulfilled that I will surely fill hell with jinn and men altogether. And each story we relate to you from the news of the messengers is that by which we make firm your heart. And there has come to you in this the truth and an instruction and a reminder for the believers. And say to those who do not believe, work according to your position, indeed we are working. And wait, indeed we are waiting. And to Allah belong the unseen aspects of the heavens and the earth, and to him will be returned the matter, all of it. So worship him and rely upon him, and your Lord is not unaware of that which you do. In the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the especially merciful. Alif, Lam, Ra. These are the verses of the clear book. Indeed, we have sent it down as an Arabic Quran that you might understand. We relate to you, O Muhammad, 
the best of stories in what we have revealed to you of this Quran, although you were before it among the unaware. Of these stories mention when Joseph said to his father, O my father, indeed I have seen in a dream eleven stars and the sun and the moon. I saw them prostrating to me. He said, O my son, do not relate your vision to your brothers or they will contrive against you a plan. Indeed, Satan to man is a manifest enemy. And thus will your Lord choose you and teach you the interpretation of narratives and complete his favor upon you and upon the family of Jacob, as he completed it upon your fathers before, Abraham and Isaac. Indeed, your Lord is knowing and wise. Certainly were there in Joseph and his brothers signs for those who ask, such as, when they said, Joseph and his brother are more beloved to our father than we, while we are a clan. Indeed, our father is in clear error. Kill Joseph or cast him out to another land. The countenance of your father will then be only for you, and you will be after that a righteous people. Said a speaker among them, Do not kill Joseph, but throw him into the bottom of the well. Some travelers will pick him up if you would do something. They said, O oh, our father, why do you not entrust us with Joseph while indeed we are to him sincere counselors? Send him with us tomorrow that he might eat well and play, and indeed we will be his guardians. Jacob said, Indeed, it saddens me that you should take him, and I fear that a wolf would eat him while you are of him unaware. They said, If a wolf should eat him while we are a strong clan, indeed we would then be losers. So when they took him out and agreed to put him in the bottom of the well, but we inspired to him, You will surely inform them some day about this affair of theirs while they do not perceive your identity. And they came to their father at night weeping. They said, O oh, our father, Indeed, we went racing each other and left Joseph with our possessions, and a wolf ate him. But you would not believe us, even if we were truthful. And they brought upon his shirt false blood. Jacob said, Rather, your souls have enticed you to something, so patience is most fitting. And Allah is the one sought for help against that which you describe. And there came a company of travelers, then they sent their water drawer, and he let down his bucket. He said, Good news, here is a boy. And they concealed him, taking him as merchandise. And Allah was knowing of what they did. And they sold him for a reduced price, a few dirhams. And they were, concerning him, of those content with little. And the one from Egypt who bought him said to his wife, Make his residence comfortable. Perhaps he will benefit us, or we will adopt him as a son. And thus we established Joseph in the land, that we might teach him the interpretation of events. And Allah is predominant over his affair, but most of the people do not know. And when Joseph reached maturity, we gave him judgment and knowledge, and thus we reward the doers of good. And she, in whose house he was, sought to seduce him. She closed the doors and said, Come, you. He said, I seek the refuge of Allah. Indeed, he is my master, who has made good my residence. Indeed, wrongdoers will not succeed. And she certainly determined to seduce him, and he would have inclined to her had he not seen the proof of his Lord. And thus it was that we should avert from him evil and immorality. Indeed, he was of our chosen servants. And they both raced to the door, and she tore his shirt from the back, and they found her husband at the door. She said, What is the recompense of one who intended evil for your wife, but that he be imprisoned or a painful punishment? Joseph said, It was she who sought to seduce me. And a witness from her family testified, If his shirt is torn from the front, then she has told the truth, and he is of the liars. But if his shirt is torn from the back, then she has lied, and he is of the truthful. So when her husband saw his shirt torn from the back, he said, Indeed, 
It is of the woman's plan. Indeed, your plan is great. Joseph, ignore this. And my wife, ask forgiveness for your sin. Indeed, you were of the sinful. And women in the city said, The wife of Al-Aziz is seeking to seduce her slave boy. He has impassioned her with love. Indeed, we see her to be in clear error. So when she heard of their scheming, she sent for them and prepared for them a banquet, and gave each one of them a knife, and said to Joseph, Come out before them. And when they saw him, they greatly admired him, and cut their hands, and said, Perfect is Allah. This is not a man. This is none but a noble angel. She said, That is the one about whom you blamed me, and I certainly sought to seduce him, but he firmly refused. And if he will not do what I order him, he will surely be imprisoned and will be of those debased. He said, My Lord, prison is more to my liking than that to which they invite me. And if you do not avert me from their plan, I might incline toward them and thus be of the ignorant. So his Lord responded to him and averted from him their plan. Indeed, he is the hearing, the knowing. Then it appeared to them after they had seen the signs that Al-Aziz should surely imprison him for a time. And there entered the prison with him two young men. One of them said, Indeed, I have seen myself in a dream pressing wine. The other said, Indeed, I have seen myself carrying upon my head some bread from which the birds were eating. Inform us of its interpretation. Indeed, we see you to be of those who do good. He said, You will not receive food that is provided to you, except that I will inform you of its interpretation before it comes to you. That is from what my Lord has taught me. Indeed, I have left the religion of a people who do not believe in Allah, and they, in the hereafter, are disbelievers. And I have followed the religion of my fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and it was not for us to associate anything with Allah. That is from the favor of Allah upon us and upon the people, but most of the people are not grateful. O oh, my two companions of prison, are separate lords better, or Allah, the one, the prevailing? You worship not besides him, except mere names you have named them, you and your fathers, for which Allah has sent down no authority. Legislation is not but for Allah. He has commanded that you worship not except him. That is the correct religion, but most of the people do not know. O oh, two companions of prison, as for one of you, he will give drink to his master of wine. But as for the other, he will be crucified, and the birds will eat from his head. The matter has been decreed about which you both inquire. And he said to the one whom he knew would go free, Mention me before your master. But Satan made him forget the mention to his master. And Joseph remained in prison several years. And subsequently the king said, Indeed, I have seen in a dream seven fat cows being eaten by seven that were lean, and seven green spikes of grain and others that were dry. O eminent ones, explain to me my vision, if you should interpret visions. They said, It is but a mixture of false dreams, and we are not learned in the interpretation of dreams. But the one who was freed and remembered after a time said, I will inform you of its interpretation, so send me forth. He said, Joseph, O man of truth, explain to us about seven fat cows eaten by seven that were lean, and seven green spikes of grain and others that were dry, that I might return to the people. Perhaps they will know about you. Joseph said, You will plant for seven years consecutively, and what you harvest leave in its spikes, except a little from which you will eat. Then will come after that seven difficult years, which will consume what you saved for them, except a little from which you will store. Then will come after that a year in which the people will be given rain, and in which they will press olives and grapes. And the king said, Bring him to me. But when the messenger came to him, Joseph said, Return to your master, and ask him what is the case of the women who cut their hands. Indeed, 
my Lord is knowing of their plan. Said the king to the women, What was your condition when you sought to seduce Joseph? They said, Perfect is Allah, we know about him no evil. The wife of Al-Aziz said, Now the truth has become evident. It was I who sought to seduce him, and indeed he is of the truthful. That is so Al-Aziz will know that I did not betray him in his absence, and that Allah does not guide the plan of betrayers. And I do not acquit myself. Indeed, the soul is a persistent enjoiner of evil, except those upon which my Lord has mercy. Indeed, my Lord is forgiving and merciful. And the king said, Bring him to me. I will appoint him exclusively for myself. And when he spoke to him, he said, Indeed, you are today established in position and trusted. Joseph said, Appoint me over the storehouses of the land. Indeed, I will be a knowing guardian. And thus we established Joseph in the land to settle therein wherever he willed. We touch with our mercy whom we will, and we do not allow to be lost the reward of those who do good. And the reward of the hereafter is better for those who believed and were fearing Allah. And the brothers of Joseph came seeking food, and they entered upon him, and he recognized them, but he was to them unknown. And when he had furnished them with their supplies, he said, Bring me a brother of yours from your father. Do not you see that I give full measure, and that I am the best of accommodators? But if you do not bring him to me, no measure will there be hereafter for you from me, nor will you approach me. They said, We will attempt to dissuade his father from keeping him, and indeed, we will do it. And Joseph said to his servants, Put their merchandise into their saddlebags, so they might recognize it when they have gone back to their people, that perhaps they will again return. So when they returned to their father, they said, O oh, our father, further measure has been denied to us, so send with us our brother that we will be given measure, and indeed we will be his guardians. He said, Should I entrust you with him except under coercion, as I entrusted you with his brother before? But Allah is the best guardian, and he is the most merciful of the merciful. And when they opened their baggage, they found their merchandise returned to them. They said, O oh, our father, what more could we desire? This is our merchandise returned to us. And we will obtain supplies for our family, and protect our brother, and obtain an increase of a camel's load. That is an easy measurement. Jacob said, Never will I send him with you until you give me a promise by Allah that you will bring him back to me, unless you should be surrounded by enemies. And when they had given their promise, he said, Allah, over what we say, is witness. And he said, O my sons, do not enter from one gate, but enter from different gates, and I cannot avail you against the decree of Allah at all. The decision is only for Allah. Upon him I have relied and upon him let those who would rely, indeed rely. And when they entered from where their father had ordered them, it did not avail them against Allah at all, except it was a need within the soul of Jacob, which he satisfied. And indeed, he was a possessor of knowledge because of what we had taught him, but most of the people do not know. And when they entered upon Joseph, he took his brother to himself. He said, Indeed, I am your brother so do not despair over what they used to do to me. So when he had furnished them with their supplies, he put the gold measuring bowl into the bag of his brother. Then an announcer called out, O caravan, indeed you are thieves. They said while approaching them, What is it you are missing? They said, We are missing the measure of the king, and for he who produces it is the reward of a camel's load, and I am responsible for it. They said, By Allah, you have certainly known that we did not come to cause corruption in the land, and we have not been thieves. The accusers said, Then what would be its recompense if you should be liars? The brothers said, Its recompense is that he in whose bag it is found, he himself will be its recompense. Thus do we recompense the wrongdoers.
So he began the search with their bags before the bag of his brother. Then he extracted it from the bag of his brother. Thus did we plan for Joseph. He could not have taken his brother within the religion of the king except that Allah willed. We raise in degrees whom we will, but over every possessor of knowledge is one more knowing. They said, if he steals, a brother of his has stolen before. But Joseph kept it within himself and did not reveal it to them. He said, you are worst in position, and Allah is most knowing of what you describe. They said, O oh, Aziz, indeed he has a father who is an old man, so take one of us in place of him. Indeed, we see you as a doer of good. He said, I seek the refuge of Allah to prevent that we take except him with whom we found our possession. Indeed, we would then be unjust. So when they had despaired of him, they secluded themselves in private consultation. The eldest of them said, Do you not know that your father has taken upon you an oath by Allah, and that before you failed in your duty to Joseph? So I will never leave this land until my father permits me, or Allah decides for me, and he is the best of judges. Return to your father and say, O oh, our father, indeed your son has stolen and we did not testify except to what we knew, and we were not witnesses of the unseen. And ask the city in which we were, and the caravan in which we came, and indeed we are truthful. Jacob said, Rather, your souls have enticed you to something, so patience is most fitting. Perhaps Allah will bring them to me all together. Indeed, it is he who is the knowing, the wise. And he turned away from them and said, O oh, my sorrow over Joseph, and his eyes became white from grief, for he was of that a suppressor. They said, By Allah, you will not cease remembering Joseph until you become fatally ill or become of those who perish. He said, I only complain of my suffering and my grief to Allah, and I know from Allah that which you do not know. O oh, my sons, Go and find out about Joseph and his brother, and despair not of relief from Allah. Indeed, no one despairs of relief from Allah, except the disbelieving people. So when they entered upon Joseph, they said, O oh, Aziz, adversity has touched us and our family, and we have come with goods poor in quality. But give us full measure and be charitable to us. Indeed, Allah rewards the charitable. He said, do you know what you did with Joseph and his brother when you were ignorant? They said, Are you indeed Joseph? He said, I am Joseph, and this is my brother. Allah has certainly favored us. Indeed, he who fears Allah and is patient, then indeed, Allah does not allow to be lost the reward of those who do good. They said, By Allah, certainly has Allah preferred you over us, and indeed, we have been sinners. He said, No blame will there be upon you today. Allah will forgive you, and he is the most merciful of the merciful. Take this, my shirt, and cast it over the face of my father. He will become seeing, and bring me your family, all together. And when the caravan departed from Egypt, their father said, Indeed, I find the smell of Joseph, and would say that he was alive, if you did not think me weakened in mind. They said, By Allah, indeed you are in your same old error. And when the bearer of good tidings arrived, he cast it over his face, and he returned once again seeing. He said, Did I not tell you that I know from Allah that which you do not know? They said, O oh, our father, ask for us forgiveness of our sins. Indeed, we have been sinners. He said, I will ask forgiveness for you from my Lord. Indeed, it is he who is the forgiving, the merciful. And when they entered upon Joseph, he took his parents to himself and said, Enter Egypt, Allah willing, safe and secure. And he raised his parents upon the throne, and they bowed to him in prostration. And he said, O oh my father, this is the explanation of my vision of before. My Lord has made it reality. And he was certainly good to me when he took me out of prison and brought you here from Bedouin life after Satan had induced estrangement between me and my brothers. 
Indeed, my Lord is subtle in what he wills. Indeed, it is he who is the knowing, the wise. My Lord, you have given me something of sovereignty and taught me of the interpretation of dreams. Creator of the heavens and earth, you are my protector in this world and the hereafter. Cause me to die a Muslim and join me with the righteous. That is from the news of the unseen which we reveal, O Muhammad, to you. And you were not with them when they put together their plan while they conspired. And most of the people, although you strive for it, are not believers. And you do not ask of them for it any payment. It is not except a reminder to the worlds. And how many a sign within the heavens and earth do they pass over while they therefrom are turning away? And most of them believe not in Allah, except while they associate others with him. Then do they feel secure that there will not come to them an overwhelming aspect of the punishment of Allah, or that the hour will not come upon them suddenly while they do not perceive? Say, this is my way. I invite to Allah with insight, I and those who follow me, and exalted is Allah, and I am not of those who associate others with him. And we sent not before you as messengers except men to whom we revealed from among the people of cities. So have they not traveled through the earth and observed how was the end of those before them? And the home of the hereafter is best for those who fear Allah. Then will you not reason? They continued until, when the messengers despaired and were certain that they had been denied, there came to them our victory, and whoever we willed was saved and our punishment cannot be repelled from the people who are criminals. There was certainly in their stories a lesson for those of understanding. Never was the Quran a narration invented, but a confirmation of what was before it, and a detailed explanation of all things, and guidance and mercy for a people who believe. Alif, Lam, Mim, Ra. These are the verses of the book. And what has been revealed to you from your Lord is the truth, but most of the people do not believe. It is Allah who erected the heavens without pillars that you can see. Then he established himself above the throne and made subject the sun and the moon, each running its course for a specified term. He arranges each matter. He details the signs that you may, of the meeting with your Lord, be certain. And it is he who spread the earth and placed therein firmly set mountains and rivers, and from all of the fruits he made therein two mates. He causes the night to cover the day. Indeed, in that are signs for a people who give thought. And within the land are neighboring plots and gardens of grapevines and crops and palm trees, growing several from a root or otherwise, watered with one water. But we make some of them exceed others in quality of fruit. Indeed, in that are signs for a people who reason. And if you are astonished, O Muhammad, then astonishing is their saying, When we are dust, will we indeed be brought into a new creation? Those are the ones who have disbelieved in their Lord, and those will have shackles upon their necks, and those are the companions of the fire, they will abide therein eternally. They impatiently urge you to bring about evil before good, while there has already occurred before them similar punishments to what they demand. And indeed your Lord is full of forgiveness for the people, despite their wrongdoing. And indeed, your Lord is severe in penalty. And those who disbelieved say, Why has a sign not been sent down to him from his Lord? You are only a warner, and for every people is a guide. Allah knows what every female carries, and what the wombs lose prematurely or exceed, and everything with him is by due measure. He is knower of the unseen and the witnessed, the grand, the exalted. It is the same to him concerning you, whether one conceals his speech or one publicizes it, and whether one is hidden by night or conspicuous among others by day. For each one are successive angels before and behind him who protect him by the decree of Allah. Indeed, Allah will not change the condition of a people until they change what is in themselves. And when Allah intends for a people ill, 
there is no repelling it, and there is not for them besides him any patron. It is he who shows you lightning, causing fear and aspiration, and generates the heavy clouds. And the thunder exalts Allah with praise of him, and the angels as well from fear of him, and he sends thunderbolts and strikes therewith whom he wills while they dispute about Allah, and he is severe in assault. To him alone is the supplication of truth, and those they call upon besides him do not respond to them with a thing, except as one who stretches his hands toward water from afar, calling it to reach his mouth, but it will not reach it thus. And the supplication of the disbelievers is not but in error. And to Allah prostrates whoever is within the heavens and the earth, willingly or by compulsion, and their shadows as well in the mornings and the afternoons. Say, Who is Lord of the heavens and earth? Say, Allah. Say, Have you then taken besides him allies, not possessing even for themselves any benefit or any harm? Say, Is the blind equivalent to the seeing, or is darkness equivalent to light? Or have they attributed to Allah partners who created like his creation, so that the creation of each seemed similar to them? Say, Allah is the creator of all things, and he is the one, the prevailing. He sends down from the sky rain, and valleys flow according to their capacity, and the torrent carries a rising foam, and from that ore which they heat in the fire, desiring adornments and utensils, is a foam like it. Thus Allah presents the example of truth and falsehood. As for the foam, it vanishes, being cast off. But as for that which benefits the people, it remains on the earth. Thus does Allah present examples. For those who have responded to their Lord is the best reward. But those who did not respond to him, if they had all that is in the earth entirely and the like of it with it, they would attempt to ransom themselves thereby. Those will have the worst account, and their refuge is hell, and wretched is the resting place. Then is he who knows that what has been revealed to you from your Lord is the truth, like one who is blind? They will only be reminded who are a people of understanding. Those who fulfill the covenant of Allah and do not break the contract. And those who join that which Allah has ordered to be joined and fear their Lord and are afraid of the evil of their account. And those who are patient, seeking the countenance of their Lord and establish prayer and spend from what we have provided for them secretly and publicly, and prevent evil with good, those will have the good consequence of this home. Gardens of perpetual residence, they will enter them with whoever were righteous among their fathers, their spouses, and their descendants, and the angels will enter upon them from every gate, saying, Peace be upon you for what you have patiently endured, and excellent is the final home. But those who break the covenant of Allah after contracting it and sever that which Allah has ordered to be joined and spread corruption on earth, for them is the curse and they will have the worst home. Allah extends provision for whom he wills and restricts it. And they rejoice in the worldly life while the worldly life is not compared to the hereafter except brief enjoyment. And those who disbelieved say, why has a sign not been sent down to him from his Lord? Say, O Muhammad, indeed, Allah leaves astray whom he wills and guides to himself whoever turns back to him. Those who have believed and whose hearts are assured by the remembrance of Allah, unquestionably, by the remembrance of Allah, hearts are assured. Those who have believed and done righteous deeds, a good state is theirs and a good return. Thus have we sent you to a community before which others' communities have passed on so we might recite to them that which we revealed to you while they disbelieve in the Most Merciful. Say, He is my Lord. There is no deity except Him. Upon Him I rely and to Him is my return. And if there was any Quran by which the mountains would be removed or the earth would be broken apart or the dead would be made to speak, it would be this Quran, but to Allah belongs the affair entirely.
Then have those who believed not accepted that had Allah willed? He would have guided the people, all of them. And those who disbelieve do not cease to be struck for what they have done by calamity, or it will descend near their home until there comes the promise of Allah. Indeed, Allah does not fail in his promise. And already were other messengers ridiculed before you, and I extended the time of those who disbelieved. Then I seized them, and how terrible was my penalty. Then is he who is a maintainer of every soul, knowing what it has earned, like any other? But to Allah they have attributed partners. Say, name them. Or do you inform him of that which he knows not upon the earth, or of what is apparent of speech? Rather, their own plan has been made attractive to those who disbelieve, and they have been averted from the way. And whomever Allah leaves astray, there will be for him no guide. For them will be punishment in the life of this world, and the punishment of the hereafter is more severe, and they will not have from Allah any protector. The example of paradise, which the righteous have been promised, is that beneath it rivers flow, its fruit is lasting and its shade. That is the consequence for the righteous, and the consequence for the disbelievers is the fire. And the believers among those to whom we have given the previous scripture, rejoice at what has been revealed to you, O Muhammad. But among the opposing factions are those who deny part of it. Say, I have only been commanded to worship Allah and not associate anything with him. To him I invite, and to him is my return. And thus we have revealed it as an Arabic legislation. And if you should follow their inclinations after what has come to you of knowledge, you would not have against Allah any ally or any protector. And we have already sent messengers before you and assigned to them wives and descendants. And it was not for a messenger to come with a sign except by permission of Allah, for every term is a decree. Allah eliminates what he wills or confirms, and with him is the mother of the book. And whether we show you part of what we promised them or take you in death, upon you is only the duty of notification, and upon us is the account. Have they not seen that we set upon the land, reducing it from its borders? And Allah decides, there is no adjuster of his decision, and he is swift in account. And those before them had plotted, but to Allah belongs the plan entirely. He knows what every soul earns, and the disbelievers will know for whom is the final home. And those who have disbelieved say, You are not a messenger. Say, O Muhammad, sufficient is Allah as witness between me and you, and the witness of whoever has knowledge of the scripture. In the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the especially merciful. Alif, Lam, Ra. This is a book which we have revealed to you, O Muhammad, that you might bring mankind out of darknesses into the light by permission of their Lord, to the path of the exalted in might, the praiseworthy. Allah, to whom belongs whatever is in the heavens and whatever is on the earth and woe to the disbelievers from a severe punishment. The ones who prefer the worldly life over the hereafter and avert people from the way of Allah, seeking to make it seem deviant, those are in extreme error. And we did not send any messenger except speaking in the language of his people to state clearly for them, and Allah sends astray thereby whom he wills and guides whom he wills and he is the exalted in might, the wise. And we certainly sent Moses with our signs, saying, Bring out your people from darknesses into the light and remind them of the days of Allah. Indeed, in that are signs for everyone patient and grateful. And recall, O children of Israel, when Moses said to his people, Remember the favor of Allah upon you when he saved you from the people of Pharaoh who were afflicting you with the worst torment and were slaughtering your newborn sons and keeping your females alive. And in that was a great trial from your Lord. 
And remember when your Lord proclaimed, If you are grateful, I will surely increase you in favor. But if you deny, indeed my punishment is severe. And Moses said, If you should disbelieve, you and whoever is on the earth entirely, indeed Allah is free of need and praiseworthy. Has there not reached you the news of those before you, the people of Noah, and Ad, and Thamud, and those after them? No one knows them but Allah. Their messengers brought them clear proofs, but they returned their hands to their mouths and said, Indeed, we disbelieve in that with which you have been sent, and indeed we are about that to which you invite us in disquieting doubt. Their messengers said, can there be doubt about Allah, creator of the heavens and earth? He invites you that he may forgive you of your sins, and he delays you your death for a specified term. They said, You are not but men like us who wish to avert us from what our fathers were worshipping, so bring us a clear authority. Their messengers said to them, We are only men like you, but Allah confers favor upon whom he wills of his servants. It has never been for us to bring you evidence except by permission of Allah, and upon Allah let the believers rely. And why should we not rely upon Allah while he has guided us to our good ways, and we will surely be patient against whatever harm you should cause us, and upon Allah let those who would rely indeed rely. And those who disbelieved said to their messengers, We will surely drive you out of our land, or you must return to our religion. So their Lord inspired to them, We will surely destroy the wrongdoers, and we will surely cause you to dwell in the land after them. That is for he who fears my position and fears my threat. And they requested victory from Allah, and disappointed, therefore, was every obstinate tyrant. Before him is hell, and he will be given a drink of purulent water. He will gulp it, but will be hardly able to swallow it. And death will come to him from everywhere, but he is not to die, and before him is a massive punishment. The example of those who disbelieve in their Lord is that their deeds are like ashes which the wind blows forcefully on a stormy day. They are unable to keep from what they earned a single thing. That is what is extreme error. Have you not seen that Allah created the heavens and the earth in truth? If he wills, he can do away with you and produce a new creation. And that is not difficult for Allah. And they will come out for judgment before Allah altogether. And the weak will say to those who were arrogant, Indeed, we were your followers, so can you avail us anything against the punishment of Allah? They will say, If Allah had guided us, we would have guided you. It is all the same for us whether we show intolerance or are patient. There is for us no place of escape. And Satan will say when the matter has been concluded, Indeed, Allah had promised you the promise of truth. And I promised you, but I betrayed you. But I had no authority over you except that I invited you, and you responded to me. So do not blame me, but blame yourselves. I cannot be called to your aid, nor can you be called to my aid. Indeed, I deny your association of me with Allah before. Indeed, for the wrongdoers is a painful punishment. And those who believed and did righteous deeds will be admitted to gardens beneath which rivers flow, abiding eternally therein by permission of their Lord, and their greeting therein will be peace. Have you not considered how Allah presents an example, making a good word like a good tree? whose root is firmly fixed and its branches high in the sky. It produces its fruit all the time by permission of its Lord, and Allah presents examples for the people that perhaps they will be reminded. And the example of a bad word is like a bad tree, uprooted from the surface of the earth, not having any stability. Allah keeps firm those who believe, with the firm word, in worldly life and in the hereafter. And Allah sends astray the wrongdoers, and Allah does what he wills. 
Have you not considered those who exchanged the favor of Allah for disbelief and settled their people in the home of ruin? It is hell which they will enter to burn, and wretched is the settlement. And they have attributed to Allah equals to mislead people from his way. Say, enjoy yourselves, for indeed your destination is the fire. O Muhammad, tell my servants who have believed to establish prayer and spend from what we have provided them, secretly and publicly, before a day comes in which there will be no exchange, nor any friendships. It is Allah who created the heavens and the earth, and sent down rain from the sky, and produced thereby some fruits as provision for you and subjected for you the ships to sail through the sea by his command, and subjected for you the rivers. And he subjected for you the sun and the moon, continuous in orbit, and subjected for you the night and the day. And he gave you from all you asked of him. And if you should count the favor of Allah, you could not enumerate them. Indeed, mankind is generally most unjust and ungrateful. And mention, O Muhammad, when Abraham said, My Lord, make this city Mecca secure, and keep me and my sons away from worshipping idols. My Lord, indeed they have led astray many among the people. So whoever follows me, then he is of me, and whoever disobeys me, indeed, you are yet forgiving and merciful. Our Lord, I have settled some of my descendants in an uncultivated valley near your sacred house, our Lord, that they may establish prayer. So make hearts among the people incline toward them, and provide for them from the fruits that they might be grateful. Our Lord, indeed you know what we conceal and what we declare, and nothing is hidden from Allah on the earth or in the heaven. Praise to Allah who has granted to me in old age Ishmael and Isaac. Indeed, my Lord is the hearer of supplication. My Lord, make me an establisher of prayer, and many from my descendants. Our Lord, and accept my supplication. Our Lord, forgive me and my parents and the believers the day the account is established. And never think that Allah is unaware of what the wrongdoers do. He only delays them for a day when eyes will stare in horror. Racing ahead, their heads raised up, their glance does not come back to them, and their hearts are void. And O oh Muhammad, warn the people of a day when the punishment will come to them, and those who did wrong will say, Our Lord, delay us for a short term. We will answer your call and follow the messengers. But it will be said, Had you not sworn before? that for you there would be no cessation? And you lived among the dwellings of those who wronged themselves, and it had become clear to you how we dealt with them, and we presented for you many examples. And they had planned their plan, but with Allah is recorded their plan, even if their plan had been sufficient to do away with the mountains. So never think that Allah will fail in his promise to his messengers, Indeed, Allah is exalted in might and owner of retribution. It will be on the day the earth will be replaced by another earth, and the heavens as well. And all creatures will come out before Allah, the one, the prevailing. And you will see the criminals that day bound together in shackles. Their garments of liquid pitch and their faces covered by the fire so that Allah will recompense every soul for what it earned. Indeed, Allah is swift in account. This Quran is notification for the people that they may be warned thereby, and that they may know that he is but one God, and that those of understanding will be reminded. Alif, Lam, Ra. These are the verses of the book and a clear Quran. Perhaps those who disbelieve will wish that they had been Muslims. Let them eat and enjoy themselves and be diverted by false hope, for they are going to know. And we did not destroy any city, but that for it was a known decree. No nation will precede its term, nor will they remain thereafter. And they say, 
O you upon whom the message has been sent down, indeed you are mad. Why do you not bring us the angels, if you should be among the truthful? We do not send down the angels except with truth, and the disbelievers would not then be reprieved. Indeed, it is we who sent down the message, and indeed we will be its guardian. And we had certainly sent messengers before you, O Muhammad, among the sects of the former peoples. And no messenger would come to them except that they ridiculed him. Thus do we insert denial into the hearts of the criminals. They will not believe in it, while there has already occurred the precedent of the former peoples. And even if we opened to them a gate from the heaven and they continued therein to ascend, they would say, our eyes have only been dazzled, rather we are a people affected by magic. And we have placed within the heaven great stars and have beautified it for the observers. And we have protected it from every devil expelled from the mercy of Allah. Except one who steals a hearing and is pursued by a clear burning flame. And the earth, we have spread it and cast therein firmly set mountains and caused to grow therein something of every well-balanced thing. And we have made for you therein means of living and for those for whom you are not providers. And there is not a thing but that with us are its depositories, and we do not send it down except according to a known measure. And we have sent the fertilizing winds and sent down water from the sky and given you drink from it, and you are not its retainers. And indeed, it is we who give life and cause death, and we are the inheritor. And we have already known the preceding generations among you, and we have already known the later ones to come. And indeed, your Lord will gather them. Indeed, he is wise and knowing. And we did certainly create man out of clay from an altered black mud. And the jinn we created before from scorching fire. And mention, O Muhammad, when your Lord said to the angels, I will create a human being out of clay from an altered black mud. And when I have proportioned him and breathed into him of my created soul, then fall down to him in prostration. So the angels prostrated, all of them entirely. Except Iblis, he refused to be with those who prostrated. Allah said, O Iblis, what is the matter with you that you are not with those who prostrate? He said, Never would I prostrate to a human whom you created out of clay from an altered black mud. Allah said, Then get out of it, for indeed you are expelled. And indeed, upon you is the curse until the day of recompense. He said, My Lord, then reprieve me until the day they are resurrected. Allah said, So indeed you are of those reprieved until the day of the time well known. Iblis said, My Lord, because you have put me in error, I will surely make disobedience attractive to them on earth, and I will mislead them all, except among them your chosen servants. Allah said, This is a path of return to me that is straight. Indeed, my servants, no authority will you have over them, except those who follow you of the deviators. And indeed, hell is the promised place for them all. It has seven gates, for every gate is of them a portion designated. Indeed, the righteous will be within gardens and springs. Having been told, enter it in peace, safe and secure. And we will remove whatever is in their breasts of resentment so they will be brothers on thrones facing each other. No fatigue will touch them therein, nor from it will they ever be removed. O Muhammad, inform my servants that it is I who am the forgiving, the merciful, and that it is my punishment which is the painful punishment. And inform them about the guests of Abraham. When they entered upon him and said, Peace, Abraham said, 
Indeed, we are fearful of you. The angel said, Fear not, indeed we give you good tidings of a learned boy. He said, Have you given me good tidings, although old age has come upon me? Then of what wonder do you inform? They said, We have given you good tidings in truth, so do not be of the despairing. He said, And who despairs of the mercy of his Lord except for those astray? Abraham said, Then what is your business here, O messengers? They said, Indeed, we have been sent to a people of criminals. Except the family of Lot, indeed, we will save them all. Except his wife, Allah decreed that she is of those who remain behind. And when the messengers came to the family of Lot, he said, Indeed, you are people unknown. They said, But we have come to you with that about which they were disputing. And we have come to you with truth, and indeed we are truthful. So set out with your family during a portion of the night, and follow behind them, and let not anyone among you look back, and continue on to where you are commanded. And we conveyed to him the decree of that matter, that those sinners would be eliminated by early morning. And the people of the city came rejoicing. Lot said, Indeed, these are my guests, so do not shame me. And fear Allah, and do not disgrace me. They said, Have we not forbidden you from protecting people? Lot said, These are my daughters, if you would be doers of lawful marriage. By your life, O Muhammad, indeed they were, in their intoxication, wandering blindly. So the shriek seized them at sunrise. And we made the highest part of the city its lowest, and rained upon them stones of hard clay. Indeed, in that are signs for those who discern. And indeed, those cities are situated on an established road. Indeed, in that is a sign for the believers. And the companions of the thicket were also wrongdoers. So we took retribution from them. And indeed, both cities are on a clear highway. And certainly did the companions of the Thamud deny the messengers. And we gave them our signs, but from them they were turning away. And they used to carve from the mountains, houses, feeling secure. But the shriek seized them at early morning. So nothing availed them from what they used to earn. And we have not created the heavens and earth and that between them except in truth. And indeed the hour is coming, so forgive with gracious forgiveness. Indeed your Lord, he is the knowing creator. And we have certainly given you, O Muhammad, seven of the often repeated verses and the great Quran. Do not extend your eyes toward that by which we have given enjoyment to certain categories of the disbelievers, and do not grieve over them, and lower your wing to the believers. And say, Indeed, I am the clear warner. Just as we had revealed scriptures to the separators, who have made the Quran into portions. So by your Lord, we will surely question them all about what they used to do. Then declare what you are commanded and turn away from the polytheists. Indeed, we are sufficient for you against the mockers, who make equal with Allah another deity, but they are going to know. And we already know that your breast is constrained by what they say. So exalt Allah with praise of your Lord, and be of those who prostrate to him. And worship your Lord until there comes to you the certainty of death. In the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the especially merciful. The command of Allah is coming, so be not impatient for it. Exalted is he, and high above what they associate with him. He sends down the angels with the inspiration of his command upon whom he wills of his servants, telling them, Warn that there is no deity except me, so fear me. He created the heavens and earth in truth, high as he above what they associate with him. He created man from a sperm drop, then at once he is a clear adversary. And the grazing livestock he has created for you, 
In them is warmth and numerous benefits, and from them you eat. And for you in them is the enjoyment of beauty when you bring them in for the evening and when you send them out to pasture. And they carry your loads to a land you could not have reached except with difficulty to yourselves. Indeed, your Lord is kind and merciful. And he created the horses, mules, and donkeys for you to ride and as adornment. And he creates that which you do not know. And upon Allah is the direction of the right way. And among the various paths are those deviating. And if he willed, he could have guided you all. It is he who sends down rain from the sky. From it is drink, and from it is foliage in which you pasture animals. He causes to grow for you thereby the crops, olives, palm trees, grapevines, and from all the fruits. Indeed, in that is a sign for a people who give thought. And he has subjected for you the night and day, and the sun and moon, and the stars are subjected by his command. Indeed, in that are signs for a people who reason. And he has subjected whatever he multiplied for you on the earth of varying colors. Indeed, in that is a sign for a people who remember. And it is he who subjected the sea for you, to eat from it tender meat and to extract from it ornaments which you wear. And you see the ships plowing through it, and he subjected it that you may seek of his bounty. And perhaps you will be grateful. And he has cast into the earth firmly set mountains, lest it shift with you, and made rivers and roads that you may be guided, and landmarks, and by the stars they are also guided. Then is he who creates like one who does not create? So will you not be reminded? And if you should count the favors of Allah, you could not enumerate them. Indeed, Allah is forgiving and merciful. And Allah knows what you conceal and what you declare. And those they invoke other than Allah create nothing, and they themselves are created. They are in fact dead, not alive, and they do not perceive when they will be resurrected. Your God is one God, but those who do not believe in the hereafter, their hearts are disapproving and they are arrogant. Assuredly, Allah knows what they conceal and what they declare. Indeed, he does not like the arrogant. And when it is said to them, What has your Lord sent down? They say, Legends of the former peoples, that they may bear their own burdens in full on the day of resurrection, and some of the burdens of those whom they misguide without knowledge. Unquestionably, evil is that which they bear. Those before them had already plotted. But Allah came at their building from the foundations, so the roof fell upon them from above them, and the punishment came to them from where they did not perceive. Then on the day of resurrection he will disgrace them and say, Where are my partners for whom you used to oppose the believers? Those who were given knowledge will say, Indeed, disgrace, this day, and evil are upon the disbelievers. The ones whom the angels take in death while wronging themselves, and who then offer submission, saying, We were not doing any evil, but yes, indeed, Allah is knowing of what you used to do. So enter the gates of hell to abide eternally therein, and how wretched is the residence of the arrogant. And it will be said to those who feared Allah, What did your Lord send down? They will say, That which is good. For those who do good in this world is good, and the home of the hereafter is better, and how excellent is the home of the righteous. Gardens of perpetual residence, which they will enter, beneath which rivers flow. They will have therein whatever they wish. Thus does Allah reward the righteous. The ones whom the angels take in death, being good and pure, the angels will say, Peace be upon you. Enter paradise for what you used to do. Do the disbelievers await anything except that the angels should come to them, or there comes the command of your Lord? Thus did those do before them. And Allah wronged them not, but they had been wronging themselves. So they were struck by the evil consequences of what they did, 
and were enveloped by what they used to ridicule. And those who associate others with Allah say, If Allah had willed, we would not have worshipped anything other than Him, neither we nor our fathers, nor would we have forbidden anything through other than Him. Thus did those do before them. So is there upon the messengers except the duty of clear notification? And we certainly sent into every nation a messenger, saying, Worship Allah and avoid Ta'gut. And among them were those whom Allah guided, and among them were those upon whom error was deservedly decreed. So proceed through the earth and observe how was the end of the deniers. Even if you should strive for their guidance, O Muhammad, indeed, Allah does not guide those he sends astray, and they will have no helpers. And they swear by Allah their strongest oaths that Allah will not resurrect one who dies. But yes, it is a true promise binding upon him, but most of the people do not know. It is so he will make clear to them the truth of that wherein they differ, and so those who have disbelieved may know that they were liars. Indeed, our word to a thing when we intend it is but that we say to it, Be, and it is. And we sent not before you except men to whom we revealed our message. So ask the people of the message if you do not know. We sent them with clear proofs and written ordinances, and we revealed to you the message that you may make it clear to the people what was sent down to them and that they might give thought. Then, do those who have planned evil deeds feel secure that Allah will not cause the earth to swallow them or that the punishment will not come upon them from where they do not perceive? or that he would not seize them during their usual activity, and they could not cause failure, or that he would not seize them gradually in a state of dread, but indeed your Lord is kind and merciful. Have they not considered what things Allah has created? Their shadows incline to the right and to the left, prostrating to Allah, while they are humble. And to Allah prostrates whatever is in the heavens and whatever is on the earth of creatures, and the angels as well, and they are not arrogant. They fear their Lord above them, and they do what they are commanded. And Allah has said, Do not take for yourselves two deities. He is but one God, so fear only me. And to him belongs whatever is in the heavens and the earth, and to him is due worship constantly. Then is it other than Allah that you fear? And whatever you have of favor, it is from Allah. Then when adversity touches you, to him you cry for help. Then when he removes the adversity from you, at once a party of you associates others with their Lord. So they will deny what we have given them. Then enjoy yourselves, for you are going to know. And they assign to what they do not know a portion of that which we have provided them. By Allah, you will surely be questioned about what you used to invent. And they attribute to Allah daughters, exalted is he, and for them is what they desire. And when one of them is informed of the birth of a female, his face becomes dark and he suppresses grief. He hides himself from the people because of the ill of which he has been informed. Should he keep it in humiliation or bury it in the ground? Unquestionably, evil is what they decide. For those who do not believe in the hereafter is the description of evil, and for Allah is the highest attribute, and he is exalted in might, the wise. And if Allah were to impose blame on the people for their wrongdoing, he would not have left upon the earth any creature, but he defers them for a specified term, and when their term has come, they will not remain behind an hour, nor will they precede it. And they attribute to Allah that which they dislike, and their tongues assert the lie that they will have the best from him. Assuredly, they will have the fire, and they will be therein neglected. By Allah, we did certainly send messengers to nations before you, but Satan made their deeds attractive to them. And he is the disbeliever's ally today as well, 
and they will have a painful punishment. And we have not revealed to you the book, O Muhammad, except for you to make clear to them that wherein they have differed, and as guidance and mercy for a people who believe. And Allah has sent down rain from the sky and given life thereby to the earth after its lifelessness. Indeed, in that is a sign for a people who listen. And indeed, for you in grazing livestock is a lesson. We give you drink from what is in their bellies, between excretion and blood, pure milk, palatable to drinkers. And from the fruits of the palm trees and grapevines you take intoxicant and good provision. Indeed, in that is a sign for a people who reason. And your Lord inspired to the bee, take for yourself among the mountains, houses, and among the trees, and in that which they construct. Then eat from all the fruits, and follow the ways of your Lord laid down for you. There emerges from their bellies a drink, varying in colors, in which there is healing for people. Indeed, in that is a sign for a people who give thought. And Allah created you, then he will take you in death. And among you is he who is reversed to the most decrepit old age, so that he will not know, after having had knowledge, a thing. Indeed, Allah is knowing and competent. And Allah has favored some of you over others in provision. But those who were favored would not hand over their provision to those whom their right hands possess, so they would be equal to them therein. Then is it the favor of Allah they reject? And Allah has made for you from yourselves mates, and has made for you from your mates sons and grandchildren, and has provided for you from the good things. Then in falsehood do they believe, and in the favor of Allah they disbelieve? And they worship besides Allah that which does not possess for them the power of provision from the heavens and the earth at all, and in fact they are unable. So do not assert similarities to Allah. Indeed, Allah knows and you do not know. Allah presents an example, a slave who is owned and unable to do a thing, and he to whom we have provided from us good provision, so he spends from it secretly and publicly. Can they be equal? Praise to Allah, but most of them do not know. And Allah presents an example of two men, one of them dumb and unable to do a thing, while he is a burden to his guardian. Wherever he directs him, he brings no good. Is he equal to one who commands justice while he is on a straight path? And to Allah belongs the unseen aspects of the heavens and the earth. And the command for the hour is not but as a glance of the eye or even nearer. Indeed, Allah is over all things competent. And Allah has extracted you from the wombs of your mothers not knowing a thing. And he made for you hearing and vision and intellect, that perhaps you would be grateful. Do they not see the birds controlled in the atmosphere of the sky? None holds them up except Allah. Indeed, in that are signs for a people who believe. And Allah has made for you from your homes a place of rest, and made for you from the hides of the animals tents, which you find light on your day of travel and your day of encampment. And from their wool, fur, and hair is furnishing and enjoyment for a time. And Allah has made for you, from that which he has created, shadows, and has made for you from the mountains shelters, and has made for you garments which protect you from the heat, and garments which protect you from your enemy in battle. Thus does he complete his favor upon you, that you might submit to him. But if they turn away, O Muhammad, then only upon you is responsibility for clear notification. They recognize the favor of Allah, then they deny it, and most of them are disbelievers. And mention the day when we will resurrect from every nation a witness, then it will not be permitted to the disbelievers to apologize or make excuses, nor will they be asked to appease Allah. And when those who wronged see the punishment, it will not be lightened for them nor will they be reprieved. And when those who associated others with Allah see their partners, they will say, Our Lord, these are our partners to you, whom we used to invoke besides you. But they will throw at them the statement, 
Indeed, you are liars. And they will impart to Allah that day their submission, and lost from them is what they used to invent. Those who disbelieved and averted others from the way of Allah, we will increase them in punishment over their punishment for what corruption they were causing. And mention the day when we will resurrect among every nation a witness over them from themselves. And we will bring you, O Muhammad, as a witness over your nation. And we have sent down to you the book as clarification for all things, and as guidance and mercy and good tidings for the Muslims. Indeed, Allah orders justice and good conduct and giving to relatives, and forbids immorality and bad conduct and oppression. He admonishes you that perhaps you will be reminded. And fulfill the covenant of Allah when you have taken it, O believers, and do not break oaths after their confirmation while you have made Allah over you a witness. Indeed, Allah knows what you do. And do not be like she who untwisted her spun thread after it was strong by taking your oaths as means of deceit between you because one community is more plentiful in number or wealth than another community. Allah only tries you thereby, and he will surely make clear to you on the day of resurrection that over which you used to differ. And if Allah had willed, he could have made you of one religion, but he causes to stray whom he wills and guides whom he wills, and you will surely be questioned about what you used to do. And do not take your oaths as means of deceit between you, lest a foot slip after it was once firm, and you would taste evil in this world for what people you diverted from the way of Allah, and you would have in the hereafter a great punishment. And do not exchange the covenant of Allah for a small price. Indeed, what is with Allah is best for you, if only you could know. Whatever you have will end, but what Allah has is lasting. And we will surely give those who were patient their reward according to the best of what they used to do. Whoever does righteousness, whether male or female, while he is a believer, we will surely cause him to live a good life, and we will surely give them their reward in the hereafter according to the best of what they used to do. So when you recite the Quran, first seek refuge in Allah from Satan, the expelled from his mercy. Indeed, there is for him no authority over those who have believed and rely upon their Lord. His authority is only over those who take him as an ally and those who through him associate others with Allah. And when we substitute a verse in place of a verse, and Allah is most knowing of what he sends down, they say, You, O Muhammad, are but an inventor of lies, but most of them do not know. Say, O Muhammad, the pure spirit has brought it down from your Lord in truth to make firm those who believe and as guidance and good tidings to the Muslims. And we certainly know that they say, it is only a human being who teaches the Prophet. The tongue of the one they refer to is foreign. And this Quran is in a clear Arabic language. Indeed, those who do not believe in the verses of Allah Allah will not guide them, and for them is a painful punishment. They only invent falsehood who do not believe in the verses of Allah, and it is those who are the liars. Whoever disbelieves in Allah after his belief, except for one who is forced to renounce his religion while his heart is secure in faith, but those who willingly open their breasts to disbelief, upon them is wrath from Allah and for them is a great punishment. That is because they preferred the worldly life over the hereafter, and that Allah does not guide the disbelieving people. Those are the ones over whose hearts and hearing and vision Allah has sealed, and it is those who are the heedless. Assuredly, it is they in the hereafter who will be the losers. Then indeed your Lord, to those who emigrated after they had been compelled to renounce their religion, and thereafter fought for the cause of Allah and were patient. Indeed, your Lord, after that, is forgiving and merciful. On the day when every soul will come disputing for itself, and every soul will be fully compensated for what it did, 
and they will not be wronged. And Allah presents an example, a city which was safe and secure, its provision coming to it in abundance from every location, but it denied the favors of Allah. So Allah made a taste the envelopment of hunger and fear for what they had been doing. And there had certainly come to them a messenger from among themselves, but they denied him, so punishment overtook them while they were wrongdoers. Then eat of what Allah has provided for you, which is lawful and good, and be grateful for the favor of Allah, if it is indeed him that you worship. He has only forbidden to you dead animals, blood, the flesh of swine, and that which has been dedicated to other than Allah. But whoever is forced by necessity, neither desiring it nor transgressing its limit, then indeed Allah is forgiving and merciful. And do not say about what your tongues assert of untruth, this is lawful and this is unlawful, to invent falsehood about Allah. Indeed, those who invent falsehood about Allah will not succeed. It is but a brief enjoyment, and they will have a painful punishment. And to those who are Jews, we have prohibited that which we related to you before, and we did not wrong them thereby, but they were wronging themselves. Then indeed your Lord, to those who have done wrong out of ignorance and then repent after that and correct themselves, indeed your Lord thereafter is forgiving and merciful. Indeed, Abraham was a comprehensive leader, devoutly obedient to Allah, inclining toward truth, and he was not of those who associate others with Allah. He was grateful for his favors. Allah chose him and guided him to a straight path. And we gave him good in this world, and indeed in the hereafter he will be among the righteous. Then we reveal to you, O Muhammad, to follow the religion of Abraham, inclining toward truth, and he was not of those who associate with Allah. The Sabbath was only appointed for those who differed over it, and indeed, your Lord will judge between them on the day of resurrection concerning that over which they used to differ. Invite to the way of your Lord with wisdom and good instruction, and argue with them in a way that is best. Indeed, your Lord is most knowing of who has strayed from his way, and he is most knowing of who is rightly guided. And if you punish an enemy, O believers, punish with an equivalent of that with which you were harmed. But if you are patient, it is better for those who are patient. And be patient, O Muhammad, and your patience is not but through Allah. And do not grieve over them, and do not be in distress over what they conspire. Indeed, Allah is with those who fear him, and those who are doers of good. Exalted is he who took his servant by night, from al-Masjid al-Haram to al-Masjid al-Aqsa, whose surroundings we have blessed, to show him of our signs. Indeed, he is the hearing, the seeing. And we gave Moses the scripture and made it a guidance for the children of Israel that you not take other than me as disposer of affairs. O descendants of those we carried in the ship with Noah, indeed he was a grateful servant. And we conveyed to the children of Israel in the scripture that you will surely cause corruption on the earth twice and you will surely reach a degree of great haughtiness. So when the time of promise came for the first of them, we sent against you servants of ours, those of great military might, and they probed even into the homes, and it was a promise fulfilled. Then we gave back to you a return victory over them, and we reinforced you with wealth and sons and made you more numerous in manpower, and said, If you do good, you do good for yourselves, and if you do evil, you do it to yourselves. Then when the final promise came, we sent your enemies to sadden your faces and to enter the temple in Jerusalem as they entered it the first time and to destroy what they had taken over with total destruction. Then Allah said, It is expected, if you repent, that your Lord will have mercy upon you. But if you return to sin, 
we will return to punishment, and we have made hell for the disbelievers a prison bed. Indeed, this Quran guides to that which is most suitable and gives good tidings to the believers who do righteous deeds that they will have a great reward, and that those who do not believe in the hereafter, we have prepared for them a painful punishment. And man supplicates for evil as he supplicates for good, and man is ever hasty. And we have made the night and day two signs, and we erase the sign of the night and made the sign of the day visible, that you may seek bounty from your Lord, and may know the number of years and the account of time, and everything we have set out in detail. And for every person we have imposed his fate upon his neck, and we will produce for him on the day of resurrection a record which he will encounter spread open. It will be said, read your record. Sufficient is yourself against you this day as accountant. Whoever is guided is only guided for the benefit of his soul, and whoever errs only errs against it, and no bearer of burdens will bear the burden of another, and never would we punish until we sent a messenger. And when we intend to destroy a city, we command its affluent, but they defiantly disobey therein. So the word comes into effect upon it, and we destroy it with complete destruction. And how many have we destroyed from the generations after Noah? And sufficient is your Lord concerning the sins of his servants as acquainted and seeing. Whoever should desire the immediate, we hasten for him from it what we will to whom we intend. Then we have made for him hell, which he will enter to burn, censured and banished. But whoever desires the hereafter and exerts the effort due to it while he is a believer, it is those whose effort is ever appreciated by Allah. To each category we extend, to these and to those from the gift of your Lord, and never has the gift of your Lord been restricted. Look how we have favored in provision some of them over others, but the hereafter is greater in degrees of difference and greater in distinction. Do not make as equal with Allah another deity and thereby become censured and forsaken. And your Lord has decreed that you not worship except him and to parents good treatment, whether one or both of them reach old age while with you. Say not to them so much as, Oof, and do not repel them, but speak to them a noble word. And lower to them the wing of humility out of mercy, and say, My Lord, have mercy upon them, as they brought me up when I was small. Your Lord is most knowing of what is within yourselves. If you should be righteous in intention, then indeed he is ever, to the often returning to him, forgiving. And give the relative his right, and also the poor and the traveler, and do not spend wastefully. Indeed, the wasteful are brothers of the devils, and ever has Satan been to his Lord ungrateful. And if you must turn away from the needy, awaiting mercy from your Lord which you expect, then speak to them a gentle word. And do not make your hand as chained to your neck, or extend it completely and thereby become blamed and insolvent. Indeed, your Lord extends provision for whom he wills and restricts it. Indeed, he is ever concerning his servants, acquainted and seeing. And do not kill your children for fear of poverty. We provide for them and for you. Indeed, their killing is ever a great sin. And do not approach unlawful sexual intercourse. Indeed, it is ever an immorality and is evil as a way. And do not kill the soul which Allah has forbidden, except by right. And whoever is killed unjustly, we have given his heir authority. But let him not exceed limits in the matter of taking life. Indeed, he has been supported by the law. And do not approach the property of an orphan, except in the way that is best, until he reaches maturity, and fulfill every commitment. Indeed, the commitment is ever that about which one will be questioned. 
and give full measure when you measure, and weigh with an even balance. That is the best way and best in result. And do not pursue that of which you have no knowledge. Indeed, the hearing, the sight, and the heart, about all those one will be questioned. And do not walk upon the earth exultantly. Indeed, you will never tear the earth apart, and you will never reach the mountains in height. All that, its evil is ever, in the sight of your Lord, detested. That is from what your Lord has revealed to you, O Muhammad, of wisdom. And O mankind, do not make us equal with Allah, another deity, lest you be thrown into hell, blamed and banished. Then has your Lord chosen you for having sons, and taken from among the angels daughters? Indeed, you say, a grave saying. And we have certainly diversified the contents in this Quran, that mankind may be reminded. But it does not increase the disbelievers except in aversion. Say, O Muhammad, if there had been with him other gods, as they say, then they each would have sought to the owner of the throne away. Exalted is he and high above what they say by great sublimity. The seven heavens and the earth and whatever is in them exalt him. And there is not a thing except that it exalts Allah by his praise. But you do not understand their way of exalting. Indeed, he is ever forbearing and forgiving. And when you recite the Quran, we put between you and those who do not believe in the hereafter a concealed partition. And we have placed over their hearts coverings, lest they understand it, and in their ears deafness. And when you mention your Lord alone in the Quran, they turn back in aversion. We are most knowing of how they listen to it when they listen to you, and of when they are in private conversation, when the wrongdoers say, You follow not but a man affected by magic. Look how they strike for you comparisons, but they have strayed, so they cannot find a way. And they say, when we are bones and crumbled particles, will we truly be resurrected as a new creation? Say, be you stones or iron, or any creation of that which is great within your breasts. And they will say, who will restore us? Say, he who brought you forth the first time. Then they will nod their heads toward you and say, When is that? Say, Perhaps it will be soon. On the day he will call you, and you will respond with praise of him, and think that you had not remained in the world except for a little. And tell my servants to say that which is best. Indeed, Satan induces dissension among them. Indeed, Satan is ever, to mankind, a clear enemy. Your Lord is most knowing of you. If he wills, he will have mercy upon you, or if he wills, he will punish you. And we have not sent you, O Muhammad, over them as a manager. And your Lord is most knowing of whoever is in the heavens and the earth. And we have made some of the prophets exceed others in various ways, and to David we gave the book of Psalms. Say, invoke those you have claimed as gods besides him for they do not possess the ability for removal of adversity from you or for its transfer to someone else. Those whom they invoke seek means of access to their Lord, striving as to which of them would be nearest, and they hope for his mercy and fear his punishment. Indeed, the punishment of your Lord is ever feared. And there is no city but that we will destroy it before the day of resurrection or punish it with a severe punishment that has ever been in the register inscribed. And nothing has prevented us from sending signs except that the former peoples denied them. And we gave Thamud, the she camel, as a visible sign, but they wronged her. And we sent not the signs except as a warning. And remember, O Muhammad, when we told you, indeed, your Lord has encompassed the people. And we did not make the sight which we showed you, except as a trial for the people, as was the accursed tree mentioned in the Quran. And we threaten them, but it increases them not except in great transgression. 
and mentioned when we said to the angels, Prostrate to Adam, and they prostrated, except for Iblis. He said, Should I prostrate to one you created from clay? Iblis said, Do you see this one whom you have honored above me? If you delay me until the day of resurrection, I will surely destroy his descendants, except for a few. Allah said, Go, for whoever of them follows you, indeed hell will be the recompense of you, an ample recompense. And incite to senselessness whoever you can among them, with your voice, and assault them with your horses and foot soldiers, and become a partner in their wealth and their children, and promise them. But Satan does not promise them except delusion. Indeed, over my believing servants there is for you no authority, and sufficient is your Lord as disposer of affairs. It is your Lord who drives the ship for you through the sea that you may seek of his bounty. Indeed, he is ever, to you, merciful. And when adversity touches you at sea, lost are all those you invoke except for him. But when he delivers you to the land, you turn away from him, and ever is man ungrateful. Then do you feel secure that instead he will not cause a part of the land to swallow you, or send against you a storm of stones? Then you would not find for yourselves an advocate. Or do you feel secure that he will not send you back into the sea another time, and send upon you a hurricane of wind and drown you for what you denied? Then you would not find for yourselves against us an avenger. And we have certainly honored the children of Adam, and carried them on the land and sea, and provided for them of the good things, and preferred them over much of what we have created, with definite preference. Mention, O Muhammad, the day we will call forth every people with their record of deeds. Then whoever is given his record in his right hand, those will read their records, and injustice will not be done to them even as much as a thread inside the date seed. And whoever is blind in this life will be blind in the hereafter and more astray in way. And indeed, they were about to tempt you away from that which we revealed to you in order to make you invent about us something else. And then they would have taken you as a friend. And if we had not strengthened you, you would have almost inclined to them a little. Then if you had, we would have made you taste double punishment in life and double after death. Then you would not find for yourself against us a helper. And indeed, they were about to drive you from the land to evict you therefrom. And then when they do, they will not remain there after you, except for a little. That is our established way for those we had sent before you of our messengers, and you will not find in our way any alteration. Establish prayer at the decline of the sun from its meridian until the darkness of the night and also the Quran of dawn. Indeed, the recitation of dawn is ever witnessed. And from part of the night, pray with it as additional worship for you. It is expected that your Lord will resurrect you to a praised station. And say, My Lord, cause me to enter a sound entrance and to exit a sound exit and grant me from yourself a supporting authority. And say, Truth has come, and falsehood has departed. Indeed is falsehood, by nature, ever bound to depart. And we send down of the Quran that which is healing and mercy for the believers, but it does not increase the wrongdoers except in loss. And when we bestow favor upon the disbeliever, he turns away and distances himself, and when evil touches him, he is ever despairing. Say, each works according to his manner, but your Lord is most knowing of who is best guided in way. And they ask you, O Muhammad, about the soul. Say, the soul is of the affair of my Lord, and mankind have not been given of knowledge except a little. And if we willed, we could surely do away with that which we revealed to you. Then you would not find for yourself concerning it an advocate against us. Except we have left it with you as a mercy from your Lord, 
Indeed, his favor upon you has ever been great. Say, if mankind and the jinn gathered in order to produce the like of this Quran, they could not produce the like of it, even if they were to each other assistants. And we have certainly diversified for the people in this Quran from every kind of example, but most of the people refused anything except disbelief. And they say, we will not believe you until you break open for us from the ground a spring, or until you have a garden of palm trees and grapes and make rivers gush forth within them in force and abundance, or you make the heaven fall upon us in fragments as you have claimed, or you bring Allah and the angels before us, or you have a house of gold, or you ascend into the sky, and even then we will not believe in your ascension until you bring down to us a book we may read. Say, Exalted is my Lord, was I ever but a human messenger? And what prevented the people from believing when guidance came to them, except that they said, Has Allah sent a human messenger? Say, If there were upon the earth angels walking securely, we would have sent down to them from the heaven an angel as a messenger. Say, Sufficient is Allah as witness between me and you. Indeed, he is ever concerning his servants, acquainted and seeing. And whoever Allah guides, he is the rightly guided. And whoever he sends astray, you will never find for them protectors besides him. And we will gather them on the day of resurrection, fallen on their faces, blind, deaf and dumb. Their refuge is hell. Every time it subsides, we increase them in blazing fire. That is their recompense because they disbelieved in our verses and said, When we are bones and crumbled particles, will we truly be resurrected in a new creation? Do they not see that Allah, who created the heavens and earth, is the one able to create the likes of them? And he has appointed for them a term about which there is no doubt. But the wrongdoers refuse anything except disbelief. Say to them, if you possessed the depositories of the mercy of my Lord, then you would withhold out of fear of spending, and ever has man been stingy. And we had certainly given Moses nine evident signs. So ask the children of Israel about when he came to them, and Pharaoh said to him, Indeed, I think, O Moses, that you are affected by magic. Moses said, you have already known that none has sent down these signs except the Lord of the heavens and the earth as evidence. And indeed I think, O Pharaoh, that you are destroyed. So he intended to drive them from the land, but we drowned him and those with him all together. And we said after Pharaoh to the children of Israel, Dwell in the land, and when there comes the promise of the hereafter, we will bring you forth in one gathering. And with the truth we have sent the Quran down, and with the truth it has descended. And we have not sent you, O Muhammad, except as a bringer of good tidings and a warner. And it is a Quran, which we have separated by intervals, that you might recite it to the people over a prolonged period. And we have sent it down progressively. Say, believe in it or do not believe. Indeed, those who were given knowledge before it, when it is recited to them, they fall upon their faces in prostration. And they say, Exalted is our Lord. Indeed, the promise of our Lord has been fulfilled. And they fall upon their faces weeping, and the Quran increases them in humble submission. Say, Call upon Allah, or call upon the Most Merciful. Whichever name you call, to him belong the best names. And do not recite too loudly in your prayer, or too quietly, but seek between that an intermediate way. And say, Praise to Allah, who has not taken a son, and has had no partner in his dominion, and has no need of a protector out of weakness, and glorify him with great glorification. In the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the especially merciful. 
All praise is due to Allah, who has sent down upon his servant the book, and has not made therein any deviance. He has made it straight to warn of severe punishment from him, and to give good tidings to the believers who do righteous deeds, that they will have a good reward, in which they will remain forever, and to warn those who say, Allah has taken a son. They have no knowledge of it, nor had their fathers. Grave is the word that comes out of their mouths. They speak not except a lie. Then perhaps you would kill yourself through grief over them, O Muhammad, if they do not believe in this message and out of sorrow. Indeed, we have made that which is on the earth adornment for it, that we may test them as to which of them is best indeed. And indeed, we will make that which is upon it into a barren ground. Or have you thought that the companions of the cave and the inscription were, among our signs, a wonder? Mention when the youths retreated to the cave and said, Our Lord, grant us from yourself mercy and prepare for us from our affair right guidance. So we cast a cover of sleep over their ears within the cave for a number of years. Then we awakened them that we might show which of the two factions was most precise in calculating what extent they had remained in time. It is we who relate to you, O Muhammad, their story in truth. Indeed, they were youths who believed in their Lord, and we increased them in guidance. And we made firm their hearts when they stood up and said, Our Lord is the Lord of the heavens and the earth. Never will we invoke besides him any deity. We would have certainly spoken then an excessive transgression. These, our people, have taken besides him deities. Why do they not bring for worship of them a clear authority? And who is more unjust than one who invents about Allah a lie? The youth said to one another, And when you have withdrawn from them and that which they worship other than Allah, retreat to the cave. Your Lord will spread out for you of his mercy and will prepare for you from your affair facility. And had you been present, you would see the sun when it rose, inclining away from their cave on the right, and when it set, passing away from them on the left, while they were laying within an open space thereof. That was from the signs of Allah. He whom Allah guides is the rightly guided, but he whom he leads astray, never will you find for him a protecting guide. And you would think them awake while they were asleep, and we turned them to the right and to the left while their dog stretched his forelegs at the entrance. If you had looked at them, you would have been turned from them in flight and been filled by them with terror. And similarly, we awakened them that they might question one another. Said a speaker from among them, How long have you remained here? They said, We have remained a day or part of a day. They said, your Lord is most knowing of how long you remained. So send one of you with this silver coin of yours to the city, and let him look to which is the best of food, and bring you provision from it, and let him be cautious, and let no one be aware of you. Indeed, if they come to know of you, they will stone you or return you to their religion, and never would you succeed then, ever. And similarly, we cause them to be found that they who found them would know that the promise of Allah is truth and that of the hour there is no doubt. That was when they disputed among themselves about their affair and then said, Construct over them a structure. Their Lord is most knowing about them. Said those who prevailed in the matter, We will surely take for ourselves over them a masjid. They will say there were three, the fourth of them being their dog. And they will say there were five, the sixth of them being their dog, guessing at the unseen. And they will say there were seven, and the eighth of them was their dog. Say, O Muhammad, my Lord is most knowing of their number. None knows them except a few. So do not argue about them except with an obvious argument. And do not inquire about them among the spectators from anyone. And never say of anything, 
Indeed, I will do that tomorrow. Except when adding, if Allah wills. And remember your Lord when you forget it and say, Perhaps my Lord will guide me to what is nearer than this to right conduct. And they remained in their cave for three hundred years and exceeded by nine. Say, Allah is most knowing of how long they remained. He has knowledge of the unseen aspects of the heavens and the earth. How seeing is he and how hearing. They have not besides him any protector and he shares not his legislation with anyone. And recite, O Muhammad, what has been revealed to you of the book of your Lord. There is no changer of his words, and never will you find in other than him a refuge. And keep yourself patient by being with those who call upon their Lord in the morning and the evening, seeking his countenance. And let not your eyes pass beyond them, desiring adornments of the worldly life. And do not obey one whose heart we have made heedless of our remembrance, and who follows his desire, and whose affair is ever in neglect. And say, The truth is from your Lord, so whoever wills, let him believe, and whoever wills, let him disbelieve. Indeed, we have prepared for the wrongdoers a fire whose walls will surround them, and if they call for relief, they will be relieved with water like murky oil, which scalds their faces. Wretched is the drink, and evil is the resting place. Indeed, those who have believed and done righteous deeds, indeed, we will not allow to be lost the reward of any who did well in deeds. Those will have gardens of perpetual residence, beneath them rivers will flow. They will be adorned therein with bracelets of gold, and will wear green garments of fine silk and brocade, reclining therein on adorned couches. Excellent is the reward, and good is the resting place. And present to them an example of two men. We granted to one of them two gardens of grapevines, and we bordered them with palm trees, and placed between them fields of crops. Each of the two gardens produced its fruit, and did not fall short thereof in anything, and we caused to gush forth within them a river. And he had fruit, so he said to his companion while he was conversing with him, I am greater than you in wealth and mightier in numbers of men. And he entered his garden while he was unjust to himself. He said, I do not think that this will perish ever. And I do not think the hour will occur. And even if I should be brought back to my Lord, I will surely find better than this as a return. His companion said to him while he was conversing with him, Have you disbelieved in he who created you from dust and then from a sperm drop and then proportioned you as a man? But as for me, he is Allah, my Lord, and I do not associate with my Lord anyone. And why did you, when you entered your garden, not say, What Allah willed has occurred. There is no power except in Allah although you see me less than you in wealth and children. It may be that my Lord will give me something better than your garden and will send upon it a calamity from the sky and it will become a smooth, dusty ground. Or its water will become sunken into the earth so you would never be able to seek it. And his fruits were encompassed by ruin so he began to turn his hands about in dismay over what he had spent on it, while it had collapsed on its trellises, and said, Oh, I wish I had not associated with my Lord anyone. And there was for him no company to aid him other than Allah, nor could he defend himself. There the authority is completely for Allah, the truth. He is best in reward and best in outcome and present to them the example of the life of this world, its being like rain which we send down from the sky, and the vegetation of the earth mingles with it, and then it becomes dry remembrance scattered by the winds, and Allah is ever, over all things, perfect in ability. Wealth and children are but adornment of the worldly life, but the enduring good deeds are better to your Lord for reward and better for one's hope, 
and warn of the day when we will remove the mountains and you will see the earth prominent and we will gather them and not leave behind from them anyone and they will be presented before your Lord in rows and he will say you have certainly come to us just as we created you the first time but you claimed that we would never make for you an appointment and the record of deeds will be placed open and you will see the criminals fearful of that within it and they will say O oh, woe to us what is this book that leaves nothing small or great except that it has enumerated it and they will find what they did present before them and your Lord does injustice to no one and mention when we said to the angels prostrate to Adam and they prostrated except for Iblis he was of the jinn and departed from the command of his Lord then will you take him and his descendants as allies other than me while they are enemies to you wretched it is for the wrongdoers as an exchange I did not make them witness to the creation of the heavens and the earth or to the creation of themselves and I would not have taken the misguiders as assistants and warn of the day when he will say call my partners whom you claimed and they will invoke them but they will not respond to them and we will put between them a valley of destruction and the criminals will see the fire and will be certain that they are to fall therein and they will not find from it a way elsewhere and we have certainly diversified in this Quran for the people from every kind of example but man has ever been most of anything prone to dispute and nothing has prevented the people from believing when guidance came to them and from asking forgiveness of their Lord except that there must befall them the accustomed precedent of the former peoples or that the punishment should come directly before them and we send not the messengers except as bringers of good tidings and warners and those who disbelieve dispute by using falsehood to attempt to invalidate thereby the truth and have taken my verses and that of which they are warned in ridicule and who is more unjust than one who is reminded of the verses of his Lord but turns away from them and forgets what his hands have put forth indeed we have placed over their hearts coverings lest they understand it and in their ears deafness and if you invite them to guidance they will never be guided then ever and your Lord is the forgiving full of mercy if he were to impose blame upon them for what they earned he would have hastened for them the punishment rather for them is an appointment from which they will never find an escape and those cities we destroyed them when they wronged and we made for their destruction an appointed time and mentioned when Moses said to his servant I will not cease traveling until I reach the junction of the two seas or continue for a long period but when they reached the junction between them they forgot their fish and it took its course into the sea slipping away so when they had passed beyond it Moses said to his boy bring us our morning meal we have certainly suffered in this our journey much fatigue he said did you see when we retired to the rock indeed I forgot there the fish and none made me forget it except Satan that I should mention it and it took its course into the sea amazingly Moses said that is what we were seeking so they returned following their footprints and they found a servant from among our servants to whom we had given mercy from us and had taught him from us a certain knowledge Moses said to him may I follow you on the condition that you teach me from what you have been taught of sound judgment he said indeed with me you will never be able to have patience and how can you have patience for what you do not encompass in knowledge Moses said you will find me if Allah wills patient and I will not disobey you in any order he said then if you follow me do not ask me about anything until I make to you about it mention so they set out until when they had embarked on the ship Al-Khadr tore it open 
Moses said, Have you torn it open to drown its people? You have certainly done a grave thing. al Khadr said, Did I not say that with me you would never be able to have patience? Moses said, Do not blame me for what I forgot, and do not cover me in my matter with difficulty. So they set out, until when they met a boy, al Khadr killed him. Moses said, Have you killed a pure soul for other than having killed a soul? You have certainly done a deplorable thing. al Khadr said, Did I not tell you that with me you would never be able to have patience? Moses said, If I should ask you about anything after this, then do not keep me as a companion. You have obtained from me an excuse. So they set out, until when they came to the people of a town, they asked its people for food, but they refused to offer them hospitality. And they found therein a wall about to collapse, so al Khadr restored it. Moses said, If you wished, you could have taken for it a payment. al Khadr said, This is parting between me and you. I will inform you of the interpretation of that about which you could not have patience. As for the ship, it belonged to poor people working at sea, so I intended to cause defect in it, as there was after them a king who seized every good ship by force. And as for the boy, his parents were believers, and we feared that he would overburden them by transgression and disbelief. So we intended that their Lord should substitute for them one better than him in purity and nearer to mercy. And as for the wall, it belonged to two orphan boys in the city, and there was beneath it a treasure for them, and their father had been righteous. So your Lord intended that they reach maturity and extract their treasure as a mercy from your Lord. And I did it not of my own accord. That is the interpretation of that about which you could not have patience. And they ask you, O Muhammad, about Dil Karnain. Say, I will recite to you about him a report. Indeed, we established him upon the earth, and we gave him to everything away. So he followed away, until, when he reached the setting of the sun, he found it as if setting in a spring of dark mud, and he found near it a people. Allah said, O Dil Karnain, either you punish them or else adopt among them a way of goodness. He said, As for one who wrongs, we will punish him. Then he will be returned to his Lord, and he will punish him with a terrible punishment. But as for one who believes and does righteousness, he will have a reward of paradise and we will speak to him from our command with ease. Then he followed away, until when he came to the rising of the sun, he found it rising on a people for whom we had not made against it any shield. Thus, and we had encompassed all that he had in knowledge. Then he followed away, until when he reached a pass between two mountains, he found beside them a people who could hardly understand his speech. They said, O Dil Karnain, indeed Gog and Magog are great corruptors in the land. So may we assign for you an expenditure that you might make between us and them a barrier? He said, That in which my Lord has established me is better than what you offer. But assist me with strength. I will make between you and them a dam. Bring me sheets of iron, until, when he had leveled them between the two mountain walls, he said, Blow with bellows, until when he had made it like fire, he said, Bring me, that I may pour over it molten copper. So Gog and Magog were unable to pass over it, nor were they able to effect in it any penetration. Dil Karnain said, this is a mercy from my Lord, but when the promise of my Lord comes, he will make it level, and ever is the promise of my Lord true. 
and we will leave them that day surging over each other, and then the horn will be blown, and we will assemble them in one assembly. And we will present hell that day to the disbelievers on display. Those whose eyes had been within a cover from my remembrance, and they were not able to hear. Then do those who disbelieve think that they can take my servants instead of me as allies? Indeed, we have prepared hell for the disbelievers as a lodging. Say, O Muhammad, shall we believers inform you of the greatest losers as to their deeds? They are those whose effort is lost in worldly life, while they think that they are doing well in work. Those are the ones who disbelieve in the verses of their Lord and in their meeting him, so their deeds have become worthless, and we will not assign to them on the day of resurrection any importance. That is their recompense, hell, for what they denied and because they took my signs and my messengers in ridicule. Indeed, those who have believed and done righteous deeds, they will have the gardens of paradise as a lodging wherein they abide eternally. They will not desire from it any transfer. Say, if the sea were ink for writing the words of my Lord, the sea would be exhausted before the words of my Lord were exhausted, even if we brought the like of it as a supplement. Say, I am only a man like you, to whom has been revealed that your God is one God. So whoever would hope for the meeting with his Lord, let him do righteous work and not associate in the worship of his Lord anyone. Kaf, Ha, Ya, Ain, Sod. This is a mention of the mercy of your Lord to his servant Zechariah, when he called to his Lord a private supplication. He said, My Lord, indeed my bones have weakened, and my head has filled with white and never have I been in my supplication to you, my Lord, unhappy. And indeed, I fear the successors after me, and my wife has been barren, so give me from yourself an heir, who will inherit me and inherit from the family of Jacob, and make him, my Lord, pleasing to you. He was told, O Zechariah, indeed, we give you good tidings of a boy whose name will be John. We have not assigned to any before this name. He said, My Lord, how will I have a boy when my wife has been barren and I have reached extreme old age? An angel said, Thus it will be. Your Lord says, It is easy for me, for I created you before, while you were nothing. Zechariah said, My Lord, make for me a sign. He said, Your sign is that you will not speak to the people for three nights, being sound. So he came out to his people from the prayer chamber and signaled to them to exalt Allah in the morning and afternoon. Allah said, O John, take the scripture with determination. And we gave him judgment while yet a boy and affection from us and purity, and he was fearing of Allah, and dutiful to his parents, and he was not a disobedient tyrant. And peace be upon him the day he was born, and the day he dies, and the day he is raised alive. And mention, O Muhammad, in the book, the story of Mary, when she withdrew from her family to a place toward the east and she took, in seclusion from them, a screen. Then we sent to her our angel, and he represented himself to her as a well-proportioned man. She said, Indeed, I seek refuge in the most merciful from you, so leave me, if you should be fearing of Allah. He said, I am only the messenger of your Lord, to give you news of a pure boy. She said, how can I have a boy while no man has touched me and I have not been unchaste? He said, Thus it will be. Your Lord says, It is easy for me, 
and we will make him a sign to the people and a mercy from us, and it is a matter already decreed. So she conceived him, and she withdrew with him to a remote place. And the pains of childbirth drove her to the trunk of a palm tree. She said, Oh, I wish I had died before this and was in oblivion, forgotten. But he called her from below her, Do not grieve, your Lord has provided beneath you a stream, and shake toward you the trunk of the palm tree. It will drop upon you ripe, fresh dates. So eat and drink and be contented. And if you see from among humanity anyone, say, Indeed, I have vowed to the most merciful abstention, so I will not speak today to any man. Then she brought him to her people, carrying him. They said, O oh Mary, you have certainly done a thing unprecedented. O oh sister of Aaron, your father was not a man of evil, nor was your mother unchaste. So she pointed to him. They said, How can we speak to one who is in the cradle a child? Jesus said, Indeed, I am the servant of Allah. He has given me the scripture and made me a prophet. And he has made me blessed wherever I am, and has enjoined upon me prayer and zakah as long as I remain alive, and made me dutiful to my mother, and he has not made me a wretched tyrant. And peace is on me the day I was born, and the day I will die, and the day I am raised alive. That is Jesus, the Son of Mary, the word of truth about which they are in dispute. It is not befitting for Allah to take a son. Exalted is he. When he decrees an affair, he only says to it, Be, and it is. Jesus said, And indeed, Allah is my Lord and your Lord, so worship him. That is a straight path. Then the factions differed concerning Jesus from among them. So woe to those who disbelieved from a scene of a tremendous day. How clearly they will hear and see the day they come to us, but the wrongdoers today are in clear error. And warn them, O Muhammad, of the day of regret when the matter will be concluded, and yet they are in a state of heedlessness and they do not believe. Indeed, it is we who will inherit the earth and whoever is on it, and to us they will be returned. And mention in the book the story of Abraham. Indeed, he was a man of truth and a prophet. Mention when he said to his father, O oh my father, why do you worship that which does not hear and does not see and will not benefit you at all? O oh my father, Indeed, there has come to me of knowledge that which has not come to you. So follow me. I will guide you to an even path. O oh, my father, do not worship Satan. Indeed, Satan has ever been to the most merciful, disobedient. O oh, my father, indeed, I fear that there will touch you a punishment from the most merciful, so you would be to Satan a companion in hellfire. His father said, Have you no desire for my gods, O Abraham? If you do not desist, I will surely stone you, so avoid me a prolonged time. Abraham said, Peace will be upon you. I will ask forgiveness for you of my Lord. Indeed, he is ever gracious to me. And I will leave you and those you invoke other than Allah and will invoke my Lord. I expect that I will not be in invocation to my Lord unhappy. So when he had left them and those they worshipped other than Allah, we gave him Isaac and Jacob, and each of them we made a prophet, and we gave them of our mercy, and we made for them a reputation of high honor. And mention in the book Moses, indeed he was chosen, and he was a messenger and a prophet. And we called him from the side of the mount at his right, and brought him near, confiding to him. And we gave him out of our mercy his brother Aaron as a prophet. 
and mention in the book Ishmael. Indeed, he was true to his promise, and he was a messenger and a prophet. And he used to enjoin on his people prayer and zakah, and was to his Lord pleasing. And mention in the book Idris. Indeed, he was a man of truth and a prophet, and we raised him to a high station. Those were the ones upon whom Allah bestowed favor from among the prophets of the descendants of Adam and of those we carried in the ship with Noah and of the descendants of Abraham and Israel and of those whom we guided and chose. When the verses of the Most Merciful were recited to them, they fell in prostration and weeping. But there came after them successors who neglected prayer and pursued desires so they are going to meet evil. Except those who repent, believe and do righteousness, for those will enter paradise and will not be wronged at all. Therein are gardens of perpetual residence, which the Most Merciful has promised his servants in the unseen. Indeed, his promise has ever been coming. They will not hear therein any ill speech, only greetings of peace, and they will have their provision therein, morning and afternoon. That is paradise, which we give as inheritance to those of our servants who were fearing of Allah. Gabriel said, And we angels descend not except by the order of your Lord. To him belongs that before us and that behind us and what is in between, and never is your Lord forgetful. Lord of the heavens and the earth and whatever is between them. So worship him and have patience for his worship. Do you know of any similarity to him? And the disbeliever says, When I have died, am I going to be brought forth alive? Does man not remember that we created him before, while he was nothing? So by your Lord, we will surely gather them and the devils, then we will bring them to be present around hell upon their knees. Then we will surely extract from every sect those of them who were worst against the most merciful in insolence. Then, surely it is we who are most knowing of those most worthy of burning therein. And there is none of you except he will come to it. This is upon your Lord an inevitability decreed. Then we will save those who feared Allah and leave the wrongdoers within it on their knees. And when our verses are recited to them as clear evidences, those who disbelieve say to those who believe, which of our two parties is best in position and best in association? And how many a generation have we destroyed before them who were better in possessions and outward appearance? Nation. وَكَمْ أَهْلَكْنَا قَبْلَهُمْ مِنْ قَرْنٍ هُمْ أَحْسَنُ أَثَاثًا وَرِئْيًا And how many a generation have we destroyed before them who were better in possession? Sure. Let the Most Merciful extend for him an extension in wealth and time until when they see that which they were promised, either punishment in this world or the hour of resurrection, they will come to know who is worst in position and weaker in soldiers. And Allah increases those who were guided in guidance, and the enduring good deeds are better to your Lord for reward and better for recourse. Then, have you seen he who disbelieved in our verses and said, I will surely be given wealth and children in the next life? Has he looked into the unseen, or has he taken from the most merciful a promise? No, we will record what he says and extend for him from the punishment extensively. And we will inherit him in what he mentions and he will come to us alone. And they have taken besides Allah false deities that they would be for them a source of honor. No, those gods will deny their worship of them and will be against them opponents on the day of judgment. Do you not see that we have sent the devils upon the disbelievers, inciting them to evil with constant incitement? So be not impatient over them. We only count out to them a limited number. 
On the day, we will gather the righteous to the most merciful as a delegation and will drive the criminals to hell in thirst. None will have power of intercession except he who had taken from the most merciful a covenant. And they say, the most merciful has taken for himself a son. You have done an atrocious thing. The heavens almost rupture therefrom, and the earth splits open, and the mountains collapse in devastation, that they attribute to the most merciful a son. And it is not appropriate for the most merciful that he should take a son. There is no one in the heavens and earth but that he comes to the most merciful as a servant. He has enumerated them and counted them a full counting, and all of them are coming to him on the day of resurrection alone. Indeed, those who have believed and done righteous deeds, the most merciful will appoint for them affection. So, O Muhammad, we have only made the Quran easy in the Arabic language that you may give good tidings thereby to the righteous and warn thereby a hostile people. And how many have we destroyed before them of generations? Do you perceive of them anyone or hear from them a sound? In the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the especially merciful. Da ha. We have not sent down to you the Quran that you be distressed, but only as a reminder for those who fear Allah. A revelation from He who created the earth and highest heavens, the most merciful who is above the throne established. To him belongs what is in the heavens and what is on the earth, and what is between them and what is under the soil. And if you speak aloud, then indeed he knows the secret and what is even more hidden. Allah, there is no deity except him. To him belong the best names. And has the story of Moses reached you? When he saw a fire and said to his family, Stay here. Indeed, I have perceived a fire. Perhaps I can bring you a torch or find at the fire some guidance. And when he came to it, he was called, O oh Moses, indeed, I am your Lord, so remove your sandals. Indeed, you are in the sacred valley of Duwa. And I have chosen you, so listen to what is revealed to you. Indeed, I am Allah. There is no deity except me. So worship me and establish prayer for my remembrance. Indeed, the hour is coming. I almost conceal it, so that every soul may be recompensed according to that for which it strives. So do not let one avert you from it who does not believe in it and follows his desire, for you then would perish. And what is that in your right hand, O Moses? He said, It is my staff. I lean upon it and I bring down leaves for my sheep, and I have therein other uses. Allah said, Throw it down, O Moses. So he threw it down, and thereupon it was a snake, moving swiftly. Allah said, Seize it and fear not. We will return it to its former condition. And draw in your hand to your side. It will come out white without disease, another sign that we may show you some of our greater signs. Go to Pharaoh, indeed he has transgressed. Moses said, My Lord, expand for me my breast with assurance, and ease for me my task, and untie the knot from my tongue, that they may understand my speech, and appoint for me a minister from my family, Aaron, my brother, Increase through him my strength, and let him share my task, that we may exalt you much, and remember you much. Indeed, you are of us ever seeing. Allah said, You have been granted your request, O Moses, and we had already conferred favor upon you another time, when we inspired to your mother what we inspired, saying, Cast him into the chest, and cast it into the river, and the river will throw it onto the bank. There will take him an enemy to me, and an enemy to him. And I bestowed upon you love from me, 
that you would be brought up under my eye. And we favored you when your sister went and said, Shall I direct you to someone who will be responsible for him? So we restored you to your mother that she might be content and not grieve. And you killed someone, but we saved you from retaliation and tried you with a severe trial. And you remained some years among the people of Madian. Then you came here at the decreed time, O Moses. And I produced you for myself. Go, you and your brother, with my signs, and do not slacken in my remembrance. Go, both of you, to Pharaoh. Indeed, he has transgressed. And speak to him with gentle speech, that perhaps he may be reminded or fear Allah. They said, Our Lord, indeed we are afraid that he will hasten punishment against us, or that he will transgress. Allah said, Fear not. Indeed, I am with you both. I hear and I see. So go to him and say, Indeed, we are messengers of your Lord. So send with us the children of Israel and do not torment them. We have come to you with a sign from your Lord, and peace will be upon he who follows the guidance. Indeed, it has been revealed to us that the punishment will be upon whoever denies and turns away. Pharaoh said, so who is the Lord of you two, O Moses? He said, Our Lord is he who gave each thing its form and then guided it. Pharaoh said, Then what is the case of the former generations? Moses said, The knowledge thereof is with my Lord in a record. My Lord neither errs nor forgets. It is he who has made for you the earth as a bed spread out, and inserted therein for you roadways, and sent down from the sky rain, and produced thereby categories of various plants. Eat therefrom and pasture your livestock. Indeed, in that are signs for those of intelligence. From the earth we created you, and into it we will return you, and from it we will extract you another time. And we certainly showed Pharaoh our signs, all of them, but he denied and refused. He said, Have you come to us to drive us out of our land with your magic, O Moses? Then we will surely bring you magic like it. So make between us and you an appointment, which we will not fail to keep, and neither will you, in a place assigned. Moses said, Your appointment is on the day of the festival, when the people assemble at mid-morning. So Pharaoh went away, put together his plan, and then came to Moses. Moses said to the magician summoned by Pharaoh, Woe to you! Do not invent a lie against Allah, or he will exterminate you with a punishment, and he has failed to invent such falsehood. So they disputed over their affair among themselves and concealed their private conversation. They said, Indeed, these are two magicians who want to drive you out of your land with their magic and do away with your most exemplary way. So resolve upon your plan and then come forward in line. And he has succeeded today who overcomes. They said, O oh Moses, either you throw or we will be the first to throw. He said, Rather you throw. And suddenly their ropes and staffs seemed to him from their magic, that they were moving like snakes. And he sensed within himself apprehension, did Moses. Allah said, Fear not, indeed, it is you who are superior. And throw what is in your right hand, it will swallow up what they have crafted. What they have crafted is but the trick of a magician, and the magician will not succeed wherever he is. So the magicians fell down in prostration. They said, We have believed in the Lord of Aaron and Moses. Pharaoh said, You believed him before I gave you permission. Indeed, he is your leader who has taught you magic. So I will surely cut off your hands and your feet on opposite sides, and I will crucify you on the trunks of palm trees, and you will surely know which of us is more severe in giving punishment and more enduring. They said, 
Never will we prefer you over what has come to us of clear proofs and over he who created us. So decree whatever you are to decree. You can only decree for this worldly life. Indeed, we have believed in our Lord that he may forgive us our sins and what you compelled us to do of magic. And Allah is better and more enduring. Indeed, whoever comes to his Lord as a criminal, indeed, for him is hell. He will neither die therein nor live. But whoever comes to him as a believer having done righteous deeds, for those will be the highest degrees in position. Gardens of perpetual residence beneath which rivers flow, wherein they abide eternally. And that is the reward of one who purifies himself. And we had inspired to Moses, Travel by night with my servants, and strike for them a dry path through the sea. You will not fear being overtaken by Pharaoh, nor be afraid of drowning. So Pharaoh pursued them with his soldiers, and there covered them from the sea that which covered them. And Pharaoh led his people astray and did not guide them. O children of Israel, we delivered you from your enemy, and we made an appointment with you at the right side of the mount, and we sent down to you manna and quails, saying, Eat from the good things with which we have provided you, and do not transgress or oppress others therein, lest my anger should descend upon you. And he upon whom my anger descends has certainly fallen. But indeed, I am the perpetual forgiver of whoever repents and believes and does righteousness and then continues in guidance. Allah said, And what made you hasten from your people, O Moses? He said, They are close upon my tracks, and I hasten to you, my Lord, that you be pleased. Allah said, But indeed, we have tried your people after you departed, and the Samiri has led them astray. So Moses returned to his people, angry and grieved. He said, O my people, did your Lord not make you a good promise? Then was the time of its fulfillment too long for you? Or did you wish that wrath from your Lord descend upon you? So you broke your promise of obedience to me. They said, We did not break our promise to you by our will but we were made to carry burdens from the ornaments of the people of Pharaoh, so we threw them into the fire, and thus did the Samiri throw. And he extracted for them the statue of a calf, which had a lowing sound, and they said, This is your God and the God of Moses, but he forgot. Did they not see that it could not return to them any speech, and that it did not possess for them any harm or benefit? And Aaron had already told them before the return of Moses, O oh my people, you are only being tested by it, and indeed, your Lord is the most merciful, so follow me and obey my order. They said, We will never cease being devoted to the calf until Moses returns to us. Moses said, O oh Aaron, what prevented you when you saw them going astray from following me? Then have you disobeyed my order? Aaron said, O son of my mother, do not seize me by my beard or by my head. Indeed, I feared that you would say, You caused division among the children of Israel, and you did not observe or await my word. Moses said, And what is your case, O Samiri? He said, I saw what they did not see. So I took a handful of dust from the track of the messenger and threw it, and thus did my soul entice me. Moses said, Then go. And indeed, it is decreed for you in this life to say, No contact. And indeed, you have an appointment in the hereafter you will not fail to keep. And look at your God, to which you remain devoted. We will surely burn it and blow it into the sea with a blast. Your God is only Allah, except for whom there is no deity. He has encompassed all things in knowledge.